missing from Porthos, we might have a series. You see me? I can do a CJ if you take it. What's up, everyone? My name is Zeke, and we are coming to you live from Showdown Studios. Joining me right here is the one, the only, Courier Lord. Aww. How you going, buddy? You're my new favorite co-caster. Oh, thank you so much. It's, it's it was a low bar. I mean, I normally, <laughs> normally with hysterics or Wolfie, but no, no, you've been pretty good so far. I'll let on. Yeah, we just met tonight, so uh, <laughs> it's been a quite uh, eventful getting to know one another. And of course, we are you know joined here uh, in this amazing studio. We're bringing some uh, Rocket League Community uh, Monthly Championship Cup action. It's like a massive mouthful, but you know what? I'm going to get it out there. I'm going to say it crazily. And I have a lot of fun tonight here watching a couple of pro teams here in the community uh, battling it out for some great prizes here. Yeah, and there are teams we have seen before, so they're going to be excited to verse each other again and try to get all that prize money that is on the line tonight, which is pretty substantial. All right. All right, so we're going to check out the prize pool uh, right here, right now, coming up on the screen just there. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. For our uh, Opley, open monthly final, I should say, uh, of course, uh, $75 for the first place, 50 for second place, and 25 for third. So that's for the monthly open league. Yeah, that's the players that are not in the bracket we'll be watching tonight, but they're also going alongside at the same time. So they're playing for the smaller prize pool, but we also have the larger one to the players we'll be watching tonight who are playing for a share of getting close to $1,000 it is. Yeah, so massive prize pool here. So first place, walking away with $350. Second place, $175. And of course, third place, uh, $75. So, you know, everybody in the top three does walk away with something tonight. Yeah, you don't want to be in fourth place. That is that is the clincher. <laughs> so you really want to get that podium finish if you want to walk away with the money. And more importantly, the bragging rights as you go on forward. Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to be jumping into our next match very, very shortly. But of course, uh, before we do that, introduce uh, some of the teams we'll be watching tonight, Career Lord. Yeah, so the teams we're going to be having is Numana Ultra. We could go for the full name, but it's a little bit difficult. We also then have Smiles. We have Line Break or Vertical Bar. And then I don't know. So, of course, on the screen right now, you can see the current standings uh, for our senior division. Of course, the, the top four teams that are being invited to the finals, and that's what they're playing tonight. And the bottom half of the screen is showing our uh, open standings in the Open Community League there. So, uh, I think, uh, you know, it's going to be pretty close to see, uh, you know, if uh, Nomona Ultra will take it out tonight. Uh, they are the favorite to go into this tournament. Yeah, they have won so many consecutive ones community cups going forward they won the first one the second they won the third then they didn't rock up to the next one and then that's when it started to get a little bit broader in terms of the talent pool but each one of these teams i think is a very strong contender i don't know coming out of nowhere for this season and they are doing incredibly well all right so we're gonna get into the action very very shortly but uh who are your favorites uh you know playing tonight uh, my, th my team that I think favored to win, I'd probably go with I Don't Know. The way that they've just gone through the league play with the Daisu pickup has been unbelievable. It's pretty crazy that they went the league play before will end up with a, I believe it was 321 was their game score. So that was not a win rate you want to be good have going <laughs> forward. But the next season they flipped it on 10, they're 21 for four. Wow, so, so a massive change. What a reversal, eh? All right, so we're going to check out the bracket uh, for the play tonight, ladies and gentlemen. There it is on your screen right now. So first match will be, I don't know, versus Vertical Bar. Match number two will be uh, Nimona Ultra. Try and pronounce that name. Their full name is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, Nimona Ultra Microscopic Silicovolcanoconiosis. Oh, he did it, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Got it out there. Uh, so that is Nimona Ultra versus Smiley Face for the second match. <clears throat> And we will be going into, like I said, the first match very, very shortly. Just waiting for our teams to ready up, get ready, get the settings all good to go. I mean, uh, I'm quite excited to see this. Yeah, you know? it's, like, it's pretty it's pretty hype, actually. So I'm glad to have you here for your, your first foray into the Rocket League community. Yeah, first foray into Rocket League. <laughs> uh, coming from a background of uh, first-person shooter casting, it's going to be very different, very exciting, of course. You know, not uh, cast people headshotting each other. So we're going to be here people headshotting a, uh, a ball, I, I get, should say, Get the really. demos. You can just talk about that. You know, you're getting the boost. That's the your utility going <laughs> forward. And as you run into play, you're getting your frags. I mean, it doesn't have the kill count, unfortunately. So you're going to have to work Econ in a different way. It'll be, uh, it'll be interesting. We'll go by score for Econ, yep. right? Instead <laughs> of, you know, revives and kills and uh, rocket shots and stuff like that. But we are actually watching Rocket League, so there are still some rockets uh, to cast, <laughs> I suppose, right? Yeah, you still have some <laughs> rockets. They're just mostly boosted into the car themselves. There you go. But yeah, with the uh, microscopic name, it actually came from Tullandina being, you know, very helpful to the casters and the word itself is actually artificially created to win the longest word in the dictionary so it itself is a bit of a joke name <laughs> I love it when teams make up uh, random names it's always fun to try and cast them but of course the, uh, the challenge of being a caster is you know uh, pronouncing it and then finding the middle ground in the <laughs> massive name to you know start casting it but uh, anyway we're actually live into our first match here ladies and gentlemen here we go the ball's already been kicked off here and we are watching uh, our blue team here 
Ruffy. That would be... I'm just trying to see who is that. Oh, it's watching I Don't Know right here on the main screen right now. Yeah, that's getting pushed immediately into the defensive position by Vertical Bar. So that's a strong start for them. I Don't Know being the favoured team coming into the entire competition, not dropping a single match. So this starting pressure coming from Vertical Bar is a strong showing. All right, here we go. Looks like maybe a first goal already. No, nice goal 10 there by Vertical Bar there. Of course, a nice little rebound as well off the wall here. So good positioning so far uh, by I Don't Know. You know, making sure that the, the ball is pretty much, you know, in the enemy section, I should say. Yeah, they've got to keep the ball on the enemy side of the pitch. I think the pickup of Daisu is something you want to be watching as an audience member. He is someone that has played in many RLCS League play qualifiers in OCE, making him probably the most veteran player in this entire competition tonight. So expect big things coming out of him. All right, so we'll keep an eye on him. Uh, right now we're actually watching uh, Yitzi in Wies uh, for Team Vertical Bar here. Just clearing out the ball from their end zone right now. Trying to get it away there from I don't know, but uh, that ball being pretty close to the goal there. A nice goaltending there by Vertical Bar. We'll see across midfield and a good air dribble there goes for the goal just misses but wide there not a shot there and oh great defense there by i don't know clears it out there and will cross midsection yeah good start there from vertical bar the double touch off the backboard enabled them to have the potential to score from it but daisu was a little too quick in defense ready and roaring and seen it before oh not a good little tap there uh try to get it up there on the top bar but unfortunately will not connect with the goal that great defense here by vertical bar here we go i don't know trying to get it out there but a great clearing up of the bar and Vertical Bar, once again, you know, just a uh, great defense here so far. You know, really making sure that the ball does get cleared out as soon as it gets near the goal here. But I don't know, going for an attack here, but uh, will be cleared out once again. Yeah, good defense. The fact they've been able to hold out for this long and then turn the pressure right back around on I don't know. He's showing that the growth they've had just competition to competition as they're stepping up to the big boys. All right, nice little air dribble there. And we'll be passing off to his teammate there, trying to clear the ball out as much as possible. And we'll be trying to dribble across. There. Unfortunately, does lose the ball mid-dribble there at the midfield there. Ball soaring in towards the goalpost here of I don't know. Nice little clear out there by the team there. And goalie will come out to clear it off across the field there. And it looks like they might have a bit of an advantage here. Yeah, it's a great time. When you get the touch, but even though he got demoed, they managed to set themselves up in a position. Ooh. Oh, off oh, your own backboard. That is not the touch you want, but ultimately it doesn't matter because Daisu pulls away the goal. Great first scoring here, but I don't know. Daisu is the key there. That's uh, unfortunate uh, self-tapping on the top goalpost there was the clincher for I don't know there. Bit of a, uh, I guess you say friendly fire situation. Yeah, it's one of those things where you say you want to have good backboard defense, and sometimes they say the best offense, the best defense is good offense, but you don't want to be offensive on your own. Back <laughs> and unfortunately, that was exactly what happened for Vertical Bar there, uh, bouncing off the top bar there on the backboard and letting, I don't know, get that nice, easy goal here. So currently, 1-0 into this first map here. Two minutes and 22 seconds left on the scoreboard right now. And here we go, another attempt here by, I don't know, trying to get it towards that Vertical Bar goal. Hopefully, uh, Vertical Bar doesn't hit the Vertical Bar and get, uh, you know, an assisted goal again. <laughs> yeah, another one of those backboard touches. They have to be very careful Ooh. as they continue to get pressured upon. And Vertical Bar have been locked in their half. And Daisu with an important demo to break out any potential offense that comes from the Vertical Bar offensive team. All right, so Vertical Bar down now, uh, down one player. I don't know what the power play here. Uh, just look and take advantage of that. But of course, he will respawn momentarily. And uh, right now, it's, you know, the game's slowing down a bit here. I don't know, trying to just position themselves a little bit here, make sure the ball doesn't get too close to their, uh, their goal. A great little uh, air dribble there in defensive of the goal post. And, you know, I don't know, really are showing, you know, why they are the top team right now. Yeah, they're definitely dominant the way they're just holding possession. We saw Vertical Bar try to go for an aerial pass play, but unable to get the connection did allow them to reset their position. But now they're just stuck in a position where they can't break into, I don't know, half. All right, here we go. Watching right now, uh, Vertical Bar trying to clear that ball away from their goal here. I don't know, is looking for blood. They smell it in the water, and they're looking for another easy goal here. The ball's just been bounced off that side ball here. Nice attempt here by, I don't know, trying to get it back towards the post there. Great defense, though, by Vertical Bar. And that ball soaring towards the goal. Oh, a little bit lower. I'm actually going to go in there because uh, the, I don't know, defenders were not in position. But another attempt here from Vertical Bar. And uh, one minute remaining comes up on the screen here for this first match, Korea. Yeah, the defense on the backboard has been pivotal in deciding what's going on. I don't know, managing to hold back despite the fact Vertical Bar has been able to get those touches. It's the fact they can't follow it up on it. They haven't been able to make a pressure play. They haven't been able to get a third or fourth touch once they've moved the ball up the pitch, which has allowed, I don't know, to flip the pace right back on them and lock them back in their half. Exactly. So, I mean, their movement is great. Like, they're clearing it out of their zone. They're getting it into, I don't know, you know zone. But uh, like you said, they're not getting that third and fourth pinnacle touch to get it into the scoreboard. Like I said, uh, the ball is just soaring towards the post right there. Unfortunately, it does top off the top bar and will not score 30. Less than 30 seconds left on the clock now. This is uh, critical for vertical bar to try and get a 
score here as, uh, I don't know, already again pressuring uh, Vertical Bars' in zone. Yeah, I think that moment we saw at 30 seconds left on the clock was pivotal. They had the backboard touch, they had the follow-up, but unfortunately coming off the corner of the car lost them any chance they have for the scoring. And now with the final play and the ball about to go down, we're at the clincher if they can pull it through. All right, here we go. Ball's about to drop here, and that will be the first map. I don't know, taking out the score there. 1-0. Great work there by them. And, of course, uh, Desu being uh, your scorer there as well with that uh, cheeky, cheeky rebound play. It's all about the backboard touches, all about getting those <laughs> team-assisted kills from the other side, as you'd like to say. But the number of shots, I think, is an important thing to take away from it. Both teams pulling six apiece, 2-2-2 two, two, two being pretty even, showing the rotations have been clean enough, respective to one another, shows that despite the fact know was the team that I expected to pull ahead, the fact they only got their goal from the opposition kind of giving it to them, shows just how much growth there has been from the other side. Yeah, so it wasn't the, you know, the most easy match, we should say. You know, of course, like uh, uh, Korea said, the goal was uh, made there because of a, a cheeky assist, shall <laughs> we say, and a bit of a misplay there uh, by the other team, of course, of Vertical Bar. We're just getting ready to enter our second match. If you're just joining us, welcome. Uh, we're live here from uh, Showdown Studios. My name is Zeke. I'm joined by the one, the or only uh, Korea Lord. I was going to say... Uh, Holy, <laughs> but uh, there we go. We got our little, uh, yeah, look at that. Our names on the screen there. We got our Twitter as well, Twitter handles there. If you want to actually talk to us, guys, make sure you do tweet out to us and uh, use the uh, Throwdown uh, Twitter handle as well. Join the yep. conversation and, uh, you know, tell us what you like. Tell us what you want to see. You know, are we doing a good job? Let us know. <laughs> you know, like you got some memes, send it to us. Yeah, do you love Zeke? The dude's huge. Just throwing that <laughs> out there. Like, oh my God, when he's getting changed, the dude's jacked. Uh, I bought this shirt today and it, as you can see, it doesn't, it fits very snugly, shall we say. <laughs> But uh, anyway, entering our second match now, Curry. I'm really excited to see how this one plays out. Of course, in the blue team is the one, the only, I don't know. That's their team name. I don't actually know. I do know that's their name. And of course, in the orange team is Vertical Bard. Oh, wow. Already off the bat, Daisu with the crazy fast score there. Yeah, just in the right position, running immediately forward and beating the other team to the ball and pulling that great angle as well from deep in that side of the pocket is a beautiful shot to hit. So Daisu uh, completely catching the casters off guard there as we're doing the introduction. Gets that first goal there, pulling a goalie out of vertical bar. Sees them get the one-up early lead here with 4 minutes and 46 seconds left on the board right now. It's all up to vertical bar now. The ball is literally in their court. Well, not anymore, but they do have control looking for that crucial goal here to try and take out map number two. Now, Wiss forced to rotate back, and Kenny Salmon as well. And they have that scary moment. I don't know, it wasn't even ready for the follow-up in time, oh. but the defensive vertical bar just in the nick. But breaking out is the pivotal part. So many of them are running low on boost that they won't be able to create a great pressure play without having to rotate back and refilling. Wiss now having done so. Now, when you say vertical bar, are we talking about the team vertical bar or the actual vertical bar of the goalpost? Because the goalpost then got two defenses on itself. But of course, we do see uh, Wiss taking out a great goal there as well for our team, I don't know. Oh, sorry, for Vertical Bar. And uh, now we actually are up, uh, you know, one apiece. So, uh, you know, Vertical Bar getting on the scoreboard, making up for that little blunder in the first map here, and we might actually see a more even game here. The way they played it as well, kind of makes up for the mistake they had in the last game, where they tried to take the shot, unable to take it off the backboard. So the fact that they used it off the backboard again, drew out the defender from, I don't know, enabled them to pretty much have an open net, and that leads to the score. All right, great work here by Vodokba, running uh, two defensemen in the net zone there and clearing out the ball there. And, uh, you know, they're really actually uh, tightening up the defense here. They're aware that, I don't know, is really taking advantage of, you know, drawing up the goalpost and uh, the defenders here. So by putting two men there, they're guaranteeing a uh, ball defense there. So great work there by Vertical Bar. And it's where you want your defender to sit as well. You want them to come in from that rear post, running forward, just like we see there. Another great defense from Vertical Bar, but they have to break it out. Otherwise, it's going to be locked into this position where inevitably a goal will come. All right, I've got to try and clear it out here right now. And that was a great air bump there by Kenny. Gets it out of the zone there. But unfortunately, this ball is still in there. Great work here by Rafi. Gets the reflect there. And I don't know, we'll go up another point on the scoreboard there. Look at that. They'll try to clear it out into the blue zone there. I don't know, but he was just there at the right time. Gets the pass assist and a score. And I don't know, got two to one in this second map. I think that just shows some of the skill difference between the two teams. That I don't know had that a four man pass play bouncing between Rothy and Desu as the goal came forward. It's so difficult to stop. Even if they managed to pull the intercept, they were still locked in their half. They'll open themselves to more of the pressure play. And inevitably, the goal would have come through regardless. 
All right, great work here, like you said, by I don't know, using the, you know, the uh, the artwork of teamwork, I should say. They read Sun Tzu. <laughs> they know exactly what they're doing here. There we go. Ball is flying across the field. There, great defense here by I don't know, trying to clear it out of their zone right here, right now. But Vertical Bar, they are looking to get that scoreboard even. They've gotten one point on the board, so they know they're not out of this. They're not, you know, completely helpless against this foe that is currently up 2-1 on them right now. But here we go. I don't know, pushing across the field here, trying to get into the zone there, but a good clearance out there by Vertical Bar's uh, goaltender. Yeah, they're doing a great job on pushing forward into the half, but I don't know, his backboard defense has been incredible so far, locking Ooh. them out. <laughs> Maybe not when it counts. So close on that shot, the vertical bar of the defense is stopping vertical bar from getting their goal. Oh man, you do hate to see that there. When vertical bars betray the team of vertical bar, I mean, that's not what you want to see here, ladies and gentlemen, but there you go. Vertical bar is uh, the MVP of this game, and I mean the actual goalpost vertical bar, not the team so far. Great defense there by uh, I don't know as well clearing out there they're going for another attempt here to get a score but uh, again you know it's some great defense uh, by vertical bar clearing out of the zone there and looking for an attempt to score here on I don't know but it looks like they might be able to clear it out here uh, but let's see oh it misses the assisted pass there unfortunate there and will be a destruction there so it's a power play in favor of vertical bar here let's see if they can actually utilize it now yeah the fact they've opened up the goal this is our opportunity they've got the backboard touch the follow-up should come through but it's not quick enough I don't know, beating them to the ball now, give them time to respawn, give them time to reposition. And if you see most of the, I don't know, players, with the exception of, oh, oh. what a dunk come out, saved by Desu again. Oh, rejection, man. That was LeBron James rejection level right there. My gosh. You've got to feel bad for Vertical Bar. They have had this offense continually striking, I don't know's defense, but they just keep holding out. They're like a turtle pulled into their shell. Oh man, I swear, man, there have been some amazing shots here from Vertical Bar, but the defense from I don't know is just, well, I don't know, it's just amazing. And uh, we are seeing right now uh, Kenny Salmon trying to do some dribbling there and pass it off to his teammates here, looking for an assisted play there off Wies, but unfortunately will be cleared out there by the two goaltenders of I don't know. An attempt, oh, a great shot there by Yitzi, will get it in. Great assist play there by Vertical Bar there, off the wall there, bounces it off there, and just right timing there by Yitzi with the uh, the 180 upside down reflected shot. Fantastic work there. Yeah, getting more control, enabling him to dunk it down. The way he did that, noticing the position that I don't know his defense is coming from on rear post, let him choose where he was going to put the ball, and he could put it further to the right, baiting out the positioning of the defender, enabling to get the open goal. All right, so we are now down to our uh, last minute of this second map here. The score is tied two to two. And uh, match here. I don't know, uh, you know, might be falling apart here in the second half of this match because they've let in two goals now, and it looks like Vertical Bar actually maybe warmed up here as well, getting into the stride. Nice little defense there as well, and a bit of a dribble trying to clear it out there. Oh, wow, a missed uh, strike attempt there from, I don't know, we'll see him uh, dribble the ball out to center field there, and of course, uh, I don't know what the power play as well, up uh, one man. Yeah, the way they did that as well, I love the way that he just pops it over his head, the dribble past two players. Unfortunately, he didn't make any possession out of it that led to anything meaningful, but it was still a great play nonetheless. And I think it's interesting to note that as we go into potentially our first overtime, and over the only overtime of the night, it's so close. It is very close. So we're down to our final uh, eight, seven seconds here. Looking for the final goal here. Will anyone get it? I don't think so. The ball's about to hit the ground, and that will be dead ball. And we will enter overtime here. A nice last-minute attempt here by Vertical Bar, trying to keep the ball in the air. Oh, still going. All right, and there it is. So the ball will hit the ground. We will enter overtime here. Score currently 2-2. Two to two. I don't know, up one match score right now. And the defense from Vertical Bar coming out and holding this for so long, and the fact that they can put the offense on, I don't know, for pretty much the entire game, just shows that this is anyone's match tonight. It could go either way, despite the fact, I don't know, has dominated all the way through league play. All their matches against Vertical Bar recently have pretty much every single game come down to the wire. All right, so this will be a very close uh, best of three series here. As we're watching right now, uh, Vertical Bar trying to clear this ball out of their end zone there. Get it out of the danger zone. Get it out. Oh, a nice mid-air destruction as well by uh, Vertical Bar. That sees them with the power play here. It's a now three-on-two advantage here, waiting for the man to respawn here for I don't know. This is the time they need to strike. They're looking for the goal. Oh, just bounces off the post there on the left side. And the ball will be cleared out here as we're entering into the first minute of our overtime match. Yes, Garth, not falling for the mind games. After the first demo comes out, that's the opportunity for Vertical Bar to go in, try to draw out the defense, but he says no. He's calm, cool, and confident as he just waits for it and goes in at the perfect time to defend. All right, nice uh, steal attempt there by, I don't know, we'll clear out the ball from Vertical Bard as they were trying to get to the midfield there and get possibly a striking position here. Uh, right now, it looks like though, uh, you know, I don't know, 
pretty much in a position here to try and win. Oh, again, the top bar of that goalpost is the MVP getting the deflect there for Vertical Bar. And uh, looks like they will try and get a uh, counter-strike here, play as they are more in position here. But uh, you know what? This could be anyone's game here. It's both players and uh, both teams, I should say. Just trying to really position their players, uh, get the ball in an optimal position to strike. Yeah, I don't know. I'm expecting them to come out and maybe go for some backboard plays. Their backboard defense has been substantially better than vertical bars. Even though vertical bar has been maintaining a lot more possession than you typically expect, if they can potentially get some more backboard touches, they could score upon the defensive team. All right, so we're going to wait and see if that actually does happen here. A lot of uh, backboard play and, of course, wall bouncing as well coming off here uh, from, I don't know, as they're trying to clear it out of their zone right here, right now. But, if, uh, you know, we're just watching, we're just waiting to see, you know, who makes that first crucial mistake. And the mistake being, you know, hitting it off your own goalpost and uh, getting an assist there. But, uh, oh, nice destruction there from, uh, I don't know, we'll see him up with the power play here. This is their time to shine. They are up one player here as we have a respawn coming in just now for Vodok Bar. And, uh, you know, this could be quite a long overtime here because right now both teams really just uh, look in the position here, but the defense from both teams on their goalposts has been just fantastic. That's it. They're holding out so well. I don't know, pulling out the defensive demos to try to break down the pressure when they are getting pushed deep within their half. And now we're seeing Rothy coming out with the bumps to try to open the goal for his teammates. It shows just how much they respect the defensive prowess when you have to ruin a player to score the goal. Yeah, but ruining a play, you know, means you can score. So, yep. you know, I would do the same thing. That's because uh, you're a massive bully, though. Uh, you assume that. <laughs> I always play Medic, though, in, like, FPS and that, and Dota and all that. So, but, you know, in this, actually, you probably go pretty offense. But anyway, back to the game here, ladies and gentlemen. We are now watching, of course, I don't know versus Vertical Bar. If you're just joining us, welcome. We're into our first overtime of the night. Uh, three minutes plus on the board. So current score is 2-2. Two -two. I don't know is up one match to zero. Uh, so if you are just joining us, so if you come at the perfect time, the action has just started here. Oh, looks like possible goal there. And it's a great little defense there by Vertical Bar. Uh, at the last second, we'll see the ball deflected. And we are still continuing this overtime here as both teams showing us fantastic defense. Yeah, Daisu, we saw that moment there where he had the opportunity to score. The backboard defense, once again, great from, I don't know, as Yitzi tries to push in and goes for the play. Unfortunately, they're unable to break out from their half. And... It's at this time the vertical bar has been using. Oh, the goal oh, is open. Oh, Scarf oh. opportunity was there. Unfortunately, too little, too late. As the full vertical bar defense rushes forward and closes the hole. He in that literally. Gap. Oh, what? that was another open goal right there. So he whipped it twice there. Unfortunately, a full open goal misses it, and uh, we are still into this overtime. Entering four minutes now as we're watching Yitzi just uh, dribble that ball across the field here. Unfortunately, will not be in a position to strike here. It does pass it off to his teammate, but it will be cleared up there by great goalkeeping. Again, an open goal. Oh, oh, just barely gets it in there. So unfortunately, taps it a bit too high there. But, uh, you know, Vertical Bar being a bit desperate here, leaving their goalposts completely unattended here. But both actually say three times now, they have just been lucky as hell having uh, the natural defensiveness of the Vertical Bar protect their goal. I think it is a case of a little bit of indecision. Had any of the players just waited a little bit longer to give themselves the time to correct the shots, any of those could have gone on. And I think it's when you've played a second game just in overtime time alone that the pressure is built to such a stage where you get panicked. You do start to rush these plays. So you're saying maybe they're, uh, their knees are weak, their hands are sweaty, and your mom's spaghetti is on their lap as they're trying to play as well. Uh, right now, of <laughs> course, you know, vertical bar just uh, by the grace of their, uh, you know, I should say, in-game god, that is the vertical bar, letting them stay in this match, stay alive. It's entering now five minutes into our first overmatch here, as, uh, overtime, sorry, as watching Scarf here trying to work that ball towards the vertical bar of the goal. Well, I should say the vertical bar. I'm getting confused now. I'm saying vertical bar too many times when I'm referencing the bar of the goalpost <laughs> and the team as well. But, uh, of course, you know, watching here, Maybe a possible strike here. Oh, there we go. Kenny Salmon with a great tap in off the assist. We'll see Vertical Bar take out that overtime. So now we're up 1-1 uh, one, one on the scoreboard. Yeah, and Yeetzee's great setup as well. Cannot stress enough. Just noticing that if he got that side touch, it opened up the goals for him. And it looked like the defense of, I don't know, had finally run out of boost. One player stuck on the ground, unable to jump up and even go for the defense. And it's so difficult when your total head poking out, just looking from that net, unable to get the directional jump that you typically want when you come from the side of the post. All right, great work here. So just looking at the final uh, tally on the score there, but shots and everything as well. As you can see though, I don't know, like getting almost double the amount of shots there uh, on vertical bars. We saw in that final little uh, scoreboard there. So obviously their offense is just, well, I should say offensive in a way. They got a great ball control. They got great shot control as well, but the defense 
coming out there from vertical bar, especially again of the vertical <laughs> bar. So when I say vertical bar, maybe I should say like VB. Yeah, you just need a you need a shorthand for. I this. need a shorthand for the the actual vertical bar, the goalpost here, ladies and gentlemen. So when I say VB, I'm going to talk about that. When I say vertical bar, we're referencing the team. So by uh, the defense of VB, uh, was just phenomenal that game, getting about what four, five deflects there for the team. Oh yeah, they did a great job in keeping keeping themselves safe. Not necessarily on the backboard. There was quite a few times they got opened up there, but they got back in the nick of time, which is the crucial thing, and be able to stop the ball from actually connecting where it needs to be. Uh, I don't know, had a great job protecting their backboard. You typically saw one of their players just running up, getting there, making sure there was no consecutive touches. And I think that was one of the reasons that they managed to clear themselves out when they did get those clears off the backboard and then could rush forward, cheating forward a lot of the time. <laughs> and that enabled them to then get the final goals. So great work there, of course, by Vertical Bar. The current score now is uh, one to one as we're about to enter into our third match of the night. Uh, well, third map, I should say. Third, uh, third, third game. Map. Third game. See, like, you know, there's translations between, you know, uh, different games here, of course. Uh, but uh, very exciting stuff here, I have to say, you know. It's like my first time casting Rocket League, and I'm actually having a, an absolute ball no, casting well, with you. Son, so, yeah, thank you. I hope so. <laughs> I mean, if I was doing terrible, I'd just, you know, I'd rip off the shirt Hulk style and just, like, storm out going, ah! Is that your power play? Just whenever you're worried, just go full Hulk? Yeah, just go full Hulk. <laughs> uh, absolutely. Like, uh, when I was playing uh, Team Fortress 2 at uh, Lands, I would actually, like, flip the table sometimes. Yeah? Uh, when I got a good play. And then I realized, I'm like, oh, I did, my computer just knocked over. That was kind of silly. It, Why it only hurts yourself. It hurts myself. I'm like, yes, I got a good play. And my PC's on the floor. What have I done? Have you actually flipped a table? Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Um, it wasn't my proudest moment at LAN, but I have done it. Well, yeah. more you know. There you go. So, totally not stereotyping myself right now. <laughs> On the upside, though, <laughs> most, most Rocket League players actually use a controller. So when it comes to flipping, there's not as much to flip. Cause I mean, you could flip the controller, right? It'd be like flip into your lap, and you wouldn't break it as much, but it doesn't have the same effect, I feel. No, I don't think it has the same effect. <laughs> no, yeah, and, and you don't have to have the keyboard flip as well. You can't smash the keyboard in that regard. I mean, there is some keyboard players, like Torsos being... One of the, the ones that most people would come to mind. Yep. Uh, CGM's also another great keyboard player. But uh, when it comes to it, no, most of us are we're console guides all the way. Well, on PC, PC with a console controller. See, I use a controller for like fighting games. Yeah? Yeah, so I kind of, I understand where you're coming from there. Not I couldn't use a keyboard. Not a gamepad guy? Uh, no, my hands are too big for it. Yeah? I feel like it's a Ladies. little toy. <laughs> oh, get out of here. <laughs> Terrible. I wasn't even going for that, but he just makes it like that. Unbelievable. All right, we're going to enter into our uh, next match uh, momentarily here, but of course, uh, we're still working on uh, just getting the players uh, ready to go. You know, maybe they're adjusting. I think, I don't know, had to actually take maybe a moment here to uh, collect themselves as well, because that first game, they were so strong. They were protecting the goal, getting the passes, denying pretty much every shot here mm -hmm. from uh, top bar, vertical bar. Uh, but you know what? That second match there, and of course, the overtime as well, they really did fall apart. They moved the pressure has got them a little bit. Yeah, I think it was a weird case, right? You see the first game with the number of shots both teams were taking were pretty even. But then you look at the second game, despite the fact I don't know won the match, there was definite periods of time where Vertical Bar felt like they had control. Mm -hmm. They like took consecutive shot after shot after shot. And I mean, it didn't go anywhere. But the fact they held possession for that long is definitely worrying for the higher seeded team. Exactly. So again, like we look at the shot count as well, you know, I don't know, having almost twice the shots of Vertical Bar, and yet they are the, uh, the losers in that second uh, map there. But anyway, entering into our uh, third match. Uh, third game. Third game. There we go. I'm trying to get my, my lingo, you know, on point here. I don't want people on Twitter, you know, flaming me, going, he doesn't even know the lingo. Like, oh, come on, guys. Anyway, entering our third game here between, uh, I don't know, and Vertical Bar. Vertical Bar off the bat showing huge amount of strength, though. So kind of pulling a reverse, I don't know, on them. And uh, getting that first early goal, that great pass there, and assist by uh, Yeetzi getting the goal. So up 1-0 already. Yeah, quick angle as well. Realizing that he's coming out from the side. Yeetzi was involved in the last pass play they did too. So he seems to be a man to watch when it comes to not only opening the net himself, but also working with his teammates to try and make things happen. And now that they're being pushed onto the defense, it gives, I don't know, the opportunity to go for that equalizer. But when they're both going up for the ball, maybe a mispositioning. All right, so now again, uh, watching Vertical Bar here clear the ball out of their zone. And uh, again, the two-man defensive play here on the goal really is working out for them here because in the first game, we saw them only run the one man and they were getting scored on and attempted to score on quite a lot here and relying on the natural defense of the goalpost. But here we're seeing them work together a lot more, a lot more communication you can actually see through the players of Vertical Bar. And uh, it's showing because they're more concise, they're more accurate, and they're getting better ball movement. Speaking of better ball movement, right oh. perfectly down. What an amazing shot. The fact that I don't know managed to pull that out, but it doesn't matter in the end. Kenny's, Kenny's Salmon 
gets the finish. But look at that. If that was tennis, that would be in. What a beautiful angle. I mean, we have to go to instant replay for that, but uh, you're right. If that was tennis, I mean, we'd be challenging the play right here, right now, and that would be in. But a great play there by Kenny Salmon uh, with the, uh, I could say, follow-up goal there. Just making sure it gets in. It's like, this is your home. You belong in your home. Puts it in there and uh, up 2-0 already. So I don't know. Really up, uh, you know, maybe a bit shook here because they're down already 2-0 and we're not even uh, two minutes into the, the third uh, game here. Yeah, despite the fact it was 3-1 last time, these went head-to-head -head with each other. Scarf pulling one out, though, trying to bring that equalizer. He is not happy with the way this game has been going thus far. And noticing the opportunity, they get another one of those backboard touches. And this is what I talked about. This is the advantage that I don't know has over Vertical Bar, is that Vertical Bar's backboard defense isn't quite there yet. So if you have the opportunity to abuse that, that is an excellent place for you to score from. And that's exactly what they've just done there, Korea, because uh, right now, I don't know, is up. Well, at least one point on the board, I guess you'd say. So, uh, you know, they're on the board, not getting absolutely stomped in this third game here. But uh, Vertical Bar really showing us that they have warmed up. They're actually communicating a lot more here. And here's the massive dribble across field there. Will be taken out from underneath him, though. And cross field back into the zone of Vertical Bar. And now it's a uh, three on two advantage here. Looking for the score. And oh, did that reflect off him? Oh, did Dixie? Yeah, Daesu knew what he was doing. He was confident in that. Didn't matter that the defender was there. You could see he was there. He was ready and waiting. And the way he had time to position his car, oh. he was confident. So that would have gone in either way, but unfortunately there, uh, it looked like uh, Yitsi uh, did get the unintentional little bit of a tap, tap, tap and the score is up now 2-0. to zero. So I don't know, really striking back hard and fast here and just shutting down the momentum of Vertical Bar. Vertical Bar coming out and going, hey, two points on the board. We're going good. We've got some good momentum here. I don't know. It just comes out out of nowhere and just goes, hey, that momentum? Yeah, we'd like to uh, take it back from you right about now. And that's exactly what's happened here, Career, because I don't know is showing dominant control into this match right now. Yep. But now they've been locked in their half. The reversal has happened once again. Kenny, Kenny Salmon. I really struggle with that name for some reason. <laughs> that was a pivotal moment. When they did that two-man aggressive push forward, and then got denied in the 50-50. The fact that he was ready on the other wing to buy them some time to rotate back means that now they had two men to defend this. Now they have the opportunity to stop the goals coming at them. All right, great defense there by Vertical Bar and a bit of a pot shot that might have actually gone in there. But again, good defense here, but I don't know. Getting to the ball, clearing out of the zone and uh, showing us that control here. But uh, yeah, Kenny Salmon, I mean, say that 10 times fast. He I probably, don't think I possibly could. He couldn't. You know, he sounded like saying like Kenny Barramundi for some reason or something. <laughs> Go for an Aussie twist on it. Uh, but here we go, ladies and gentlemen, watching I don't know versus Vertical Bar here. The current score is two to two. Both of these teams have one game underneath their belts. And open goal, and Kenny Salmon with the roof reflect shot will get the point on the board there. Great work by him. Look at that, off the wall there. That's something you don't expect to see. Oh, a when third hit. Yeah, Daisu coming up so fast, just got an entire boost. He beat out two of the I Don't Know players getting to the ball. Then he managed to finish it off the roof as well with a follow-up touch and get the angle. That is the kind of play that just leaps you ahead in these matches. All right, so nice work there by uh, Vertical Bar, getting another point on the board there, just taking advantage of drawing out that defender there uh, by I Don't Know. And, uh, you know, showing us that they've still got it. They're not out of this completely. Their momentum has not been fully stopped here by I don't know but uh, now it's up to I don't know to you know kind of bring it back here maybe change the pace of the game here it's a trying to clear this ball out of their zone but uh, vertical bar just really contented it's keeping it in oh nice little last second defense there three men defending the post there but there we go Kenny Salmon once again strikes and scores there off the defensive play here by I don't know they're trying to clear it out there but unfortunately just did not have enough momentum in the car itself to get the ball across midfield and Kenny Salmon with the quick a little volley in. That's the scary thing. When you have three of your players in defense, yes, there's a lot of hands on deck, but it's hard to communicate who's to jump up. And we saw it just there when the first shot came through, all three of them went up, which meant they're all three in the air when the following one came through and it essentially left it open despite the fact you had three defenders. Exactly, running out of those crucial uh, booster resources is not the place you want to be in, especially when all three of you are sitting in the goal and that will see Vertical Bar take the score up to four to two in this third game. Ladies and gentlemen, as we have now the final minute in the game remaining, it's up to, I don't know, to really bring out something special here and get two quick points on the board, but look at this. Quick little try and uh, attempt to score there by Vertical Bar, unfortunately off the mark just by a tad there. Uh, by the players, but again, you know, Yeetzee showing us some great clearing out here of the goal, of the zone, and just keeping I don't know on their toes. 
Yeah, we did see Wiss and Scam as <laughs> Scam and oh my god, not today. Kenny having that moment where of miscommunication where one of them decided they want to go for a double touch, the other one thinking it was a pass play. The slight miscommunication stopped them from getting a goal. It was mm. pretty much guaranteed that opened it up, but neither of them managed to get the connection then, which meant that they had to pass possession. It won't matter though, because when you've got a two goal lead with only 15 seconds left on the clock, you've locked this one in. All you need to do right now is pull a reverse GR Smith and basically keep the ball away from the goal. And that's exactly what they're doing right now. Vertical bar, just keeping the ball across the field here. It will enter their zone one last time, but uh, with two seconds left, they will uh, take out this match here. So great work here by uh, Vertical Bar going up uh, two to one. Yeah, strong effort from the underdogs. Last time they went head to head, it was three one in favor of I don't know. So they've already flipped it further than what I was expecting. So which is a great start from then. But every match they have played has gone down to the wire. And now we're seeing an inversion of shots as well. Last time we saw I don't know pretty much doubling them. And now this time, it's the other way around. Mm. All right, so great work there, of course, by Vertical Bar taking up uh, two to one. And, uh, you know, just showing us, you know, they had some reverse domination coming out there. Like the first match, they're a bit, uh, a bit asleep, I should say. You know, it is a Wednesday night. Maybe they're a bit fatigued from work and yeah, haven't enough uh, energy drinks yet. So, but uh, they've actually come out, they've warmed up, and they are absolutely showing us a bit of a dominant play here. I mean, yeah, again, their shots taken and the possession of the ball might be a bit lower, but they're making the possession they have crucial, and it's counting, and they're getting those great goals there. Uh, of course, you know, off the reflecting on the ceiling, uh, yep. the double pass, uh, double tap passes as well, and I don't know, just really, well, I don't know, <laughs> uh, just you know, losing the cohesion that we saw in that first game. Yeah, it's really upsetting for, for the I don't know players. I mean, you've got Daisu here, someone that has gone through the RLCS Qualifier League play. He's essentially the high, I guess, like the, the highest seeded player in this competition right now. So to have that pick up and then be falling behind, is very surprising. And the other part of it for me as well, that Vertical Bar has done a great job in setting up these pass plays and breaking mm -hmm. through. So they've they recognized, I think it's that adaption that has gone on between the game of previous to this one, where they're like, okay, we, we're trying to hit the back ball, but the defense is too strong there. So let's go for pass plays close to the ground. Yep. And that's working out. So by keeping the ball lower to the ground, they're actually taking advantage of, uh, I don't know, is, uh, I should say lack of ground defense. Like they're great in the air. They're great at getting those air defenses and off the wall ceiling bounces, but, uh, you know, short ground play passes is just not really working up. I don't know. And into our uh, fourth game here, ladies and gentlemen, if you just joining us, my name is Zeke. I'm joined, of course, by the one, the only, the ravishing courier lord here at uh, Showdown Esports as we're watching, uh, I don't know, versus Vertical Bar. The score currently is 2-1 to Vertical Bar as we're watching this uh, fourth game here. Uh, looks like, I don't know, going for a quick attempted goal there, but unfortunately will be shut out there by great defense here by Vertical Bar. We did have that moment there, an important push. If he doesn't win this challenge, they're going to be in a terrible position. I don't know, push onto the backboard after two of their players cheated forward, losing the opportunity to now score and being pressured again by Vertical Bar. All right, so Vertical Bar really shown us uh, they've actually warmed up. Like I said, they're in the zone. They're looking for the win here, ladies and gentlemen. If they do take out this game, they will take out the series and move further along in tonight's finals. Uh, but right now, you know, I don't know, just really kind of falling apart here. They're trying to clear the ball out of their zone, but uh, having absolutely zero luck there, a missed attempt there by the players of, uh, I don't know, trying to clear the ball. But, uh, you know, again, a lot of hits, but not much ball movement here. That's it. They may be able to get the first touch, they may be able to get the second, but they've, until now, Ooh. struggled to get a clear. Every time they get the ball high, Vertical Bar was quicker to it, and they'd get punished, and now they're locked back in their half. Vertical Bar doesn't have that problem. We saw the clear immediately come out, and they got it into the other side of the pitch. Exactly. So again, once again, we're seeing, you know, uh, Vertical Bar just clearing the ball out super fast, and then just controlling the ball in the blue zone of I don't know. And uh, I don't know, having a lot of trouble, you know, just getting it out there. Look, at they're trying to dribble it around here. We are waiting for a try to sneaky kick. Uh, sneaky cap was going to save a sneaky goal, but unfortunately will be uh, shoved out of there. But uh, he's got his teammates ready to back him up here. All three players of about looking for a score here, but uh, nothing will eventuate from that. And they'll be rushing back towards defense here. But uh, again, you know, the ball just really clearing out here. Well, not clearing out, I should say, by, I don't know. Yeah, they missed an opportunity though. Vertical but pivotal mistake. They'd gone all Ooh. the way in. They'd locked, I don't know, with pretty much no boost. Two players were entirely out. They'd just stolen all the big boost balls. So all they had to do was be patient in the midfield. But all three of them moved forward. They lost the possession in the left half. And now they have to restart this pressure play entirely again. All right, here we go. Vertical bar once again, like pushing in. Like I said, they've actually, you know, really push I don't know to use all their resources here while pick up those uh, rocket booster orbs here by vertical bar and they're looking for another attempt to score and there we go Yeetsu gets the yeet 
I love saying that. <laughs> and that's what we wanted to see from them. They didn't get too aggressive with it. They had one or two players always sitting back that was ready to engage, be reactionary and come forward to finish the play, but they weren't risking the punishment of a big clear. They had someone that could come up and deflect it and bring it back down if I don't know tried to get it. And we have seen that they're really good at blocking I don't know's clears. They really are. I mean, they're just controlling that ball in I don't know's section and, you know, having the ball there constantly for this match really doesn't do much, uh, you know, what's the word? Uh, confidence boosting mm. for I don't know because they're going well why can't we clear the ball out of our zone why are vertical bar pressuring us so hard what are we doing wrong and they start second guessing themselves and that's what we saw in that last play there both players just mistiming their jumps for the defense there and it led to of course vertical bar getting that crucial point on the board here up 1-0 with uh, 1 minute and 47 seconds left in this game yeah, it's, it's incredible. The fact that Ardenau can go through the entire league play, they are 7-0 in terms of matches. They've only dropped four games all season. They've dropped two to nine, and this is only their first match. Mm -hmm. That's a 50% increase in defeats. Coming from the team that was coming fourth in terms of the actual ladder itself, that is an incredible comeback. And there we go, another one coming out. They're just consolidating this lead. This is monstrous. This is fantastic work here by uh, Vertical Bar, just absolutely dominant here. I mean, what happened in that small break here? I mean, they must have had some, like, uh, you know, in Space Jam where Bugs gives everyone, you know, <laughs> Jordan's special stuff. Yeah. I think that's what's happened here with Vertical Bar. They've just had some kind of a, a vertical aluminum bar and just digested it and gained some superpower here because they are dominating I don't know. I don't know has no answer for this whatsoever. I mean, the ball possession alone has been completely in Vertical Bar's favor right now. Yep, they've had the adaption. They've noticed how to break through I don't know's defense. They've decided not to go for the backboard, go for some pressure plays, go for some pass plays predominantly. And it's that smart adaption that can overcome the fact that I don't know may have some technically better players, as in technical skill-wise or mechanically. But when it ultimately comes down to it, there is a level of knowledge that comes through. You need to have the plans, you need to have the strats if you're going to win Rocket League. Exactly, and right now the strat is coming out here, plus the resource usage. And I should say actually the resource uh, for spending here by Vertical Bro, they're making, I don't know, waste their rocket boosters on yep. pretty much, you know, no attempts at all. And Yeetzee once again with the Yeet score there. He's scored two goals now this one match alone. Been fantastic play here. Coming off the assist there, nice and easy, draws the defenders out there. Again, see, look, I don't know, just slow to react to the defensive play. It's because they are getting read by Vertical Bar. So pretty much, I don't know, Strat is like, okay, we can't get the big clears. Vertical Bar beats us in the midfield. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do, we're going to pass the ball into the corner. One of our teammates is going to pick it up and they're going to try run with it. But Vertical Bar always has someone waiting in that corner to receive the ball so they can start the play anew. So it doesn't matter what I don't know does, they're already being read. It's fantastic play here by Vertical Bar. And again, going for the goal again. Oh, just barely off the mark there. Couple of degrees to left, and it would have gone in, but here we go. Looking for it. Who is that? It's my man Yeetzee trying to go for the score there. Again, the ball is just hovering out there, but unfortunately, with less than five seconds left and a score of three to zero, it looks like Vertical Bar will take this game and the match series. What an upset! I don't know. Seven and zero oh in the league play right off the bat. Then there were 24, oh, sorry, 21 for four in terms of games. They dropped nearly as many games tonight already against Vertical Bar as they did the entire season. That is phenomenal. That's crazy. And look at the shots, 12 to three. That is absolute domination. And a player I think that needs to be highlighted that hasn't been getting the attention is Wiss. Always there to set up for his teammates, happy to get the passes going. And he plays a bit of reactionary, which I like. We saw it in that final play. Yes, he didn't get there in time. He potentially could have got them a final goal, but that's not what they're playing about. They're playing a little bit more defensively, sitting in the midfield, making sure they don't concede that pressure and it's that intellectual play that I think is giving them the advantage. Exactly. They're keeping the ball in the zone of, of course, uh, I don't know, and forcing them to really, you know, second guess themselves. Again, wasting the boosters, controlling the midfield, and of course, more importantly, controlling those rocket booster tokens mm -hmm. and getting the resource advantage as well. So they kind of play like an RTS game in a way in that second half of the match series. You know, they really analyze what they were doing wrong. Mm -hmm. They're going, hey, we're not controlling the midfield here. We're letting them get the resource. We're letting them get ball control. Let's stop that. Let's flip it on its head and just completely dominate them. And that's what exactly what they did. They took control of the mid. They took control of the resources, more importantly, mm -hmm. and they forced out a lot of unnecessary uh, rocket boost jumps for defending. Like you pointed out, in 
in the match there, they did a, a three-man jump in the goalpost. Yeah. And it's just like, well, what are you doing? Like, the miscommunication there by I don't know, it just makes me go, and of course yourself, <laughs> go, I don't know. The pun's never going to stop, guys. I mean, you have a name like that, I'm going to pun it all night long. Well, I mean, they fed it to you, right? They, when, yeah. when, the, when the teams give you names like this, they're <laughs> expecting you to, to slip up. The least you can do is try a pun off it. Exactly. It's pretty much an obligation at this point as a caster. I mean, if you're a caster and you don't make puns, I mean, are you really a caster? Yeah, smiley face. Smiley face? Yeah. Hit us up on Twitter if you think differently. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're going to go back and uh, check out our brackets uh, on the screen real fast. Oh, no. We're going to have a five-minute break, in fact. So yeah, we're going to a five-minute break. Getting so the feed here. <laughs> yeah, we got Matt and Aria just telling us what to do, okay. the little voice from God. <laughs> but we will see you guys all in a couple of minutes as we jump over to a break.
180. Bump it on through. Down we go. Express. Stay back. Hell of a ball playing with their competition. A little bit. Joel. Whoa. That was insane. Last season. Both of them had experience on the international today. And there it is. Showcasing from Porthos. We might have a series. You see me. I can do a CJ if you take it. Oh, Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Zeke. I'm joined by the one, the only, the Lord of Couriers, Courier Lord. Hello. We're down here at uh, Frodown Esports at the Showdown Studios, casting some amazing Rocket League action. We're in our, what is it, May Monthly Cup Community Finals? I got that backwards. Yeah, no, no, but I think that's pretty much pretty much on the pretty money. Much it. It's yeah. like finals number five or six. I lose track. I've got it written down here somewhere. But uh, we are seeing some amazing Rocket League action tonight. Of course, if you're just joining us, you missed an amazing series between Vertical Bar and I don't know where. I don't know the pretty much undefeated champions, or I should say champions yeah. of the season, uh, kind of lost pretty badly there. Yeah, they, they came into this this finals after going through a league play 7-0. They were 21-4 in terms of games won, which is a phenomenal record. And then they lose 1-3. Yeah. They pretty much lost more games now than they did through the entire season. It's crazy when you think about it. It's like, wait, what happened just then? Uh, so anyway, so uh, of course, Vertical Bar showing us some great strength there. Like I said, mm. they went uh, behind the scenes, had uh, Jordan's special stuff. They got pumped up. The communication was there. They outplayed, uh, you know, poor I don't know, and really kind of made the team go, I don't know what just happened. Yeah, that's true. Great adaption Sorry. as well. They, they were going up against a team that had XRLCS qualified players. But now the next match is the one I'm also excited about. We have new Mono Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcanic Onycosis. You did not just do that. <laughs> I, oh. I think that's right. Um, <laughs> up against... Uh, I'm getting, I got like getting smack from uh, the producer oh, in my okay, ear okay. for not a perfect pronunciation. But uh, Smiley Face is also going to be going up against them now. And these are two teams that have burst each other quite a few times. Mm. Typically, the way it goes down, Smiley Face wins it in the league play. They then go into the finals. They win in the finals in the upper bracket. And then you just see the other team, New Mon Ultra, goes that lower black bracket run and then beats them in the grand finals. So. All right, so we're going to do a, uh, a quick recap, on, of course, on the prize pool that is available tonight. Uh, as you can see here, this is the Rocket League Community Cup uh, final. So there you go. I got it right that time, mostly because it's on the screen. Yep, so we're but playing for $600 for the podium finishes. And the important thing here is you want to get that first place. Fourth place is worth nothing to you, but first place, that is where the big money is at 350 Awesome prize pool there, ladies and gentlemen, brought to you, of course, by Frodon Esports. And uh, we'll be entering our uh, next match very shortly, as I can hear actually uh, countdown noises going in the background there. So we actually are starting yeah, up we are very, ready to very start soon. Up. And uh, very excited to be here, uh, casting uh, for Storm here. This is my first Rocket League cast. I think I'm doing okay. I mean, we just had a, a bit of a break here, of course, in the commercial break. And uh, apparently the chat says I'm a love child of, like, two people. Nols the <laughs> Nolski and Yami. Nolski and that. Yeah, yeah, Nolski, one of the uh, fathers of uh, the admins of RLC. Uh, RLO is the uh, Rocket League Oceania. <laughs> and uh, Yami, one of the top analysts, probably the top analyst in the entire country, off uh, in far away lands at the moment. So we miss the old guy. So there you go. So apparently I am the love child of two very good Rocket League people. So that's uh, that's nice to know. Yeah. But anyway, entering into our uh, a second uh, match here of the night, ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us, welcome. My name is Zeke. I'm joined by the one and the only career lord here for Throwdown Esports. We're now watching, uh, I'm going to call him Pneumonia Ultra. I'm just going to go Ultra while we're casting this game. Just make it a bit easy. Yep. Uh, watching Ultra versus Smiley Face here onto the first game here of this best of five series. And uh, who does the uh, the players look out for in this match? This is actually a really interesting one because Nubana Ultra has some interesting players. We've got Talandina is currently playing for Chiefs at Gfinity, which is pretty exciting. But you also have Smiths on Smiley Face doing the exact same thing for Raw. So we have some big talent players that are going to be playing in tonight. But both of these teams have been doing amazing in the league play. Smiley Face typically pulling the advantage over Numana Ultra, but Numana Ultra has won so many community cups that they are an old favorite. All right, so uh, Numana Ultra obviously being your favorite to win this game. Just because they have the most difficult name to say. Thank you, Talandina. Okay, so I'm going to go with Smiley Face then. As I say that, of course, Caster's Curse comes in and Ultra will get the first score on the board there. Great shot there by Charge. Uh, gets the uh, basically the follow-up deflect there. So not a great clear there by Smiley Face. Uh, getting it, of course, across the wall there. And uh, a good follow-up there by Charge gets the easy goal. Yeah, it was a great shot. That angle was incredible. The mm -hmm. way it was just coming straight out of the corner just shows that we're at a level of play now where you can pretty much hit the ball from anywhere and you can open up the goals. But Talandina, ooh, ooh that's ooh. a scary moment. You may have that defensive demo, but it doesn't help you if there's no one there for the save. All right, so the power player, unfortunately, not coming into play there. They weren't up a player, but unfortunately, that pesky, pesky bar 
just, uh, you know, defending the goal for itself. You know, sometimes the goal has to take action into its own hands, and uh, it did it right there. And uh, Nomona Ultra, uh, you know, stay one up on the board right here, right now, as we see uh, great control here by Nomona Ultra. Looking for that cheeky deflect there into the goal. Unfortunately, it will be cleared out there across midfield, as we see Smiley Face putting a three-man pressure onto this here. Oh, Ooh, that was close. That yeah, was very the close. SS Steve Smith's sibilance packages, they just pushed up. We saw the defense come out of the first one, defense in the second, and they managed a beautiful pass play, breaking out of their half. And now the follow-up with a backboard touch. All right, this is some great passing play here by Smurfett. So they're getting the shots lined up here for Steve. Uh, unfortunately, they're, they're defensive by the Mono Ultra, just seeing them at the perfect time use the rocket jumps uh, to deflect the ball and uh, oh, disallow, I should say, any goals from happening. But uh, right now, ball into the Mono Ultra's field. Uh, but they do have, of course, all three men there and will be able to easily clear it out there and get a half-court dribble across there and uh, another clear out here by Smiley Face. We'll attempt to see them get it across the field and out of their zone. Yeah, it was a great job there by Frenzy. Noticing both of his teammates had been taken out when they both tried to go for a double touch commit. But unfortunately, ooh, Steve ooh. getting a bit of a yummy flip as he now pushes forward. But unfortunately, no follow-up will allow them to take possession, despite the fact Mimon Ultra are pretty much out of boost. All right, so now Ultra uh, maybe... At a bit of a disadvantage here, like you said, out of boost here, but it's, uh, they're still managing to keep the ball in the zone of Smiley Face here. Smiley trying to dribble it out there, trying to get it into the zone of Ultra, but Ultra just having none of it right now as they're going for another cheeky goal. Oh, just off the post there, and another attempt there. Nice work. I'm going to pronounce that now. I'm going to say Dina. Dina with the great score there. Talina Dina. Tullin Dina. There we go. Thank you very much, producer, as he uh, does get the name there. So a uh, great reflex score there off the top of the windscreen. We'll see uh, the Mono Ultra up 2-0 with about 2 minutes and 13 seconds left in this first game. You know Chiefs can pick some excellent talent, so picking up Talandina is a good indicator that this guy is going to be a man to watch going through this competition as he pushed deep into Smiley Face's offensive half. And now it's the interesting position, right? You are two goals down. Smiley Face typically beats them the first time they come head-to-head -head on any given day. Mm. So the fact Mono Ultra is feeling on today is not going to set a good precedence for Smiley Face. All right, but we could be seeing like the same thing happen in the last game, or I should say last uh, match between, <laughs> of course, I don't know, and Vertical Bar, where Vertical Bar were down the first game. And then, you know, uh, Vertical Bar came back and, you know, really took up the series. That could happen here as well. Yeah, you could be seeing sweep. them, you know, Smiley do a reverse sweep and just, you know, maybe come into the match, maybe warm up in this first one, maybe lose the first one, and then come back and do a reverse sweep for each one. But, uh, you know, Nomona Ultra right now showing a lot of dominance here and controlling the ball uh, quite nicely. When I say controlling the ball, I mean just clearing it out of their zone, making sure the Smiley Face has no easy attempts or open shots on the goal. Yeah, we've seen the defensive the defensive play that are coming out of them. They're very happy to keep one person at rear post, happy to, you know, throw a second guy in there as well, just over flood that defense just to make sure you can keep that 2-0 lead. Because when you have a lead that big, <laughs> you can play safe. That was a, a cheeky reversal into the ball there, just... Uh Showing a bit of booty there on the car. And uh, one minute is remaining now in this first game here. Ladies and gentlemen, Nomona Ultra up 2-0 right now as we're watching Shu try to go for a goal there. But unfortunately, no Shuey will be had by Shu as he is completely rejected out of the Mono Ultra side of the map. And uh, Ultra just really showing us a lot of dominance here with their movement and ball control. And their ability to rotate back. I think mm -hmm. that's another thing we just got to hammer home. We saw that play. They pushed forward deep into Smiley Face's half. As soon as they lost control, though, they had two players back, ready for the defense, ready Ooh. for the rotate. And you can see them just comfortably stopping all these shots that did are coming he, from Smiley. Did Shu just accidentally deflect the ball out of the goal there? Oh, that was a bit uh, a bit bad. So unfortunately, <laughs> the, the lined up shot was looking to go there, but he was just on the wrong side of the ball and unfortunately deflects it away from the place he wants to go to. A bit of a dribble there, but unfortunately will be struck out from underneath him. And we do have five seconds left on the board here. Two to zero will be the score for the first game here of this uh, best of five match here between, of course, uh, I'm going to try and pronounce it here. Uh, Nomona Ultra Microscopic Ciliosis Volcano Osis. Oh, screw it. Volcanoconicosis? Volcanoconicosis. It's crazy. So great work there, of course, by Nomona Ultra going up uh, one zero. As we're looking at the uh, the final scoreboard here and the shots taken, of course, and uh, you know a lot of shots taken there by Smiley Face, but uh, again the defense there, the two man defense and the zone defense there by Nomona Ultra just shut down Smiley Face so hard. That's it. It's it's an interesting place to be, right? Typically, if you see a team they're getting all the shots, imagining good possession, you'd think that they'd be the ones coming ahead. Mm -hmm. But when it comes down to it. It, this is a game about team play. It's a game about tactics. So knowing how to rotate correctly, that is to say getting all three of your players moving around the pitch in a way that it works cohesively, 
works incredibly well. They sent two players back. They were always ready on defense. Change being an absolute powerhouse when it comes to that. Managing to pull four saves alone. Mm -hmm. So Savior Metal coming, is going to be coming his way. But that's how you win a match. That is indeed like great play there. Of course, they control the middle, they control the ball, they keep the ball in your enemy's zone. And of course, like I said in the earlier match uh, that we witnessed uh, before, you know, it does play a lot of mental stress on the enemy team, mm -hmm. or oh, I should say enemy team, yeah, the other team. Yep. And it does stress them out going, hey, why can't we kill this ball out of our zone? You know, why are they so much better than us? And it does start to play and affect, uh, you know, everybody. You, you pointed out before how they, they had that offense building and then one of them comes in, they go for the touch and they accidentally knock it out of the way from yep. their teammate trying to score. And that's not necessarily a fact that they didn't have the technical skill. It's the fact that you're so stressed trying to break mm -hmm. through this huge defense of New Mono Ultra that they get in each other's way. Exactly. The small little errors there, unfortunately, is what led to Smiley uh, losing that first game there. If you're just joining us, welcome. Of course, my name is Zeke. I'm joined by the one and only Courier Lord here. We're casting up an absolute storm here tonight with some uh, Rocket League Monthly Community Cup Finals. I said it right that time. There you go. Nailed it, son. Oh, nailed it. As we're into our second game of the second match, uh, watching the Model Ultra versus Smiley Face here. The Model Ultra are up currently 1-0 to zero as we're seeing, uh, well, Smiley Face attempted a bit of a goal there, but unfortunately nothing has uh, come out of it. But again, the Model Ultra really controlling the ball here and keeping it in Smiley Face's zone. Yeah, the way they're just controlling the possession is beautiful. Now we're seeing Smiley Face trying to dribble their way out, and they may have actually Ooh. got it, but Frenzy with that demo might be enough to stop them. Shu entirely out of boost, but choosing to take it slow is an incredibly smart moment here. He can bait the fact that he doesn't have any boost, allowing his teammates to get back into position despite the fact they got demoed, mm -hmm. and it means that they're not screwed despite everything going wrong. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that went in. Jeez, I thought that was actually going to bounce off the top bar there. So a nice uh, play there by Shui. He'll be celebrating, of course, with his own Shui there. So bounce off the top bar there. Nice assist and will get the score. So uh, Smiley Face actually coming back and breaking their drought of the first uh, game with a 1-0 to zero score. Currently, we have less than four minutes to go in this second game. Yeah, what a great setup. We had that moment where he had zero moves, pushing up the side, enabling his teammates to come back into position. They get the backboard play. They get the follow up touch it's enough to pull ahead and it's the smart plays that are going to be deciding this match mm -hmm. all these players are technically proficient enough that they can make something happen and now it's just about enabling them the position to do so exactly it's being in the right position at the right time and of course the perfect angle and that exactly what has uh, just happened there the great setup there off the backboard and the follow-up assist we'll see but oh get the ball out of there oh nice quick defense there as uh, pneumonia ultra tries to just Zerg onto the ball there and take advantage of the uh, scramble by Smiley Face as they're just a bit out of position there, but it does work out for them in the end. A bit of a small dribble there, trying to clear out there, and the Mo Ultra will keep that ball in the Smiley Face zone as, uh, you know, they actually are quite healthy on the boost meters as well, so they can make a play here. Yeah, this is the pressure play moment. They've got full boost. They can start denying Smiley Face. We saw they were all Zerging in that corner. Three men stuck there. You can implies to you that they don't all have a ton of boost. They've been playing in an area for the same number of boost pads, so it's the prime time for you to try to get pass plays. Go for those backboard touches, lock them in, bleed them dry, and eventually score. All right, so again, we are now watching uh, Nomada Ultra just pressuring Smiley Face, but for once, the ball is actually onto the zone of Smiley. Or should say out of Smiley's, but uh, you know, as soon as I said that, Caster's Curse, the ball's back in the zone of Smiley. They are currently up 1 0, and the Mono Ultra is just kind of playing it slower. They're actually not going for any uh, massive players, they are conserving their boost quite a bit, playing around the boost pads, and uh, trying to you know, build up the resources here to make a, a crucial play. Yeah, change that beautiful play. They're getting past two defenders. Great little dribble, and it's that kind of showcase skill we want to see. Ooh, Great, good oh, that defense miss coming out. Quick play coming out of New Mono Ultra was quickly defended from Smiley and shoot another dribble, but quickly denied. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. If you're just joining us, this is some intense Rocket League action here between New Mono Ultra and Smiley Face. As we're seeing uh, Mr. Stevie, come on, Stevie boy, trying to get in position here. Look, you can see him trying to set up here and get an angle to work on, but uh, New Mono Ultra is just covering every base right now, moving around the map, using the walls and the boost just so proficiently to clear the ball out there. Oh, open goal, unfortunately, just a bit too high there. Yeah, change, ready and roaring. You can see he was ready to take it off that backboard, push it forward, but it's back to Mayhem in the midfield as neither team can really get into a position to start the pressure play due to lack of boost. Perfect example there, SS Steve, or the fact that they're too scared and rotating heavily backwards, not enabling them to move forward, cheating and get those positional passes. All right, here we go, the Mono Ultra. Possibly looking for a clear out here, but great work by Smiley. Intercepting the ball mid-air. A good pass off to Stevie. Stevie boy, come on, buddy. I believe in you. I believe in the heart of the cards or the heart of the football. <laughs> 
to try and get a score here, but uh, unfortunately, Smiley Face lose position of the ball, and the Mono Ultra will look for a goal here to even up the score. Just about one minute left here on this second game here, and there it is right now. Smiley looking to even up the total match score here, bring it up to one apiece. They're controlling the ball quite nicely. I mean, it is in their zone quite a lot. They're using a lot of boost, but oh, there we go! Stevie Boy with the dribble score there. We'll see him go up 2-0. to zero. Now, Look at this. Wall ride basically passes off and just great shot there. Yeah, what a great read as well. You could see that he knew it was coming round. You know the comms were open there because he had perfect positioning. He could see that it was open. It was just about having his car in the position to get the angle he requires to score. And now, with 40 seconds left on the clock and that 2-0 lead, they can sit reasonably comfortable knowing this game's already in the bag. Unless they, you know, pull out from the goal and let them get two <laughs> scores. But, uh, you know, that could happen. This AFK is Rocket League. Emote, just a little too hard. <laughs> oh, jeez. That would be absolutely devastating to see. But I don't think that's actually going to happen here. Less than 30 seconds left now in this second game. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like Smiley Face will take it out uh, to even up the scoreboard. Of course, 1 0. They're controlling the ball quite nicely here. Looking possibly even for a third goal here. Open goal, but unfortunately, a little bit to the right there. And uh, we do see the scramble by Nomoto Ultra coming back in to defend the goal. Open goal, though. Oh, there it is. A quick rocket boost and a defend there by Smiley. Final 10 seconds, Korea. And these guys are going out. Smiley face taking the game back. This is the team that always beats Numon Ultra first match of the day. So the fact that they have now taken back the lead, we're falling back into their old history. They stick into their own legacy, but can they hold it? All right, well, we're going to find out uh, right here, right now. Ezra is looking at the final score there, of course. Uh, I'd say Steve, definitely uh, the MVP of the game there with, uh, what, two shots, three saves, an uh, assist, and a goal as well. He does, of course, take up the top score and that uh, fancy fancy icon as well. Yeah, again, that MVP. Ooh. That's pretty crazy, right? He had half the shots for his team, half the saves for his team, half the assists for his team, half the goals for his team. So that's definitely deserving an MP MVP that round. The thing that really interested me, though, was it was pretty much an inversion of how the two teams played over the last game. So we now see Smiley Face. They managed to pull a win. They half as many shots. Defensively, they played significantly better. Mm -hmm. Imana Ultra was getting way more aggressive. I don't think it was justified. I mean, it had the same kind of situation, right? Yep. They're getting frustrated. They couldn't break through that defense. They start over committing. Three men move forward. Goal's completely open. You had so many times you're like, he's got the goal. Like the opportunity is there. He pushes it wide, but it didn't matter because they still got a couple of goals anyway. Exactly. They could have got more. They could have like a 5-0 victory. They could have been a 5-0 victory, but, uh, you know, the more Ultra did scramble at the very end of it together mm. for defense as well. And of course, you know, the crucial vertical top bar of the goal post. Yes, yeah, the vertical bar. Uh, your the old vertical favorite. bar, my favorite. <laughs> uh, of the night, you know, coming into play as well. But uh, great work there, of course, by Smiley uh, taking up 1-1 uh, now as we're going to enter into our third match of this, or should I say, third game. Yep, the second third match. game. Nailed it. There we go. And here we go. Countdown is on. Here's the kickoff. And Stevie Boy, once again, showing us why his name uh, Super Steve or Speedy Steve. Yes. He, he has two S's in his name, so I assume one of the S's is for something else. It could be like Speed, speed or Super or... Yeah. Or Super Sub Steve. Super Saiyan? <laughs> Super Saiyan Steve? You, you are a DBZ fan, so that I'm makes a, perfect sense. I'm a massive DBZ fan. If you look at my Twitter, it's just all Dragon Ball. It's ridiculous. Anyway, enough about that. More into the cast. What's happening right now? Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us, welcome. My name is Zeke. I'm joined by the one, the only, Courier Lord. We're casting up an absolute fire rocket storm tonight as we're watching Smiley versus Namana Ultra. Smiley face, sorry. And uh, right now, the score is, of course, 1-1 one, one in terms of uh, games won for these teams as we're entering into the third game here. Right now, we're watching uh, the Model Ultra really pressuring Smiley Face into the corner there. A crucial destruction, though, uh, by Talandina. But, uh, you know, they actually didn't make it work out for them. They had the power play, and yet the ball is still firmly controlled Smiley. Yep. Smiley may have the control. Numata Ultra seems to have the clears this game, but it's going to be which way does the coin like fall. We had Numata Ultra and Smiley Face both having a round where they were hyper aggressive and lost the game because of it. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to see if one of them can find moderation, find the perfect balance between a good offense, but one that doesn't overcommit. Well, we're going to find out right here, right now, because, mm -hmm. you know, like you said, if they go too aggressive, you're using too much boost, you're giving up control of the middle map. Of course, those crucial uh, refuel targets for the boost as well. Yep. And that's what happened in that second game. The Mono Ultra went super, super aggressive, lost control of the mid, ran out of boost completely, and Smiley Face literally played the angles across them and uh, took out the decisive victory. But right now, like, it's pretty much anyone's game. Uh, a lot of air dribbles going on, a lot of passes. Uh, the ball really just uh, flipping back and forth. Mm, and we had that moment there with change. The only man left on defense for Numana Ultra, Smiley Face started to push forward. Numana Ultra had previously just cheated. So if he hadn't got that big touch, they could have got scored upon. They may have opened themselves up again. 
And now the backboard touches coming out for Nimon Ultra, trying Ooh. to pressure into Smiley. Nice work by Steve there, picking up the token. Very crucial pickup there, denying it from Nimon Ultra. So they are running very low on boost here as uh, they're trying to clear it out right now. Smiley is trying to clear the ball out here. Get it into a striking position on the model Ultra's goal. But, uh, you know, right now, it's like I said, it's anyone's game. It's very, very close. A lot of uh, close shots so far from both teams in this third game, but uh, nothing coming to fruition just yet. Yeah, New Mono Ultra, I think, are having some minor communication issues. We're seeing some moments where one of them might Ooh. be going up, setting it for a teammate. Scary moment that you never want to have your opponent sitting on your backboard because that just puts you in a world of pain. But Numon Ultra's had quite a few opportunities where they set up the pass play or pass back and the teammate hasn't been there to make the connecting mm -hmm. shot. So I think there is a level of stress. This is a, They're playing for cash. They versus an opponent that typically takes them out in the first round. So I think there may be a bit of pressure getting to them. Yeah, I mean, the first game, they were really very precise, very cohesive. You could see the communication was you know, actually actively happening between the players. In the last game, especially this game so far, we're kind of seeing the Modern Ultra, I, I don't want to say they're falling apart, but there is definitely a, a lack of smoothness, yep. a lack of cohesion, a lack of communication between the players here because they're a bit out of position here and they're not getting the perfect strikes or even the passes that they want to. Uh, as I say that... It, they've got it back though. They get a score there. So again, Caster's Curse, I love doing that. It's like they're doing terrible. Oh, they scored. Well, <laughs> I'll just go ahead and leave now. But uh, there we go, Telendina getting the uh, play there on Unfortunately, Smiley Face just a tad out of position there, unable to defend the goal there as uh, the Mon Ultra, uh, you know, get themselves on the board there and hopefully have shooken themselves awake. I think that's a testament to what they could do. So they've been trying to set up these pass plays, and now that they've finally made the connection, we see what was kind of cooking, Ooh. and now we got to taste the meal. That was a great analogy. Now I'm hungry, thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, it's actually it's great casting if you curry a lot. I mean, uh, oh, thanks, buddy. It's great when you have a co-caster who uh, you know brings out something in you, makes you laugh. That's what you want to see, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I love doing. Anyway, back to the game here. We're watching the Mono Ultra versus Smiley Face. The score is currently one apiece, match-wise. Uh, sorry, game-wise, and of course, uh, one zero on the current board for this game. We're entering our third game right now, as we're seeing uh, the Mono Ultra trying to do a bit of pressure play here and, uh, you know, really take advantage of the fact that they have a bit more boost here as well. And, uh, well, it could be Smiley actually losing the second uh, game here. Third yeah, game, sorry. It's very back and forth. <laughs> the way that both teams are playing, they're changing up stylistically pretty much every single game. Mm. So we don't know how it's going to fall. It's one, it's one of those games Oi. of frenzy. Pulling away the lead. This is what we saw with Smiley last time. They got that 1-0 lead, then they quickly turned into a 2. And now Smiley Face sitting on the back fourth foot. They're pretty much trading 1 for 1 for 1 for 1. See, that was a great play there and a read by Frenzy as well. He knew for a fact he was going to go for the defensive play there and rebound. And he was just in the perfect position. Great rocket boost use and gets the easy goal there as uh, Smiley Face did, uh, of course, uh, leave all defenders from the goal. And they're currently up 2-0 uh, to zero with about 35 seconds left on the clock. So... It's probably going to go to the Mon Ultra, obviously. But, uh, you know, I don't want to cast a curse it. We could see a massive comeback in the next 30 seconds. But, uh, Career Lord, you know, over to you, man. No, I, mean, I think uh, I think Mon Ultra's pretty much got this. We did see Shu with that incredible kickoff, almost pulling a goal within a couple of seconds. But he struggled with the second second connection with mm. it. But with 14 seconds left on the clock, I think Oy. it's pretty confident to say Mon Ultra have taken this one out. All right, Mon Ultra looking for a third goal here, but will be cleared out there by the smiley face. Right now, I can imagine that their faces aren't so smiley as they <laughs> will uh, lose this match here, two to zero. And there it is. Nomona Ultra will take out the second game here. So they're now currently up uh, two to one in this match of best of five here. And of course, the winner of this goes on the face vertical bar. Yeah, we. This is a, a different game again entirely. So the f first game we see smiley face go crazy. You want to ultra sit on the defense and win. Yep. And we see the inversion in the next game. And this one is just kind of like madness in the midfield. It really N is. Neither team really getting into a position where they say, we control all of the possession. The other team just having to turtle up and then getting the breakout goals. We're now seeing a situation where both teams are really scrambling, trying to get their measure of the opposition, but really struggling to knuckle anything down. And we are having the moments where... They are panicked. They are a little bit frenzied. Mm -hmm. We saw that Talendino was trying to get those pass plays off. They were really struggling with the second and third touches. But when they hit them, oh, damn, was that a beauty. They were just getting it in. Like, their strikes, their assists, they were just on point there in that uh, in the third game. And it was a uh, it was refreshing to see because, you know, in the second game, it was like, the model was like, where are you guys? What are you doing? Mm. You know, they're scrambling. They're misusing rocket boost. They're not getting the assist. The communication wasn't there. That one, they were reading the enemy team so well. I keep saying enemy team. It's like the <laughs> FPS mindset of a caster here. Here. But uh, they were reading, uh, you know, 
old smiley face and their clear outs really well there and getting the crucial uh, knockback ins on the goal there and of course pulling the defenders out getting the knock-ins and, uh, you know, of course, take out that match. So it was great work. Yeah, pretty convincingly as well, like getting that 2-0 in the end. Ultimately, they, they still managed to pull the win. But it's going to be an interesting case, right? Smiley Face, this will be the first time they've lost to Numana Ultra coming into one of these finals. Typically, mm -hmm. it does go the other way. Numana Ultra are uh, machines at running that lower bracket. And if they can make the upper bracket, having that extra life could be pivotal in deciding who takes the tournament. Exactly. So anyway, guys, we're back into our uh, our next game here of the second match. Uh, currently, we're watching uh, Numana Ultra versus Smiley Face. Numana Ultra up. Two to one. The next game will take it out for Ultra. If they do win, of course, we could see, you know, a reverse comeback here by Smiley Face and take out 3 2. But, uh, well, let's find out. Let's watch what happens right here, right now, as we're uh, live into our match. Yeah, this is a crazy one. It could easily go to game five. It's been so incredibly back and forth, game to game to game to game. But now we're back in the midfield. Both teams struggling. Frenzy first to put up the ball and a following touch. But his teammates aren't there to reply as he passes possession over to Smiley Face. All right, here we go, watching there. Oh, nice kill there by uh, Change on the Smith. So the power play in favor of Nomana Ultra. This is the time to strike. Unfortunately, their uh, other players are just not in position to uh, advantage of that. Uh, one man down play, and uh, Smiley Face will defend here. Will be able to clear the ball out uh, off the backboard there and uh, get it over to Nomana Ultra's side. Now pushing forward, though. The opportunity comes out, but neither team really getting into a position where they can push hard. The backboard defense is not entirely there, but nor is it being denied. So it's very touch and go for both teams. All right, here we go. Who is this? It's uh, Talandina looking for a score there. The goal was on the fender. Unfortunately, just a bit too high on the angles there. We'll not see him connect with the goal there, unfortunately. And uh, right now, we're like, Smiley Face are going to try and clear the ball out here. they got to really recompose themselves here and uh, start working a bit more uh, fluidly together because otherwise, the Ultra will take out this match here and progress into the upper bracket. Yeah, change is ready for the block, and it's going to be okay. Numana Ultra falling back into that defensive play style that we saw in the game that they managed to win, being game one or mm. two. I've dropped it, you know, winning game one by one. being so defensive. And it's starting to pay off for them again, as they can sit back, know that change is happy to rotate so deeply within their own half, and it's paying dividends. Exactly. Uh, you know, in the, the second match, you know, we saw them get more scrambly, more aggressive, and really just give up that mid-control there, and that's what lost in the game. In this one, they're really working together. They're keeping the, you know, uh, their final players, but of course, back there, uh, Toledino's, you know, stay back playing defense, clearing the ball out here, watching Smiley Face right now, trying to get a kill there. Super Steve, unfortunately, just not connecting. The ball will be cleared out there, but they do have boost. They can get it back into the zone there, and uh, nice knock-on play there, actually, uh, by Steve, just clearing out the zone. Mm. Change being very actionary, did allow them to keep possession, turning this into a pressure play when they should have actually been oh, pushed out. Oh, that was clear. a clear but, miss. But now, this is up to Smiths. The block has come out, doesn't win the 50-50, but he has zero boost, baiting them out. Oh. <laughs> what do they think he's going to do? It's still enough. They haven't lost possession. He has bought so much time for his teammates. Unfortunately, though, Shu doesn't have the boost to fully commit. Man, if he had boost right there, that would have been an easy goal, but he really did fake them out there. A two-on-one play, dribbling the ball, literally in front of the goal, just going, test me. Just try me. And he did fake him out there, but unfortunately, uh, Smiley Face not able to convert that great defense there uh, by Steve, though, getting the mid-air defensive. And uh, again, Steve really the MVP of the game. Every time I look at the screen, Steve is just the one in the air, getting the deflects, the passes, the assists, everything. He is just on fire right now as we're watching Frenzy cross map here. Back over to Smiths now, trying to clear the ball out here. Unfortunately, will not connect, and the ball will try to fly to uh, center field here. But again, look at that. Steve, mid-air. But uh, we'll be connected mid-air as well. And uh, looks like Smiley Face having a bit of trouble here, uh, you know, setting up the shot for a potential goal. Yeah, great shot there. Great setup as oh. well. May just be enough, but up in the air in time. Smith's great with that defense. New Mono Ultra had that pass play. They had their time. You can't allow a team to be able to have that opportunity. The fact they didn't score is not an indication that the play was correct from Smiley Face. Mm. You can't give your opponent that much room. No, but giving them so much room, you let them, uh, you know, move across the map and mm -hmm. get a position, and obviously, uh, more importantly, control the refuel orbs. Yep. And that means more boost. And if you have more boost, obviously, well, you win. Anyway, watching the Mono Ultra really just controlling the ball here, keeping it in the zone of uh, Smiley Face. So Smiley trying to clear it out there. Will actually successfully get it into the right-hand corner here. And uh, there's the one minute remaining here. We actually might be seeing our second overtime of the Knights uh, as the score is currently 0-0. As the ball flies so slowly across the map there, unfortunately, will not connect with the goal. Smiley Face dribbling across field now, going for an uh, attempted shot there, but Frenzy out of nowhere. And, whoa, the Mono Ultra kind of just dropping the ball there, literally, as uh, both uh, players just 
kind of lost the dribble. Yeah, they're really struggling to have those positional plays and rotations as tight as we saw earlier in the match. Especially when we saw that pressure play. They managed to bleed the entire Smiley face team a boost. There was a boost orb open deep in Smiley's half and no team went for it. And that forced him on Ultra. All three players, sub-20 boost, had to rotate back, concede this huge pressure that they'd built up. Mm. And now they're in a position where nobody seems like they're about to score, Ooh. going into overtime, which they could lose. Oh my gosh, that goal's open, but it will be defended. Oh, nice. Oh, there it goes again. Oh. That is exciting. Crazy stuff here. We're actually entering the final five seconds here. Two seconds left. One second. As soon as this ball hits the ground, we will be entering overtime here. The score is currently 0-0 zero, zero in this game. In our fourth game, of course, of the second match. There it is overtime, ladies and gentlemen, watching uh, the Bootylicious uh, shot there, Frenzy. Uh, on the kickoff here. There we go. It looks like uh, the Mana Ultra will get the advantage on the kickoff there. Ball flying high across the map towards Smiley Face, but a good clear out there by Steve. Sees it soar towards the goal of Mana Ultra. The Mana Ultra really need to pick up the pace here and defend if they want to take out, of course, uh, this game and uh, subsequently the match as well. Yeah, Smiley Face pretty much winning every single touch thus far, but Talandina's on their backboard, setting it up for the two-man pass play, drawing out all of Smiley's defense, but they didn't have the follow-up in time. Frenzy going, taking that left path may give them pressure that they lost the opportunity to shoot. Oh, there it goes, but uh, not connecting, unfortunately. They're just a little bit left wide, and uh, they are unable to uh, get the conversion score there. And a uh, bit of a... Well, oh, that was actually a good pass there. I thought that was a bit of a stuff up there by Smiley, but it uh, did actually work out there from the end. Keeping the ball in the zone of uh, Mono Ultra right now as the pass goes to Steve. Steve looks to score, but unfortunately... That bloody vertical top bar just being the ultimate enemy tonight, denying Steve that sweet taste of victory. And uh, we do see, of course, uh, the ball back over to Smiley Stone's side. And uh, right now, looking at the boost as well, uh, Super Saiyan Steve with low Smiths at about 100% as well. Burning a bit of boost there. And, uh, you know, it's still anyone's game. It's really close. Yep, Smiley Face trying to push forward. The backboard defense from Numona Ultra managing to hold up, but it's whether or not they can break out of this half. You can see Smiley Face is Ooh. having good defensive rotations now. They're happy to move back, but they're not afraid to push the two men forward reactionarily mm -hmm. to try score. But beating them to the ball is going to be pivotal. That's the thing. Getting to the ball, that's the hard part. But right now, like, Numona Ultra's two man defense plus the zone uh, rotations mm -hmm. is just too strong. Oh, great intercept there. Oh, again, just a little too high there. And unfortunately, Smith's just not able to connect to the right angle there to get the goal there. Smiley face just coming out with some great uh, pivotal air to air uh, defensive plays here, of course, uh, against Numona Ultra. And again, another nice strike there uh, by Smiley face and just clearing the ball out there. So they're forcing Numona Ultra to use a lot of boost here to try and get the score here. Oh, it's so close. Oh, my gosh. Three men defense from the goal here. So close again. Bouncing off the wall, off the post. Great clear out there by Smiley Face. And uh, again, the ball just soaring there. Uh, that's a pivotal kill right there. The demolition there by Tullandir. Uh, will seem have the two men advantage here. And they've got to use it right now. They have to use it. They've got to take advantage of it. We saw another bump just off camera as they're trying to take out the opposition. They're struggling to get the shots. But we saw Change nearly got that goal. He got it onto the backboard. Got the second bounce, got the second touch, just not enough. Now the retaliation is coming from Smiley. And Talandina, sick of it, wants another opportunity to score as they start to push slowly forward into Smiley's half. Well, Talandina, man, he's, you know, can tell he's tired of it. He wants to score, he wants to close this out, he wants to move to the next match in the upper bracket here. But Smiley Face, I'm not letting him have it that easy at all. Their defense is on point, ladies and gentlemen. It's just absolutely crazy to see here. Ooh, a bit of a misplay there by Nomona Ultra. And uh, again, the ball just really, uh, like a lot of shots taken here by Smiley Face, but nothing connecting just yet. Like, here we go again. The Mono Ultra looking for this play here, but unfortunately just right into the goaltender's hands there. A great assist play there as well by Shu getting the goal there. A lot of air ball time there with the ball. Tries to get it for the goal, but unfortunately nothing there. Another attempted shot. Great block there by Frenzy. We'll see it clear it out there. And uh, looks like the Mono Ultra just in a bit of trouble here trying to get the ball out of the zone there. Unfortunately, the scramble back. Get it, he's scoring! Oh, nice defense there and a good scramble back there by Smiley Face. And now we're going to have to see them try push again. Numona Ultra's defense has been so incredibly strong. Drawing them out is going to be the difficult part. The backboard being open. This is not an opportunity they've had a lot of. Oh, Second oh, touch oh. off the backboard. But unfortunately, they didn't have the follow-up. These are the opportunities they need to get a little bit more aggressive on. Take some more risks because that you got to risk it for that brisket. you got to go it. Oh, brisket, mate. You're talking American barbecue on me now. They need the two-man play there off the back post on the Mono Ultra's goal. If they had a second man there, that would have been it. They would have got the goal. Unfortunately, they just did not have anyone in position to get that crucial rebound there. And, oh, cars flying a plenty. Nothing connecting with the ball there. Air Jordan's galore going on as uh, our players are just soaring through the air, trying to get a crucial uh, 
tap on the ball there and clear out of their zone there for Smiley Face. Here comes the ball again. Great defense there by Smiley Face. A follow up. Oh, again off the side post. Another follow up. Again off the side post here. Smiley Face getting more lucky than anything right now as the Mono Ultra shots are just barely missing the mark here, Korea. They want to take the average of those two shots. One on the left, one on the right, and it's just not going to be enough <laughs> as you just needed to get it straight through the middle. Yamana Ultra, though, they're happy to turn it right back around. Smiley Face really struggling to get their own goals. Both teams defensively being incredible. We're at nearly another five minutes of overtime. That's a second game just wrapped into this one. The teams are incredibly tight tonight with every single one of these overtimes just going forever. Exactly. Bloody ridiculous play here now. See, the team's actually slowing it down a bit here as well, like, for no one ultra- Oh, yes! no! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, what are you doing, boys? Oh, Tolandina with the amazing patience, I should say. More than they Look at him. Look at the slow play. He's like, all right, you guys are going to fly this way and this way. I'm just going to go straight ahead. And he took the advice. He combined the left and the right, found the median, <laughs> and uh, he got the score there. And of course, the Mono Ultra uh, taking out that match there. Three to one. Fantastic work there. Great final play there by Talandina. Of course, your MVP for the match was Frenzy. Uh, getting, what, five shots, one save, one assist. No goals, though. But you know what? The saves and the assists, that's what matters. Yeah, he set up that goal for Talandina. You saw him. He made the touch off the backboard. Enabled. You saw him part the Red Sea, essentially. Like, <laughs> both the players just kind of going whoosh. And Talandina just standing there with the ball, just coming gently towards him. like... He's like, hello, my boy. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> you, you go into the home now. Happy Gilmore there. Just tap, tap, a roo. Oh. So clean. So clean. Oh, he walks away with the golden jacket there. <laughs> I'm going to throw so many references out there. That's how you can tell how old I am as well. When I start making references to, like, 90s movies and cartoons, like, this yep. guy is kind of old, isn't he? Like, no. Well, I was born in 1990, so I can jump on the bandwagon. Oh, see, I'm older than, than him. Yeah, so, when, are you, when are you? 89. Oh, pff, pff. I'm a true millennial. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks, Owen Wilson. <laughs> wow. Wow. All yeah. right. So. That's a great win, though. The fact that the new Mono Ultra managed to pull it out ahead of Smiley, we typically see it going the other way. Smiley normally wins in the upper bracket, knocking them down to the lowest. New Mono Ultra normally does that lower bracket run mm -hmm. and then takes them out in the in the second round. But now they have that extra life. So with that extra life, they're going to have an even cruisier time. I don't know who's being pushed into the lower bracket. Another huge, that's another huge it's upset. It's a bit of a bit of an upset night here. Yeah. I mean, like, both your favorite teams kind of... Yeah, and now we're about to go to a break. Everyone's going to have to think about <laughs> what's going to happen and when we all come back, because it's just getting crazy here. I mean, it's going to be nonstop action here, of course, at the uh, Showdown uh, Esports Arena studio of absolute doom. As you can see, we have this professional desk. <laughs> we're in shirts. Yeah. This is not normal for me. I'm usually in a tank top, but you know what? I'm flexing it there. There you go. Get the it's crazy. Pecs going. Get the pecs going. I can dance. There you go. Wait, hold on. I, you can't I see it really. I don't think mine Whatever. comes out either. Oh, no, you got no, a little you bit of No, you can't do it. We'll have a off here. And, uh, <laughs> of course, I'd like to thank you all for joining us here on this lovely Wednesday night. Of course, my name is Zeke. I'm joined by the one that only Lord of the Korea, Korea Lord. And we'll be back in about uh, five minutes with our next matchup here on, uh, for an eSports.
Hey guys, welcome back to Throwdown Esports. Of course, my name is Zeke. I'm joined by the one, the only Lord of the Korea, Korea Lord. He was just telling me how he got his name uh, from the Hondas, where he ran, what was it, Aphilia? Yeah, Aphilia, bullying noobs by uh, building building Radiance and Dagon on the Korea and then chasing people down in ranked. So, you know, a 2,000 health Korea just going, die! And then everyone's going, ah, I'm dying! And, uh, and, you know. good, good times, good, good times. times. That's how you play support, by bullying the other team, by being incredibly toxic. Yeah, when you play support and then you take over rank one position and you go, no, 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 the middle player, he is now my B. Yeah, that's it. I am now the carry. I need the gold. I need the gold. It's that, uh... Kill secure, not kill stolen. That thing there. Anyway, bringing it back to the game, of course, we're watching the uh, the May Community Cup uh, Rocket League Finals here. Ladies and gentlemen, we're actually jumped, uh, about to jump into our next match. I uh, believe it's between Ultra and uh, Bar, so Vertical Bar. So my favorite team... I was about to say, you're going to be a happy boy. I'm very happy because uh, my favorite team, the team of the pun, will be playing, of course, Vertical Bar. And uh, we're going to go to the bracket as well now, so see where our current standing is. And here we go. So our next match, of course, match number three of the night is Vertical Bar versus Nomina Ultra. And uh, currently playing as well as I Don't Know and Smiley Face. Uh, we won't be, obviously, looking at that match, unfortunately, tonight. No, we will find out the results We'll soon, find out the result, we'll let you know. But uh, we will be going into the game between Vertical Bar and Nomina Ultra in the next 30 or so seconds. And uh, it's going to be a really exciting one here because I have no idea. Like, mm -hmm. I'm pretty new to Rocket League, I'll admit that. And uh, as the chat is saying as well, new guy, new guy, <laughs> you know. And so I don't know these players, I don't know the, the teams as well, like you do. So who mm -hmm. do you think is going to win between this next match? Well, it's an interesting one. So typically, Vertical Bar, I think, would be coming in this season. They'd be coming in as fourth seed. Like mm. the, the team I would expect to be kind of running that low bracket. But the, day, the way they're playing today, they could be anyone's game. I mean, last time, last season, they went into the league play. They were probably the most dominant league play team, but then got annihilated when it came to the finals. And now this season, they've been pretty tight when they went to New Mono. Uh, they may have lost 3-1 last time these teams went head-to-head, -head, but every single game was won by a single point. A single so point? It's, yeah, it's tight. It is incredibly tight. That's super tight. And this is the single point for this one. Oh, Vertical there we bar go. 4-4-4. Vertical bar, Kenny Salmon, my boy! My boy with the fish slap there, breaking out the salmon and slapping it across the face. That is Nomona Ultra getting that quick first goal there in the first 15 seconds of this match. I know you can't see us right now, ladies and gentlemen, but we actually are now standing up as well. That's how you know it's gotten serious as well. Both of us have gotten off our chairs, off our butts, and we're casting up an absolute storm here tonight. Courier Lord. Yeah, we're pushing forward, Ooh. and Numana Ultra is getting, trying to get that sweep back. But unfortunately for them, every time these guys play, all through the league play, all four games came down to 1 0 victories. So they're going to have to buck the trend if they want to try to get this win. All right, so this is going to be a very close match. We're already up 1 0 in favor of Vertical Bar here. Numana Ultra coming off that. Uh, I wouldn't say a strong win last game. You know, they did drop a set. It was tumultuous. You saw their playstyle flip around. Mm -hmm. The first game, they were absolutely stomped. Second game, they got stomped. It was like a very strange set. But Vertical Bar had great adaption. Yes. And that is how they managed to pull the win being incredibly clever, and I'm interested to see how they do with this one. Exactly, but they have more consistency, I would actually say, you know, whereas uh, we saw in the last game, uh, the Mono Ultra really didn't know what exactly they were doing, and it's kind of showing in this match as well. They're they're controlling the ball a little bit more than the last match, but right now, Vertical Bar, obviously with that very, very early goal off the kickoff there, showing their dominance, it kind of set the tone for this uh, whole match series here, as we see again, Vertical Bar going for another cheeky goal there. Oh, a good little reflect there. Another play coming out here for Vertical Bar. But uh, here we go, Change is trying to change the past, or should I say the future, and prevent a goal for Vertical Bar there, as the ball is cleared out back onto the blue side. Yeah, Vertical Bar playing quite defensively, even though they had that lead. We saw the first play come out, the second touch come out, but the fact that Wiss was slow to respond wasn't the fact that he was completely out of boost. It was more that his position was quite far back. He was ready for the deep rotation if need be, because he didn't want to concede the goal. He wanted to make sure that they were safe. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, back to my main man, Yeetzi. Now actually back to Kenny Salmon. I love that guy's name. It's great. I had Salmon last night for dinner. Uh, <laughs> all right, over to Weiss. He is uh, taking a break from watching, of course, Beerus, the god of destruction. He's playing some uh, Rocket League here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Doing his team proud, giving out assists there. As we see, Yeetzi boy trying to get the goal there. Oh, nice little slow play and a dribble there. Unfortunately, does not connect with the goal there. The Moto Ultra do clear it out back over to the side of Vertical Bar. As we now see Change trying to change it, trying to go for a goal there. But unfortunately, Yeetzi will get the uh, defense there. Unfortunately, for the Moto Ultra, obviously, not unfortunate for Vertical Bar. Yeah, that's they're playing straight to their plan. Again, 
we had a, a single moment where Wiss was happy to sit back. He had another opportunity to run forward. He actually chose to go even into the third position from second, enabling his teammate to go for the challenge mm. without seceding any more possession than they would likely want to lose. Exactly. Their positioning right now is just on point. Like you point out, they're in the great position. They're using a rocket boost. They're controlling the map as well, plus the resources. Mm -hmm. And it's seeing them, you know, pretty much dominate this match so far. Yes, the score is only 1-0. But in terms of ball control, in terms of uh, possession time, it is in favor of Vertical Bar right now. And they're getting those crucial uh, reflex there as the ball is flying across the screen here. And uh, Kenny Salmon again clearing the ball out there. A good attempt there to try and get for a sneaky goal there, but great defense here by Nomona Ultra as we're watching uh, Tolandina, who just recently followed me on Twitter as well. Thank you, mate. <laughs> Do appreciate that as well. Uh, clearing the ball out there and trying to get it over to the side of Vertical Bar to get a cheeky goal. But unfortunately, nothing is happening here for Nomona Ultra. Oh, I see that there caster's curse oh doesn't come to fruition though great defense here by kenny salmon he literally jumped out of the upstream there and defended yeah frenzy is trying to break through as well you saw him get that demo trying to open up the net vertical bar just turned it around, around with a big clear so he runs into their net starts trying to go for the bumps he's trying to disrupt them because they're really struggling to break through that defense but if you can ruin those rotations that are the reason the vertical bar is doing so well mm -hmm. you may actually be able to score they gotta like you said break the rotation Make them use unnecessary amount of resources. That's yep. how you get these guys, well, I guess, off the bar in a way. Get them on the horizontal bar instead of the vertical bar. But uh, right now, you know, we're watching Weiss right here. He's got about uh, 20 boosts left or so. Will get destructed by Frenzy. That's an absolute frenzy of a kill. I do say so myself. Kenny Salmon striking back there, taking out Frenzy. Says, you take out my mate, I will take you out right back at you, mate. And uh, here we go. Vertical bar just getting the ball clear to the zone here. Even though they're down a man, still in ball control here. 30 seconds left remaining in this first game of the match here. Ladies and gentlemen, Vertical Bar up 1-0 here. Nomona Ultra really need to find their stride here. Come back as a unit and work together because, again, we're seeing them really with this very play style where they just, I don't know, they just don't know what they're, they're doing in a way. Yeah, they're struggling. You can see Frenzy has got two big demos. He's gone and got a couple of really good bumps as well, but the fact they haven't managed to score shows just how good Vertical Bar's rotations are at being defensive and cleaning up the holes that he's creating within their rotations. And the fact they're managing to hold as well, and we know New Modern Ultra has the ability to shoot. So they should be able to get those through. Vertical Bar is just playing incredibly smart. Exactly. So great work there, of course, by Vertical Bar as we, we literally pull up a chair. <laughs> People are going to be like, what's that sound like? It's not a chair moving at all. No. As we do, uh, make sure we look all spiffy for the camera here. Of course, great work there by Vertical Bar. Yeah, I was going to say Frenzy in particular. Frenzy. Frenzy, well, definitely. Yeah, trying to set it up, even though he's on the other team. The, uh, for, sorry, I'm just having an absolute moment today. Frenzy's the player that I actually want to talk about, even though he's on the team that didn't win. Mm. So Numona Ultra may have lost the game, but Frenzy is definitely an interesting player to watch. He was going for so many demos, he's, and trying to open up the net for his teammates, but he's also rotating back incredibly fast. Mm -hmm. You'd think that those two things should enable his teammates to score. Like, if you've got a man that's happily able to defend, but also opening up the net, What's happening? Where? Why aren't you scoring? Like you've got you've got all the potential. This guy's he's covered the front and the back. Exactly. I mean, he's making space, <laughs> and yet your teammates are like, "Oh, there's a butterfly over there." Bye. Yeah. When you and get Frenzy's Talon like, what, what, "What's going on?" When you get Talonina off Twitter, stop following you and, <laughs> and sliding into your DMs, and then back on the pitch where we can see some of the pass plays we saw earlier in the day, mm -hmm. where we had that absolutely disgusting boomer down the midfield. We need to see more of that. We know he has the potential. Exactly. He's got to rise up to his own potential. Well, we're going to find out right here, right now, ladies and gentlemen, as we're getting into our second game of the match here. Can the Mono Ultra kind of pull it back here? I mean, that first match, like Career Lord just stated, you know, Frenzy was the MVP of his team, making a lot of space, getting the destructions, getting the, the clearance of the ball, setting up shots. But where was the Mono Ultra with the follow up there? Vertical Bar, of course, taking that very early 1 0 lead straight off the kickoff here. Uh, unfortunately, nothing uh, coming of that just yet as well uh, from uh, Wisu. But uh, I said Wisu, damn, I said like <laughs> Japanese. So this is much, too much Dragon Ball. But uh, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, vertical Bar setting the bar quite high. Yeah, and great backboard <laughs> beast, that's why they're doing it. That is a really high bar when you are way, way above where you're needing to be. Mm -hmm. But it's working out well for them. They managed to hold the defense. And again, we talked about how it's going to be incredibly close. Every time they butted heads, it was 1-0 victories, trying to decide who talks, who walks away with the win. I and I am completely tongue-tied. Come and save me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, watching, uh, 
Whis, the Angel of Death, trying to get a clear out here. Back over to Yeetzi. My man Yeetzi gets a destruction, though, on uh, Talentin. Gets a second destruction. He's on a roll. Frenzy goes down as well. And Wisu, I said it again. <laughs> <laughs> Screw it. I'm saying it. Whis, Wisu gets the amazing score there. But you know what? The main guy to watch there was bloody Yeetzi, man. Oh, Yeetzi went on a rampage. Gets the double Desto kill. <laughs> Blow, boy, like, calm down. Like, all right, this isn't Mad Max. I mean, it could be. Yeah, the way he's playing, right? He's, he's Australian playing. and he's getting all those demos. The first demo in itself opened up the goal. The yes. second demo sealed it. Meant that, yeah, nobody is there. And then he got a pass. You know, he got a pass back to set up for his teammate. Exactly. I mean, literally two men entered, one man left. <laughs> like, three, well, men three, entered. Man, three men entered. <laughs> this is Rocket League. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> if you're just joining us, guys, welcome, of course. My name is Zeke. I'm joined here by the one, the only Korea Lord. We're watching some amazing Rocket League Community Cup finals action between Vertical Bar and the Mona Ultra. Vertical Bar currently up one match, oh, sorry, one game to zero. And, of course, on the scoreboard, as you can see, one score to zero as well. Like, one score, right? Yeah, that would be right. One goal. One goal? One goal. Yeah, change. Do you see change there? Trying to, trying to reverse it. This has become the game of demos. Change got that double demo to try open the net. Mm -hmm. Frenzy's like, nah, you're on my turf, bud. And then he gets a retaliatory one. It has become an absolute Mad Max destruction den right in the midfield of this match. You know what? That's what I kind of want to see, though. I want to see these teams really battling it out here and, uh, you know, using what they've been given, which is destructive cars of rocket awesome power. And there we go, ball soaring into the goal there, but unfortunately Yeetzi with the defense there for Nimona Ultra. And uh, Nimona Ultra just really having a lot of trouble here. And a great destruction there by Weiss, taking out Frenzy once again. And here we go, Kenny Salmon looking for a goal here. Yeetzi with a huge deflect there off the top bar. Another demo oh. coming out. That is going to just open That's up the it. net entirely. Nice. That rotation is nice. done. Tullandine is going to take that goal. Easy. Talandina, my man, you actually pulled through for me, buddy. I was going to unfollow you on Twitter otherwise. <laughs> but uh, You're there a we go. Mistress. I'm a bro. <laughs> oh, please. Uh, don't let them find out I cosplay Misty. That would be the end of me. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, nice work fact, there. Actual, that is a fact, actually, guys. That is a fact. Go find him on Google Images. That's not a joke. If you, if you Google male Misty cosplay, uh, I'm probably the first result you'll see, which is scary right there. I'd like right to there. think you're the only result that uh, I'd see. I've spawned a lot of people inspired to do more of that, so I'm quite proud of that. But anyway, back to the game, ladies and gentlemen. Talandina with that great goal there, straight down the middle pipe, and does take it out. Of course, uh, Vertical Bar right now, uh, you know, they're up one game the score is currently tied 1-1 career and it still really is anyone's game yeah frenzy getting that potential runaway Oi! excellent setup there vertical bar trying to run it up onto the roof but unfortunately for them it's not going to be good enough when frenzy's just going to frenzy down the pitch hey nice use of puns there frenzy getting that great dribble straight down the left side of the pitch there no one challenged him at all they let him go on a literal frenzy rampage there as the Meta ultra take it up another goal two to one in favor of them they look looking to, uh, you know, maybe tie out this uh, score in the game series here. And it'd be great to see. I'd love to see a, a full five-game uh, series here, of course. Mm. You know, I mean, more action, more excitement. That's what we want to see. That's what the viewers want to see. And speaking of which, Frenzy is absolutely on a on a Frenzy right now. Like, I think of the, uh, the Halo 3, like, killing Frenzy. <laughs> That's just going from my head right now because Frenzy is just on fire, ladies and gentlemen. Getting that great goal. I say fire as the goal... Exploded in ice. ice. Yeah, it's just the way, Whatever. the way casting goes. It never goes the way you want ice it to burn, go. Ice burn, ice <laughs> burn. All right, there we go. Yeah, frost burn if you're playing here I as a new Jesus is coming. <laughs> but at the moment there, I think that was critical to take away is how quickly Frenzy got up to the ball. He saw mm -hmm. that his teammate was going for it, realized that he had a better angle to get the initial touch. The goal was open. It was about who could be faster. He realized that his teammate could lose the challenge, could lose that 50-50. So he was like, nah, I got to do it quick. Got to do it fast. You know what? It paid off. Though. Nice uh, destruction there by uh, Weiss and Kenny Salmon as well. So that's two men down for the Mono Ultra. This is the time for Vertical Bar to strike. But unfortunately, they have no ball control right now. And uh, Frenzy just juggling the ball right up in the air, up and down, up and down and just keeping it out of the midst of Vertical Bar. So Vertical Bar not able to take advantage of the power play there. And uh, what do we got? One minute left remaining. We're watching Frenzy, my main man here, uh, looking for another score here. Talandino is hitting on the backboard there, waiting for the crucial assist here. Here it comes. Assist comes in, but it's a little too high there. Blocked off there by the guys from Vertical Bar there. So they're going to try and uh, minimize their losses in a way here with less than about four, 42 seconds left, Courier. Yeah, but two goals mm. down. I don't know if it's going to be enough time, but they're going to have to make a play quickly. Ooh. We're seeing the demos. Oi! Kenny sneaking one out. What a thief in the night right under their noses, literally and figuratively. Look at this replay here. Great work by Yeetzee there, bouncing off the wall there. And then Kenny Salmon comes in for the slam dunkaroo.
putting it in the hole. He slammed, he jammed. Welcome to the slam jam again. I guess I, I just started the... hearing like the space jam. That's theme what I was song going for, <laughs> and I, I completely miffed it there. But whatever, you know, we're back into the game here, Courier. This is actually so close right now. Thirty seconds remaining, but it still could be anyone's game here. They just need one more run. Yitzi coming up here. Unfortunately, change will change his path and deny him. <laughs> Numona Ultra did take that last goal off a backboard play, but quickly to shore up that hole in the defenses, running up their own backboard, quick and simple as they push it back into vertical bars half. Now all they have to do is hold the midfield, deny any plays coming from oh, this right wing, go, but it's coming through. Go. Oh, change! He just changes the direction of the ball once again. Unfortunately, the ball's still in the air. It's still live, but unfortunately, it's actually going to go around the other direction, and change puts another one on the board that actually close out this game here, uh, four to two in favor of the Mono Ultra there. So now we're actually tied up uh, one apiece. I mean, if you need it, if you're one goal down, does it count if you get it in your own goal? I mean, it should be a negative. It should be, I it mean, be in a, a way it kind of is. He took it from a three, two to a four, two. Yeah. You know what? I can give respect to anyone that's like, you know what? I can't score. I don't have the angle for it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run it up my own half and go for the own goal. I mean, it's a bold strategy, Courier. <laughs> Let's see if it pays off. Oh, wait, it didn't. Uh, no, it didn't. But once again, we are seeing Frenzy being an absolute machine for New Mono Ultra. Five shots, two goals coming out of his way. Keep, keeping in mind the way that everything's been going down, we just need to see the rest of his teammates step up Get that action going. We know Change is playing for Raw. He's one of those big deal guys that has been picked up for GFIN. I'm expecting to see more come out of him as well. I mean, he subbed for Simple Physics. He is a great player. Mm. He's been backed by Talandina as well, who is somebody that can make those big, big boomers. Again, I keep talking about it because it was a beautiful play, that pass going straight through the middle. So we need to see more of it. We need to see the pass plays. We need to see him open up that goal. Well, in the second half of that game, we did see uh, Nemona Ultra really kind of slow it down a bit, mm -hmm. come together as a team, and the communication was there because the passes were there, the reflex were there, they were in the right position as well. They had the map control. It was great to see. In the first half, they were just like, Everywhere. <laughs> it was like you're at a picnic, you're eating a sandwich, and it's just multi swarming everywhere. There's no, there's no cohesion or anything. And then all of a sudden, they turn into a swarm of wasps. They're dedicated, they're directed, they're attacking you relentlessly, and that's exactly what happened there. And that's why we've seen the Mona Ultra take out, of course, the 4 2 uh, in that match. And as we're going to enter into our uh, next match here, ladies and gentlemen, of course, if you're just joining us, welcome! This is, of course, uh, Frodon Esports Live Rocket League action. It's the Community Cup Finals. Of course, my name is Zeke. I am joined by the one, the only, the Lord of the Korea, Korea Lord, as we're watching Vertical Bar versus Nomina Ultra. This is probably one of the closest games we've seen so far tonight, ladies and gentlemen, in our upper bracket semi final. As uh, it's currently one apiece in terms of uh, game score right now, we're just entering into our third game of the series. Uh, Nomina Ultra really coming out strong in that last map here. And. Uh, well, Courier, man, I mean, it's up to vertical bar now. Yeah, it's their time to start deciding what's going to happen. Every single one of their league play games is a 1-0 victory, so expect it to continuing to be tight, despite the fact that the last one was, I mean, technically it was a 3-2 with an own goal yeah, at the end. Yeah. So even that one was only a one goal victory. Speaking of one oh, goal, oh, wow, he what? just found Ow. that hole in the pocket. Numana Ultra, they, they should have been able to save it, had the perfect positioning, what? but he just really took it slow. Oh, look at Yeetzee, man. The dribble there bounces it off his hood, and he waits for Kenny Login Salmon to put it to the danger zone and get that crucial score there. So some great ball control there by Vertical Bar. Yeetzee with the great assist. He made that happen, and Vertical Bar do take it up 1-0. Oh, miffed it a bit there. As we see now, Yeetzee once again putting a lot of pressure here on the Mono Ultra. And Mono Ultra going to be a bit shooketh shall we say, as the uh, the younger people say, right? <laughs> Shook him. Yeah, yeah. Talandina got baited, essentially. That's how that goal got through. Mm. Him just coming straight over the edge. Talandina sitting at rear post, just waiting to see if he came forward with Oi. the ball. And just boomer from nowhere. And then Talandina doing a boomer from nowhere onto Yeetzee. Nice work there. He's taking out the problem, man. He's like, Yeetzee, man, you've been uh, a pain in my butt way too long. How about some death for you? He blows him up to sky high. Back to the respawn room, ladies and gentlemen, as we're watching Yeetzee Mac now to Weiss. Weiss clearing the ball cross field here. Looking for a corner reflecting the base. Oh, but unfortunately nothing will connect there as uh, Kenny Salmon whiffs that reflect there. But uh, you know what? Vertical Bar in a very strong position here. They're actually uh, rogue tending extremely well here, conserving their rocket boost as well. As I say, that caster's curse, they're now out of position. Yeah, Frenzy with that great run, managing to pick up boost all the way along the all the way along his path, which will disable vertical bar if a pressure play starts to build upon them. Because mm -hmm. they need to break out quickly. Alright, here we go. Nomona Ultra. This is your time to shine. Get the defense here. As uh, vertical ultra, man. They're just clearing it out there. Here we go. Open goal-ish. But nice work there by Yeetzee. Will with the deflect. 
And here comes Waste deflecting off the back wall here. Another pass to Kenny Salmon. Clearing out Lazone here, making sure it doesn't get intercepted by the Sky High Rising and the Model Ultra. But no Ultra, who is that? Trying to push in there. Talandina trying to go for a bit of a cheeky play there. Reflect. Great defensive play here by uh, Yitzi, though, as well. Yitzi, man, just coming out. Yeah, uh, blocking Frenzy fantastic. shot. Great shot. And now it's getting pushed into the mid. We, they've drawn out that new Mono Ultra offense. Nearly mm -hmm. got to punish them with the clear, pushing straight back into their half. And that's an intelligent play. Holding the defense as long as you can, and then realizing you can get that breakaway, mm -hmm. and they nearly caught them with their pants down. They're just waiting for them to get out of position here, get that clear run in. All they need is one or two passes, and then they got it, Courier. Yep. But, uh, oh, ooh, that was close. Uh, the bar there, a little slow play as well. Bit of uh, dribble going on here between the two teams. Yeet see, clears it out. Nice work there. Picks up the refuel as well. And uh, right now, like again, the Mono Ultra just trying to get back to position and uh, work the angles here. But there's going to be a clean defense here from Vertical Bar. And that's how it's been this entire game. Which is Vertic great. Yeah, Vertical Bar sitting with a really strong defense and almost getting another punish on Numana Ultra. Mm -hmm. Every time they run forward, Numana Ultra is getting a little Ooh. bit more aggressive. Vertical Bar clear is getting a little bit bigger. I wouldn't be surprised if they conceded another goal just off a of clear alone. I reckon it will happen. I think 60 to 40 odds that yep. we're going to have a clear goal here from Vertical Bar. Uh, of course, you could swing the other way completely, but right now, Vertical Bar with the clears are being so clean, I should say, because the clears are coming out, they're coming out precisely, they're positioning it right, they're not putting it straight in front of the goal, the clears as well are being quite impactful as well, they've got a lot of momentum behind the rocket jumps there, and like you see, just there, uh, the clear coming out cross field and positioning for an attempted goal. Yeah, Whisk trying to go for that, trying to hit the backboard rather than... Come on! Oh, that is what? so close! What? Oh, what? Wow, where was the final touch? Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? We talked about it, though. The clear was going to come out. They were going to run it up the pitch. Every time is closer than the last. And if they get another one, you can't get closer than that. That was half in. That was literally in, like, game. <laughs> Fix your net code. I mean, they're probably going to be <laughs> typing the support forms. I heard it in the goal. The net code wasn't good enough because that was absolutely insane. That was like a toothpick away from going in. But unfortunately, it didn't go in. So no score on the board. But uh, still, Vertical Bar up 1-0. Talandina with the, the goal is now alert. open. Talandina Oi. gets the pivotal demo, yep. now allowing them to break even. That is what we need to see. More communication, more team play, Ooh, and change dodge. winning that 50-50 was sick. Man, change, man. You see that mid-air matrix dodge? Yeah. That was sick. That was sick. All right. He saw. He just saw the green. Oh, man. He saw the green. The numbers were streaming across his screen. He had the power, and he dodged the defender of Vertical Bar that gets the crucial goal, so... Courier, mate, this is this is intense. Yeah, I think they've now worked out how to break through. Vertical Bar had that amazing defense. Oi. Pretty Ooh. much nearly won the game off it entirely alone. But New Mono Ultra with one well-timed demo. Pretty Ooh. much... On. Now it's kind of <laughs> gone for reversal. Vertical Bar have gone crazy. They've just gone full aggressive trying to close I don't this blame back them. out. I don't blame them. With less than 10 seconds left, you got to pull something out of your hat. The cat's got to come out, put on the striped hat, and go for the crazy right here, right now. Because less than two seconds left, we're going to another overtime. That's OCE Rocket League for It's incredibly tight. Everyone is so hungry for these wins. And that's why they pepper the goals and try to draw out the salt of the opposition. Wow. It's like, all right, I can already tell the... Yeah, the puns going outside, all right? Courier is doing the food puns, and I'm doing the weird movies and games puns. I miss dinner. I'm incredibly He's hungry. And they're dinner. hungry for the win, oh, as they're gosh. now just trying to take control. As Vertical Bar are trying to break out, they're going to go aggressive. We saw that when they've mm -hmm. got the lead, they just camp like crazy, rely on their defense, and try to get a breakaway. But it's working. Oh, yeah, but it's working. But when they're behind, they get they just run for you. Yeah. They're thirsty. They're wolves. You know what? That's really good, though, because it varies on the play. You put the Moto Ultra in this comfort position. You go, oh, they're playing defense. We can just, you know, play around them. We'll go a bit softer. We'll wait for the next move. Then all of a sudden, they just zerg you out of nowhere. It's like, what? where did this come from? Where did you have this massive, like, power and energy from? And that's what Vocal Bar is doing right now. They're saving themselves and unleashing, like, a Kamehameha onto this team in the Moto Ultra. But uh, right now, it's our first uh, overtime of this game right here. Uh, we're seeing Frenzy juggling the ball here across the bar, trying to play off his assist here. Great work here, actually, by the player here. Uh, Talandina with a great dribble gets into the zone, but unfortunately, uh, looks like the defensive Yeezy comes out and says, uh, not today, friend, and uh, Vertical Bar will clear it. Yeah, I think Talandina must have heard your comment about being unfollowed. We saw that great demo come out of him. <laughs> now he's running up the pitch, and he's trying to set up plays for his teammate. But Wiss, with the no boost, enabling his teammates now to come forward in a less risky way, now means that when they lose possession, they can safely know that the ball's going to go into the corner. The mm -hmm. way you angle your car into a challenge or a 50-50, 
it's not chance. Despite the fact it's called a 50-50, you have a lot of choice in where the ball's going to land. Yeah, exactly. And that's what's happening right here. They're angling so well. They're getting those crucial hits, and they're putting the ball pretty much where they want it to be, you know, just into the subs here. Oh, nice defense here by Vertical Bar, though. Oh, sorry, by Nomona Ultra. Uh, Vertical Bar going for the score there by Yitzi, but uh, Nomona Ultra will clear it out there, uh, picking up the refills as well. Looking for a breakaway, unfortunately. It's Wisu getting the defense there. Great hitting there by Yitzi as well. Clears out top on the bar there. Sends the ball flying sky high, and uh, a bit of a wall climb there as well. But uh, here we go into now two minutes plus of this overtime here. It's still anyone's game. Of course, in overtime, the first to score does take out the game. And and it's still, well, anyone's game here. It's just a one-on-two play there, unfortunately, for them, uh, Ultra. And uh, they can't convert it there. I mean, it was a great play. They had maybe one more player. They pull out the goalie and go for a three-man offensive. Maybe they can get it. But playing safe is not going to get you the win here. Yeah, we're seeing it both in Yeats and Change. They both have five shots apiece. That mm -hmm. is a phenomenal amount of shots to be taking at your opposition. But neither of them are conceding goals. Oy. They need to work out a way to open up the net be that pass plays. Backboard hasn't been too good against New Mono Ultra, so we're going to have to see Vertical Bar pull out some good bumps and demos potentially. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Watching now, uh, boy Yeetzi with the dribble. And like Frenzy likes to back it up a bit there, trying to defend their nice defense here there by the Mono Ultra. We'll clear out the ball just from the end zone, just from the goalpost a bit. And uh, cross dribble there, trying to challenge Yeetzi. Yeetzi with the rocket boost there. We'll clear out the ball, striking across and uh, flushes it back over. Here we go, change. Looking for a bit of a change there. Unfortunately, it does not connect with anything. That bump was basically just to clear the ball out. And uh, we're just playing a bit of uh, volleyball right now. Ooh, between the two teams. Ooh, great was, shot there off good. the backboard defense. You Mono Ultra pushing it deep into vertical bars mm. half. You need to have Vertical Bar realize Oy, it's nice. not working for them, and they need to go for new strats. And that demo is a perfect example. All right, Kenny Salmon, man, he flopped around and he got the slapperoo and does take down the player. But unfortunately, they just weren't able to, to uh, utilize that because, again, the ball not in the best position. They're not in the best position. They're running mm -hmm. a bit out low on boost as well. So, yeah, Korea, empty mate. empty on two players. That's a terrible spot to be. It's not great, but, you know, we've seen him. Oh, another one. Yeetzee, man, with the huge kill on Frenzy. That's it, man. That was the crucial play there. Yeetzee with the kill. Weiss comes out of nowhere with the uh, the vanish there, and he <laughs> appears. Look at that. Look at that play. Great way. See, that defense there, plus the, uh, sorry, the removal of the defense with the demolition there is what clear up the goal and allows uh, Weiss to get that crucial uh, score. And, of course, now, uh, Vertical Bar up another game. Yeah, they've pulled ahead. The team that was meant to be the underdogs going into this tournament have now taken away the win, and it's the adaption, I think, that is pivotal there. They had that realization after so long pushing up a new Mono Ultras. They're trying to hit that backboard. Nothing's coming of it. They're gathering up a ton of shots, but it's not really going anywhere. And then, as you pointed out, they took a play straight from Frenzy's playbook and took him out with it. Mm -hmm. Take out the guy sitting there in the third defensive position, opens up the goal entirely. Exactly. When you're two out of men are, you know, midfield, not doing anything, and you're running only one defensive, mm -hmm. smash him out of the way. Just, you know, pull a, you know, Last Jedi, where, you know, Finn <laughs> tries to suicide and then gets deflected and the whole story goes haywire. But anyway, enough about me really about <laughs> Star Wars and how much I hate the new movies. I really hate the new movies, guys. Oh my god, that's a long thing. We that's could, a long thing. We could be there for a, lot, a, a lot long of time. time. But uh, fantastic work there, of course, by Vertical Bar taking up the series now 2-1. Uh, to one. Uh, That's an upset. Over like, Nimona Ultra. That is an upset. Yeah, because Nimona Ultra has won like so many what, they of went cups. 7 0 in the regular season. Well, that was, I don't, I don't know, went 7 0. I feel like it's like a who's on fourth base situation with yeah, all different names. Yeah, I mean, it's just. But I don't know, Nimona oh, Ultra is the, the team that has won the most cups. They won the yeah. first one, the second one, the third one. They didn't play the fourth, and they came back and then did excellent in the fifth. Well, they're machines. Right now, they kind of got to pull back that machine, maybe you know, grease up the gears a bit, get the uh, premium fuel now. I know fuel price is a bit high right now, but you know, you maybe need that extra boost here because right now the Mono Ultra are down a single game. Vertical bar coming out very strong here. And of course, now we're watching our Talandina just try to clear the ball out here, get in position to get maybe a cheeky reflect and a goal set up uh, as we're entering now into our uh, fourth. Uh, game of the match here, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, if you're just joining us, where have you been? Of course, my name is Zeke. I'm joined here by the one, the only, the amazing Korea Lord here for Showdown Esports. This is the May final of the Community Cup Rocket League. I said it backwards, whatever. I know we're in June, but of course, to have a final for May, we have to let May expire first. And that's why we're here in the first week of June, smashing out some awesome casting. Korea, mate. I'm excited. How are you? I'm very excited. The way this has been incredibly tight, we've had 
what, three, four overtimes that have gone like yep. five minutes? Yep. Everyone just wants to win. We just want to be here. We just want more Rocket League. And the players are giving it straight to us. As now we start to push forward, we are having Mono Ultra having the opportunity, but the vertical bar clears have been pivotal in just flipping this game around, and Mono Ultra has to adapt if they want any chance to score. You know what I've noticed, actually, in this yep. entire series so Lay far? on me is that Vertical Bar have been using their cars to deflect instead of the Vertical Bar of the goalpost. <laughs> and uh, that makes me a little sad inside, but at the same time, it's great to see that they're actually taking a uh, initiative on themselves to play some defense and let the, the goalpost have a bit of a rest. He did a lot of work. Or, or she. I'm not going to gender the goalpost here. It's 2018. Got to be careful. I've got to be careful. Uh, <laughs> but the goalpost is having a bit of a snooze here. It's done its job. And, you know, Vertical Bar with the defense right now has been absolutely fantastic. More importantly, it's Yeetzee and Kenny Salmon with the crucial destructs mm -hmm. and the crucial takedowns of defenders that are allowing them to get these goals and, of course, you know, points on the board. Yeah, and now that's what we need to see more of because both teams are now struggling in the midfield. Nobody's really having an opportunity to get amazing shots. Oi! Speaking until now, that was with Talandina stealing one right from under their nose. Look at this, look at this. Frenzy off the wall here. Talandina in perfect position, uses the rocket boost there, cuts across the ball, and unfortunately, the defenders of Oakwell are like, wait, what just happened? Where did this come from? Yep. And just fantastic. Yeah, Vertical Bar didn't expect to lose possession. Two of their players were pushing up together, mm -hmm. and their third player was rotating for a very greedy rear boost. And because of that, he was completely out of position when the ball went out of their control and yep. just rushed straight towards their net. Look, it was a smart play by Vertical Bar, right? Mm -hmm. They're setting up for a great play. Unfortunately, they lost control of the ball. Yep. And that means you lose, well, obviously, a point. Uh, currently now 1-0 in favor of the Mono Ultra in this current game. Ladies and gentlemen, this course is the fourth game of the series. It's a best of three, uh, sorry, best of five, first of three. As we're watching uh, Vertical Bar versus the Mono Ultra, the Mono Ultra kind of showing us they got some spark of life still left in them, showing us that they can actually muster up the power to go Ultra Instinct here and take out Vertical Bar possibly in this match and send us to a fifth game. Great destruction there by Tullandina, though. That's going to be a very crucial play here as they're now down one player in Vertical Bar here. The power play, unfortunately, isn't going to work out for them, though, because Vertical Bar forced the ball and forced the situation back into Mono Ultra zone. Yeah. Numana Ultra missed the opportunity there. They had the player down, they had the possession, they went for the pass back, but due to a lack of confidence with what their teammates are doing and potentially a miscommunication, mm. they slowed down the play, giving Vertical Bar the opportunity and the onus now being on them to rush forward and steal it back. Exactly. So, I mean, it was a great play. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, couldn't utilize it. But you know what? We still got, what, uh, a ton of time to go left. What, one minute and 35 seconds? That's a ton of time. Yeah, especially in the game of Rocket League. In Rocket League, it's a lot of time. So any play anything can happen. happen. Anything can happen. Right now, a lot of teams, uh, both teams, sorry, are uh, looking quite healthy on the resource counter as well. Both have boost. Uh, looking at change here. We actually just built up recently as well. Looking to get an assist here. Maybe a bit of a dribble as well. But unfortunately, the ETC comes out of nowhere here for uh, Vertical Bar that clears the ball across the field and uh, will find Kenny Salmon. But uh, no, it's just too high. The angle's just not there for Vertical Bar. Yeah, Kenny Salmon was actually starting to rotate back Oi. when he saw the ball was coming up. His teammate called it through comms. He turned immediately round, but unfortunately, lowish on boost and didn't have the position. He had to, because he had to do that 180 Ooh. did cost them the opportunity to push forward. Mm -hmm. And now with Frenzy taking a demo, they're also going to lose possession as Numana Ultra can push up, despite the fact that they're running low themselves. Oh, that was unfortunate there. Kenny Simon was taken out by the demo, but he respawned literally in front of the path of the <laughs> ball. So that was just so lucky, Vertical Bar. Here we go! Oh, that was so close! Change. What just happened? <laughs> oh. That is a quick reaction, right? It's all fun in games to get bumped, get knocked around, but how quickly he reclimatized to that? He beat all three of those players to the realization, the reorientation, and the ability to put that away. Man, it looked like Velikova kind of got a uh, sleep potion there for a second. Because, I mean, they didn't flip, they didn't move, they just kind of crawled to like, oh, there's the ball, we're just going to let it score. We want to make this a five-game series. And, well, we're going to actually see that right now. With less than 30 seconds left on the game clock, ladies and gentlemen, the Mono Ultra up R2-0, currently looking to uh, even out the total game score to two apiece as we're looking at uh, my main man, Change. He has changed the course of this series. And, uh, well, Vertical Bar, really, it was theirs to lose in this one. And, unfortunately, they are going to drop this game. Yeah, after the adaption of last series, having the realization Mono Ultra's backboard is too hard to hit, mm. going for all those demos to try open up the net, it has been completely inverted now. We're just seeing that Mono Ultra's too quick to realize what's going on in the micro situations. Mm -hmm. Like we had that moment where Change was versing all three of Vertical Bar's players within their goals, 
And he was the first one to react. He was the first one to get his car around, get that 180, get the score. And that can be said for all of their players. They've all been faster to react. They're getting up in time for the goals. Frenzy's been a powerhouse this entire game. Talandina, when he's on, he's a man to watch. Exactly. And he's got some great plays. He's got some great passes. And he can set up some amazing things for his teammates to follow on. And I don't think there was anyone that particularly stood out amazingly in that game from the Newmont Ultras team. It was the fact they were all pulling their weight now. That was they were. Indicative. They were working together as a unit, and they were actually, like you said, pulling their weight. And mm -hmm. uh, no one player was really shining there, which is, you know, you want to see that, and you don't want to see it at the same time. But if, if one player is shining, it means the other two are lacking. That's it. But if none of them are shining, they're all working together as a unit, well, they pull out the win. And that's exactly what we just saw then. Uh, of course, they went up 2-0, uh, to zero, and now it's tied all up 2-2 uh, two, two yeah. in the game. In the upper series, bracket. In the upper bracket. So this is, uh, this is a crucial... Oh, lower bracket as well. We just got a report there from our producer. It's 2-2 two, two as well. So we're <laughs> having a uh, a very close uh, double series here as well. So unfortunately, we can't bring you the live action of the lower bracket. But we'll give you the final score when we find out. But we're about to enter into our fifth and final game deciding game. I said game twice. I'm sticking yeah. with it. YOLO. Whatever. Swag. 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 420 Blaze swag. Yeah. It's all kinds of stuff there. Anyway, it's been absolutely fantastic to be here, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're enjoying the show. Of course, my name is Zeke. I'm joined by the one and the only Kuria Lord. And uh, we're just getting our players all set up, ready to go. And uh, i got to say, man, this is like the most exciting series we've seen so far tonight. Yeah, it's just every single match is getting a little bit crazy in the last. The fact that these teams have come to game five, you have Vertical Bar, the absolute underdogs, sticking it to Numana Ultra, the team that has won the most monthly cups consecutively and total. Yeah, and yet, I mean, we're coming down to this. Like, you were saying to me, like, you explained the teams and, you know, like, how many wins they've got and how mm -hmm. good they are, and then I come in going, okay, they're going to stomp, right? And then to see this happen, such close games, kind of tosses it on its head a bit, and it's really exciting, especially for someone like me who's really quite new to the Rocket League scene. I mean, this is great. This is just the, you know, the open kind of amateur league as well. Mm -hmm. you know? So to see this kind of excitement and uh, play is just great to see in the Oceanic scene. Yeah, especially for the RLCS offseason. This is a good time for everyone to get their teeth going, sharpen their claws as they get ready for the next season of qualifiers. Mm -hmm. So it's a good time to practice with those teams, stick with those rosters, really flesh out the talent. Because you look at the teams like Chiefs, the best teams in the region, Legacy, Dark Sided, they keep a lot of the roster together, working together through all the kinks until they get perfect gameplay down. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, the more games you play as a team, the more cohesion you develop, the That's more it. synergy as well. And it's, uh, it's a great way to develop that. Anyway, back to the game, guys. We are seeing the first score of the board, uh, sorry, of the game come up here as uh, Change makes a change for the better and gets a cheeky goal there off, off the reflector as well. So unfortunately, the vertical bar, they are now down 1-0 in this final crucial game. This decides who goes to uh, grand final in the winner's position. Yeah. So... You know, it's going to be crazy. Oh, wow, that was a very slow kickoff there. Yeah, the ball just getting stuck. Both teams wow. running forward with similar strats. Mm. And it's an interesting one that New Mono Ultra scored on Vertical Bar using the exact same tactics that Vertical Bar have been trying to use on them. Trying to get those backboard passes. Talandina coming up for the first touch. The finish coming from change. Mm -hmm. As just showing that both teams are willing to change up their decision making to try leverage an advantage over the opposition. Well, that's when you see. You want to see fluidity in the teams. You mm -hmm. want to see them be able to adapt, change. And like you said, you know, oh, use strats against shot. them. What a shot indeed. Frenzy coming out of nowhere. Let's watch this. Talandina is just setting up everything. Look Jib baits out Yeezy, oh. allowing Frenzy to have that absolute beautiful touch. Literally jabated. Wow, Tolentino, mate. That was a fantastic play. The wall right, and then literally skimming it off the uh, the vertical bar and uh, playing it against vertical bar. So, unfortunately for uh, VB, they are down 2-0 uh, with 3 minutes and 18 seconds left on the clock here, ladies and gentlemen. As the ball scores, Kenny Seven comes with, out of nowhere. And perfect boost usage, right? Yeah. He got it right down. Hit the perfect amount oh. of spins, pivots, just so Requiem is no longer able to get the touch and that allows him to get the perfect angle. And we saw that he had no boost left. So when he started to flutter it, every single bit counted. That was fantastic. I mean, come on and welcome to the slam, man. That was fantastic play there by Kenny Salmon. Positioning, great. Uh, drawing out the defensive players for Numana Ultra as well, of course. We're currently now up 2-1 to one in favor of Numana Ultra. The winner of this match goes to Grand Finals from the winner's side.
And we'll see who, of course, versus uh, the lower bracket uh, finals winners as well. Yeah, which is incredibly finals. close. You got that 2-2 two, two two, down, two there. down there. Yeah, yeah now vertical bar there. As we said, when they start to fall behind, they become like rabid wolves and they just push mm -hmm. incredibly aggressively to you. We just saw that last play. Now Wiss is ready for another one. Oh, here he goes. Oh, good defense and timing there by number one Ultra. The Candy Salmon! My boy! My boy takes it to the hole once again. Amazing recovery deflect there. So look at this, deflect here. Kenny again, his positioning is just on point there. Coming from the midfield there, getting the hit. And it's now two to two with two minutes 40 left. Yeah, this like, is, what? both teams are just, they're just gunning for it. And I love the patience of that play. Mm -hmm. You could just see him for like three, four seconds, just standing there waiting for He's the waiting. perfect angle. And then you know his teammate had to be for the follow-up, so that guy's waiting as well. So both of them are just waiting in a line to the ball's in the perfect spot. That's not a ball chaser. That is a brainy boy. That's exactly what you want to do, though. If you're just chasing the ball around everywhere, you're not in the best position, but, you know, Kenny Salmon, man. Kenny Loggins, Danger Zone Salmon. That's his full name now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm christening him that. He's been absolutely on point with these past two goals. He's playing patiently, he's waiting for the position, and he's taking advantage of the ball mid-air because the Ultra is just like, we're gonna clear it out, right? And in comes Kenny Salmon with these amazing hits, precise, clean, awesome goals. And of course, now we're up 2-2, uh, uh, tied up here as we're watching uh, Yeetzee try to clear the ball out here from the blue side of the vertical bar. And uh, again, maybe set up another goal for my main man, Kenny Salmon. <laughs> we'll have to see. They have to push deeper into the half, though, first. Both teams playing a bit of ping pong, but Vertical Bar starting to steal some possession. And now it's up to Kenny Salmon if he can break out, stop this goal, and then push it up on his own. But unfortunately for them, they are on the backboard. His backboard defense may be enough, but they can't get the clear. They're getting stuck Whoa. in the goals. The following touch comes through. Tullandina takes it. And with a 3-2 lead, this is the biggest score we've seen today, excluding that own goal. Oh, this is... Oh, this is intense, man. Like, that was attempted good defense there by Vertical Bar. Unfortunately, uh, Tullin did it with the angle there. Coming in from high up there, man. He had the high ground. He pulled the Obi-Wan Kenobi, man. The defensive Anakin Skywalker slash Vertical Bar just not enough there. They got sliced in half, and it is now 3-2 to two in favor of Nomona Ultra here. But Kenny Salmon, man, we're watching him right now. He is definitely my MVP of the game so far. The game might not say it, but he's my MVP. <laughs> he is trying to make a play happen. He has been the play executor, I should say, not really the maker. His teammates are setting up those great passes there, but he has been just uh, finishing off the plays, getting the goals here. It's up to him right there, as we have one minute now left in this match. Whoever does win this goes to the grand final tonight to face off our uh, semi-final lower bracket champions. Whoever wins down there, of uh, the last update we got was a two to two score down there as well. So we'll bring you the, uh, the stats when we do find out, uh, Korea. Yeah, and whoever wins this game is walking away with some fairly significant cash because they're guaranteed top two. So they're getting that oh, share. Oh, oh, change, bringing it ahead. Four shots from him, four goals for New Mono Ultra. They are starting to put nails in the coffin. The death knells are starting to ring. The goals were open, and Kenny's, Kenny Salmon's sadness can be seen as he's upside down rolling across the pitch. Oh, poor Kenny boy, mate. You know, you feel for him. He's put in such a great you performance. Do. I feel for him. Your heart bleeds for the boy. Well, I bleeds love purple. eating salmon. And so, like, I see someone named Salmon, like, my boy! Anyway, watching the final 30 seconds here of this match, Courier mates, uh, Vertical Bar, they could pull back another crazy upset here, but unfortunately the ball is not in a position to score a goal on the Mona Ultra. They're trying to get their Yeetzee, trying to clear the ball up. Unfortunate for him, it is taken out there. Another goal though! Frenzy! Comes out of nowhere and gets the goal as well, so that will probably, well, actually most definitely, that is locked out the game. The deal. Yep, Frenzy with the bouncer, straight over Wiss's defense has enabled them to win. They are going to go up in second place. Vertical Bar is going to be going down south mm -hmm. to fight whoever is the winner of that brutal two aside now best of one in the lower bracket. It's a best of one. It's now a best of one because it's best of five, two apiece. Jeez, this is going to be close here. All right, here we go. Last one second, and that will do it. Nimona Ultra. I'm just going to try and say the full name here, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Nimona Ultra, Microscopiosis, Volcano, Coniosis, whatever the hell it is. That was pretty close. Pretty close. I, I'm getting there. You're getting there. By the end of the day, I reckon you got this one in the bag. I reckon. If I say it enough, I'll uh, I'll get it. But no guarantees. Yeah, the old, uh, what is it? New Mono Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcanic Coniosis? There you go. He shows me up there. <laughs> Fantastic. That's part of being a Rocket League <laughs> caster. Like, they just give you obscure words to learn. Oh, man. Don't even get me started, right? When I was casting TF2, an entire team made their name John. Yeah? So I was like, John the Medic, John the Soldier, John the Second Soldier, John the Scout. I'm like... 
What is going on? It's a shame it wasn't a Smash Brothers melee, because then you could have no Johns while yelling about Johns. Oh my god. So, I don't know, in the lower bracket, we have just had confirmation. Yep. These are the guys that went 7-0 in league play. They were 21 for 4 in terms of games won, so an incredible win rate. Yeah. Immediately got knocked into lower bracket, which is a huge surprise and for us. And they only come away with a 4-3 victory. Yeah. And so, oh, 4-2, sorry. 3-2, yeah. there you go. Getting the confirmations here in our beautiful little headsets here. So, of course, that was a fantastic game there uh, by Nona Ultra knocking down Vertical Bar. So, Vertical Bar... Uh, hitting the lower button on the elevator and descending yep. to the lower bracket here. Uh, but mm. unfortunately for them, like they played fantastically. Like my MVP definitely was uh, Yeetzee yep. and Salmon because they made some amazing plays there. But of course, you know, looking at Talandina, he was the absolute playmaker and he really did bring it back there for Nomona Ultra. He got some crucial destruction kills there, yep. set up the plays for his, uh, his buddies and, uh, you know, kind of help seal the deal. Yeah, and, and that's what you need, right? You need to seal the deal. Now they've got the guaranteed cash. They're going to be walking away with either 175 or 350, which is pretty substantial, even when split three ways. Mm -hmm. And now when we go into the lower bracket, we're going to be seeing who's going to face them again for that second chance. So Vertical Bar versus I Don't Know. That's what I'm getting The team is here. called I Don't Know, just yeah, for anyone that, that has yeah. just tuned in. Uh, Zeke does actually know. I do know. <laughs> I do know. The team is actually called I Don't Know. So when I keep saying I Don't Know, it's not like that but anyway we're gonna throw it to a five minute break ladies and gentlemen so i'd like to thank you of course for tuning in to this amazing rocket league action here at fred esports my name is zeke of course i'm joined by the one and only career lord we'll be back in five minutes
Welcome back, guys, to Throwdown Esports. Coming to you live from the Showdown studio. Of course, my name is Zeke. I'm joined by the one, the only, Courier Lord. Of course, join the conversation as well. Yes, Throwdown TV. And there's our Twitter handle there. If you like what you see, tweet to us. Let us know. Get in the conversation. Like, I'm checking my phone between matches. I'm responding to tweets and stuff. Like, let me know if my casting's okay. Yeah, you know, I definitely enjoy <laughs> casting with you. You're, good. you're a good guy to hang out with. I mean, Hysterics oh, has, has a lot of metaphors. You have lots of references. So you're, you're staying strong for the uh, Throwdown play-by-play. -play. Well, there you go. All right, so guys, if you're just joining us, welcome. Of course, where have you been? There's been amazing Rocket League action happening today. As we've seen, uh, well, a lot of our... Well, should we say favorites uh, not doing so well? Yeah, it's it's the ball is pretty much up in the air every single match. We're having all these overtimes. Pretty much every single game is incredibly tight. Mm -hmm. I don't know, swept the league play, and then they got immediately knocked to the lower bracket. We're now having a rematch of the first match of the day with yep. I don't know versus Vertical Bar. It's pretty much up in the air for every single aspect of tonight. Yeah, of course, we're going to be going to that match uh, momentarily, ladies and gentlemen. At, uh, Vertical Bar uh, dropping to... Uh, <sighs> Poor uh, Nimona Ultra there. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's going to be interesting to see if Vertical Bar can take out another victory against I Don't Know in this. Uh, basically, it's a rematch in the lower bracket finals. Yeah. And the winner does, you know, go on to face uh, Nimona Ultra, who have actually they've been very varied tonight. You know, I mean, they've been strong, but at the same time, there's been times of play where they're quite uh, afraid. They're not working together as well as they could. And then the next match, uh, they pull it together and they come out with some strong wins, like the one we just saw, which is a 4-2 victory, uh, you know, over Vertical Bar there. But, uh, you know, it's going to be really interesting to see, like, who comes out on top of this, uh, winner, uh, sorry, loser's finals. Because that's the big thing about Rocket League in the end. It's all about consistency. You can have a little bit of tumultuous play. You can have players on the day that aren't, like, may slide down, someone else picks up the slack. But over the over the edge of the, everything coming down to it, it's about consistency. Mm -hmm. And to win a match as the best of five, you need to get those three. So it's whoever can play the most consistent on the day is going to be the one that takes it out. Exactly. So we're going to be starting uh, momentarily here. Oh! Microsoft Edge, buddy, oh, what are you doing? Man, we need you, some chrome. What is that? What is that? Oh, mate. All right, so uh, as we move right along from our slight blunder of showing Microsoft Edge there instead of the amazing another craziness of a better browser. We're into our semi, or oh, sorry, essentially losers finals. I was going to say semi-finals, yep. actually. This is the losers finals match for the day, for the night. The winner of this, oh wow, it's some Tokyo Drift here. R34. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's crazy. That's a broom you completely. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I was expecting like blue cars and all of a sudden there's a yellow R34. Like, what the hell is going on? Anyway, my bad. Here we go. My name is Zeke. I'm joined by the one, the only, the courier lord himself. We're watching the lower finals losers here between Vertical Bar and I Don't Know. This is a rematch from the first match of the day where Vertical Bar did destroy I Don't Know. And uh, I don't know about you, but I think I Don't Know might actually have a bit of a comeback in them here to try and get a win here. And as I say that, Courier, the first score goes to Daisu. They got a lot to prove, right? Daisu is a player. He's been on Simple Physics. He's been in the RLCS Qualifiers League play. He's got a lot that he has in terms of his pocket and potential, and he needs to show that off. He needs this win. Mm -hmm. Well, he wants to go to the final there. He wants to get that hands on that sweet prize money. I know I would. And uh, walking into the next uh, kickoff here, we see great control here by Vilical Bar there. But uh, I don't know. I'm just going to call him Dono. But uh, Dono, actually, you know, trying to get more control back here. Like we saw in their first game of the day, mm -hmm. they were very scattered. And yet, right now, they're actually coming out quite strong here. They're showing they have a great striking uh, potentiality. Vertical Bar might be a bit tilted as well from their loss. It was a close loss. Very close loss from the last match. But, you know, it does affect you emotionally. Yeah, mental and, plays. Are, you know, mental fortitude's like a huge deal, right? If you fall into the back foot, you start to get tilted. You start to lose cohesion. Maybe lose trust with your teammates. Start to ruin your rotations as you push forward. Maybe pick a strange car looking at you, Scarf. But, like, <laughs> we just need to move forward. Where's the Octane, buddy? What happened? What are you doing? So anyway, watching this, uh, <laughs> it just throws me off when I see it. <laughs> this is a lime yellow R34 just going absolutely nuts here, man. He lives his life a quarter mile at a time, and it's showing right here, right now. Here we go. Oh, a potential strike and a goal here from Vertical Bar. Unfortunately, it's denied there. Kenny Salmon knocking the strike there. Yeetzee misses the mark there. Unfortunately, the ball going a little too fast for his boosters to catch up to him. Great play here, though by Vertical Bar, trying to recoup themselves, position themselves, get the rotations around. I don't know. Uh, that's the team name, not but, uh, me actually saying it. Uh, trying to get for a score there, but Weiss, what the hell? Where did that come from? Weiss the score. Yeah, I don't know, just getting way too aggressive. What's the replay? We're seeing that all of them had overcommitted. No way. One had cheated forward, one was coming forward from the reactionary third position rather than having any of them rotate back. It just shows a little bit too much confidence that they shouldn't be showing after today's showing.
I mean, that was... It was bold. I mean, pulling all three of you into a cluster little thing and then Whis with that amazing angle. I mean, that was just great play. So, Berkelbar putting a score on the board here. It's all tied up, ladies and gentlemen. We're watching the first match of our losers final here tonight between Berkelbar and I don't know if you're just joining us. Welcome, of course. Where have you been? This is Rocket League. Uh, Community Cup action coming to you live from Showdown Studios. And of course, uh, my name is Zeke, and I'm joined by the one, the only, a courier lord here as we're watching Vertical Bar versus I Don't Know. And currently, one to one, it's still anyone's game. Yeah, both teams having the potential to do whatever they like with the score being so even. But unfortunately, I don't know how to be careful as they take a free goal Oy. in a retaliatory fashion against Vertical Bar, which is really strange. We do know that Vertical Bar does typically get a little aggressive when they're playing from a deficit or if they're playing even. Mm -hmm. And in this case, they're being punished for it in a similar way I don't know was done in the beginning of this game. All right, so here we go into our next kickoff. It is the third, fourth kickoff, in fact, of the game. Kenny Salmon with a nice clean click off there, but unfortunately, I don't know, just taking it back into control here. Uh, really, Vertical Bar needs to, they need to tighten up a bit here. They need to live their life a quarter mile at a time for the Fast and Furious references out there. Uh, as we're seeing uh, a bit of a trouble here by Yeetzi. Yeetzi has been uh, quite uh, a major player we've seen so far tonight, making a lot of big plays here. Unfortunately, he is all alone on that side of I don't know, and I don't know is going to clear out the ball. And another 2 on one position here. An easy score there for Daisu. Daisu gets another goal here. Great stuff by him. He got the first goal there, gets the second one as well. Uh, and, well, oh, I love that little Oshala, you know, Pokemon avatar. That's cute. I like that. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, it's just walking away with this now. Vertical bar, mm. we say it once, we say it again. They get aggressive when they don't have the lead, and it's not working for them. You can't overcommit. You need to have managed aggression. Yep. Because you're opening yourself up to too many plays otherwise. I mean, you know, they're zerging. They're lone, not even lone wolf, and they're, they're pack hunting as a wolf, and they're leaving their goal so under here to go super aggro and use their resources. But unfortunately, you pulling know... drones. Like, yeah, exactly. They're pulling drones. And, but they're using up so many resources, and at the same time, they're playing this really forward zone uh, offense. It's leaving their goal unattended. So one bad pass, one intercept leads to, you know, a cheeky goal. And we've been seeing that, what, two, three times now that's happened against them? Uh, three to one is the current score here in favor of I don't know. And uh, I don't know about you, Korea. I'm not going to stop using that. But this is going to be possibly I don't know's series to take. Well, if you look at the league play, you'd think I don't know would just absolutely steamroll them. Mm. But the way Vertical Bar has played today, taking out the first match very convincingly against I Don't Know, it could be anyone's game despite that. A vertical Bar did another great showing as well, keeping themselves up in that upper bracket, and then almost taking it from New Mono Ultra. But it's the adaptions that we're going to have to see throughout the rest of this best of five that will dictate who's going to win. Mm -hmm. Vertical Bar has already improved their backboard defense this game, despite the fact they are losing 3-1. Yes. And I think it is definitely a case of whenever you change something in your gameplay, you typically lose something else. It's hard to juggle a new ball. Yeah, exactly. You can't keep all the aspects of your play and then still expect to be, you know, on top. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to give, uh, you know, give to get something. Yep. Uh, anyway, back to this game here, ladies and gentlemen. We've got about uh, 10 seconds left here. We have a bit of a two-on-one brawl here. All the cars just piling up there. It's an absolute demolition derby. Unfortunately, the dead ball will fly to the side of Vertical Bar there, and uh, Vertical Bar will lose this first match here as soon as the ball touches ground. Three, two... Oh, my God! They got another one? That was a self-goal as well! Oh, <laughs> get out of here. Look at this. Watch this replay, right? Here we go. Daisu gets the mid-air midi there. Here he comes, and he scores his own goal. He's just like, screw it. Oh, you got to help out. You know, it's all about helping each other pad each other's stats. You've played ranked games before. You just want to make sure that your buddies get the best score possible for when it comes to replays and montages. I mean, come on. I mean, that's a bit ridiculous. Anyway, looking at the final uh, scoreboard, tally board here, ladies and gentlemen, Daisu with five shots, three goals. Well, I would say two goals, really, Don't because... Deprive him of his hat trick. All right, what are you fine. Doing? All right, all right, all right. He had three goals, uh, two and a half with an assist there. I'll give him that. Yep. I'll say two and a half with an assist there uh, by the guys from Vertical Bar. But uh, unfortunately, it worked there for Vertical Bar because, you know, they came out really strong and they showed they have really good teamwork, really good play set up and execution. But we saw none of that. Yep. In that game. That game, they just went, well, from a vertical bar to basically a horizontal sleeping bar. Yep. And uh, I think we need to, like, get the jack and just, like, prop them up a bit so they're more vertical and they're back in action. They're back. They're ready to go. Because if they play at that for the next two games, well, 
Oh, they're just going to get absolutely steamrolled. Exactly. Yep. There'll be a horizontal bar again. A flat horizontal bar. Yeah, and when we're talking about 90s, the only thing they need is the 90s of the goal is what they should be aiming <laughs> for. But essentially for them, it needs to be a case of just moderation. You can't just go absolutely balls to the wall unless you can actually take the ball to the ball wall of well, the goal. Well, that's the thing. They never had the ball to go to the wall. They're just like, hey, look, balls to the wall, but yeah. the ball is over here, but I'm over here. That's why we lost. Yeah, getting oh. punished by those clears is absolutely brutal. And Daisu popping off. I mean, if you were to look at somebody in this match and say, hey, how come Daisu's doing so well? Like, oh, he played on Simple Physics. He's played on Scylla. Scylla being one of the top rosters of its day. Simple Physics being one of those powerhouse teams getting into the uh, World Qualifiers mm -hmm. League play for Oceania. He's a dude that can has that huge well of talent that he can dip into when it comes into playing at this level. So you've got to be careful when playing against that. I mean, they fixed up their backboard defense, but it wasn't enough when they got greedy and punished on the ground plays alone. Yeah, definitely Daisu being the MVP of that first match. They're getting, uh, what, three, three? Three goals. No, three goals. He says, he says three goals. I say three. I say two and a half with an assist, which totaled three. But uh, no, he did good. He was in this position really well. Like, he got great striking. And uh, obviously, you know, it taken a win for his team there. And it sees him go up 1-0 uh, in this uh, loser's final. Of course, if you're just joining us, welcome. My name is Zeke. I'm joined by the one, the only, the uh, lord of the career, career lord, as we're about to jump into our second game of this loser's final match here between Bill Kabar and I don't know. I don't know. Currently up 1-0 to zero in terms of games one as, uh, where is that bloody R34? There it is. I'm looking for you, mate. I'm not so startled this time. Uh, all right, so. Off the bat already, Vertical Bar, possibly looking a bit stronger here. They're a little more cohesive, actually uh, a lot more ball control as well. Open goal! Oh, what? What is that? <laughs> what is that? Did you see that, ladies and gentlemen? It literally bounced up and down, up and down. Instant replay, go into it right here, right now. Courier Lord, look at this. Look at this. I can't say the word I want to say. Look at this. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh, that is like an inversion of how it's oh. meant to go. Vertical Bar sitting in the midfield, just getting a beautiful, perfect shot that bounce down with I don't know just getting way too aggressive it literally went vertical up and down bounce I feel like you know Professor Lupin where I'm like ridiculous and that's exactly what happened to that ball it was a bucket ladies and gentlemen it did not want to go back in the closet but it did in the end Harry put it back in there and he defeated the evil forces of I don't know but speaking of the ball right now and I don't know they are going super aggro against political bar in their end zone and they're gonna have to just absolutely push Oi. forward and Daisu with another one to finish now bring it to one apiece. Oh, mate, look at this. All right, Scarf sets it up here. Great wall ride. Look at the bounce there. Two-man assist play here from the guys from I Don't Know, and Daisu gets it in for that final. They even come together for a bit of a car hug as well. <laughs> yeah, love that, man. They're sharing a Corona. Yeah, it's shirts fantastic. off, doing a little run around. <laughs> the shirt's off, man. The, the hip-hop is blasting because right now we are now one apiece there. So uh, this is still like a very close game here, but we saw this earlier as well. We saw this in the first match. It was still one apiece, and then I Don't Know just came out of nowhere and accelerated to attack speed and took a commanding lead. But here we go. Oi, off the post. Unfortunate shot there. I think in a case we get when looking at Ardenno's offense, the way they did it is they committed one man, committed another man one at a time, and it led to no deficits in their defense mm -hmm. when they were able to score. Because both the goals they've let through so far were from massive overcommits rather than vertical bar doing an amazing pass play. So if they can shore up the defense in their rotation, they won't concede another goal for the entire match. Yeah, but yes. let's see if they do that. Yeah. Uh, that is the absolute question that we're going to answer here today, tonight, on Rocket League Live at Throwdown Studios. In the Community Cup Finals. <laughs> All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Absolute exciting, action-packed rocket, blasting fun goodness. I'm throwing out every adjective and verb I can think of right now, like it's an episode of Countdown. But hey, here we go. Attempted goals here by the team of Vertical Bar, but it's being shut out there by, I don't know, I don't know, just doing a bit of a car flip there, trying to get some speed there, nice resource pick up there by Yitzi. Yitzi goes for the score, but unfortunately is blocked out by the double man uh, defensive. X gonna give it to your move there. But uh, here we go, another attempt to play, but uh, Vertical Bar having a bit of trouble just connecting that ball with, I don't know, his goal. Yeah, that's the thing. The backboard defense of I don't know is substantially stronger. We're looking at something more similar to Numona Ultra, but Oi. potentially even better. The ball is up, though. This is the opportunity. Oh, Yeetzy he missed in it. the nick of time, passing to Yeats, breaking away. And now it's their opportunity to get some of that sweet, sweet breathing room as they start their own play. The Oi. goal is open. The follow-up not there for the other team. The reversal, each team mirroring the last. 
What's oh. going to happen, though? This no is crazy. boost on ET, and he is just confused playing third man. Oh, Kenny, what are you doing, man? Oh, there he goes again. Oh, it's too high. Oh, this is like crazy stuff right here. Yeetzee trying to get back in position here and scramble back towards the goal here. But here comes, I don't know. They're looking for a goal here. Air to air combat with that ball coming up here for vertical bar. Here we go. R34 pulling a Paul Walker just flying through the air. And Daisu trying to get a reflect off here. Trying to clear it back across the midfield. Get some assistance from his teammates here. Right now, vertical bar just with the scramble defense. It is absolutely popping off here like a 50 cent video. <laughs> <laughs> but in the midfield, we are seeing that Scarf, unable to make the connection, has now left it. Bit of a clown fiesta, no, no one is making the touches they want, and we're starting to move up the pitch. But neither team getting enough consecutive touches to keep the possession as they play a little bit of ping pong. Oh, ping pong or volleyball? I said volleyball, right? Because Dead or alive? Know, dead or alive? Oh my god. Don't talk to me about that game, that's ridiculous. Anyway, back to the action here, ladies and gentlemen, we're watching Vertical Bar versus I Don't Know. I Don't Know is currently up 1-0 to zero in this loser's lower bracket final. The winner of this will move on to face uh, Nomoto Ultra. And of course, uh, now one minute remaining on the board right here, right now. Oh, so close. So many attempts coming out here from Vertical Bar. Another whiff from the air coming out here from the VB boys as they're unable to connect their cars to that ball and get the crucial goal to take them up to a 2-1 to one victory. One man defending. Can he do it? Ball's bouncing off the ceiling there. Oh, this is crazy. There he goes again. Oh, good defense there by Kenny Salmon. And it's not over though. It's the oh. finishing touch. That is like five consecutive passes oh, coming from mates. Adam, I don't know. Everyone Rothy. is taking a turn riding this bike before they finally put it away with Rothy on the score. That is a, that is a very well used bike, I must say. Rothy with the great wall assist there to get the goal for his team. It's now two to one. 30 seconds remaining comes up on the board there. It's vertical bars, time to shine. They do not want to go into the break on a 2-0 deficit here. They want to try and force this out to even like Worst case scenario, five games. Best case, best case scenario, take it out three to one. But uh, it's going to be really close here. Kenny Sam with the great air to air combat there, clearing the ball out to uh, left field. The ball come back in. Ooh, good defense there by Yeetzee though. Oh man, this is crazy. Yeah, and with another opportunity for I don't know, Vertical Bar just needs to get a monster clear. A lot of them have a ton of boost, but they just didn't have the opportunity to get that final touch. I think it is a case where we just need Kenny Salmon to drop the Ammon, just become Kenny S for a game, <laughs> and just snipe the goal after goal after goal. He needs to become literally Kenny Loggins, man. He needs to get into his uh, F-14 Tomcat there, do a couple of barrel rolls, and, uh, you know, guide Goose to that side after life. Bye, Goose! I love you! <laughs> But uh, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we are currently uh, watching this lower bracket finals here between I Don't Know and uh, Vertical Bar. I Don't Know up 2-1. to one. Oh, 2-0. Two 2-0. Two two, yeah, 2-0. Tongue twister. Wait, isn't I Don't Know up? Yeah, I Don't Know. That's what I said. Did you? Yes. Right? I'll take your word for it. I mean, it's in the VODs now. Well, you know what's in the VODs? Uh, Twitch chat, correct me if I'm wrong. Tweet at me if you think <laughs> I'm wrong. I, I really like, whatever. Okay. Anyway. Either way. Either I, don't way. Know. I Don't Know is up. But... I Don't Know. I Don't Know if I Don't Know is up. There you go. I don't know if they're up. That's your out? <laughs> That's my out. I can use their own name against them. Actually, I do know that I don't know is currently up 2-0. Uh, anyway, so right now, Vertical Bar in a lot of trouble. They're in a lot of trouble. I mean, they took out the first one too. Like the first match of the day was these two teams. They took it out not convincingly, mm -hmm. but they had a lot more cohesion. Their striking ability was better. Their passing was better. The resource management was better. This two series so far has been a bit lackluster, I yep. have to say. I think a large case of this is that all their goals against I Don't Know so far have been from com over commits from I Don't Know. Mm -hmm. It's not the fact that they've done like an amazing play or they've set something up or they've got some really sweet demos or anything like that. They've relied on big mistakes and yep. capitalized on them rather than creating their own situations in which to score. Yeah, exactly. So because of that, it means as soon as I Don't Know starts cleaning up some of the holes in their play, there's no opportunity for Vertical Bar unless they start getting innovative. And I think at the moment, the way they're playing, there's a bit of a gap in the potential. I don't know who's playing a lot faster than them. Mm -hmm. They get into the ball and getting better touches, getting more touches, and that's just reflected in the shots alone. And because of that, there is definitely no opportunity for Vertical Bar unless they change something up. They need a completely new adaption. Well, we're going to find out right here, right now, if uh, Vertical Bar can maybe, uh, maybe go diagonal. Yeah. Here we go, diagonal bar. Maybe that will help them a little bit here. But uh, we're going to find out right here, right now, ladies and gentlemen, if Vertical Bar will bring it back to take out a 3-2 to two win. Or 
will it be knocked out and will we be seeing a grand final between uh, of course uh, Nimona Ultra and uh, I don't know so that'll be an interesting match as well yeah Nimona Ultra they're like the kings of the cup they have won so many of them they won the first three took that time off and now they're coming back to try and win another one yep. they want that money money well, they want the ch -ch -ch -ch. <laughs> and it's up to them now they're the final boss and I don't know is the kind of final boss of League Play they had the 7-0 record yeah being uh, 21 and 4 as we say time and time again but it's up to the vertical bar now. The The ball is in their court, mm -hmm. both literally and figuratively, because they're, they're quite happy to get aggressive at the beginning. So it means that they have the ability to act quickly and decide how the player is going to start. But they need to start adapting. Yep. Because at the moment, what they're doing isn't working. We need to see something new. I'm thinking demos, if they can get to the players fast enough. We know that when you have a team like I don't know who's playing quite quickly, they may not be focusing on their position as much, and you may be able to catch them off guard. Yeah, exactly. So let's see if that actually does happen here. But like, well, like uh, you said, Career Lord, they need to tighten up here and really focus. But uh, already off the board, though, Vertical Bar, my boys, they have gotten the first kill there, or I should say score. I want to say kill as well, screw it. And Weiss coming out with that great early goal there will set the tone for this match here. This could be the momentum change that Vertical Bar do need here, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, if you're just joining us, welcome. This is the lower bracket finals between Vertical Bar and I don't know. I don't know. I'm currently up 2-0 to zero right now. And of course, my name is Zeke. I'm joined by the one, the only, the Lord of the Korea, Korea Lord. And we're casting up an absolute storm here at uh, Showdown Studios for Throwdown Esports. Uh, say that 10 times fast, ladies and gentlemen. We're watching, uh, of course, this amazing play here by Vertical Bar actually coming out off the bat, getting a score, getting a goal. And, uh, you know, showing, I don't know, they're still in this. They're alive. They want to get to the grand final. And they're not going to go down without a fight. Yeah, their heart's still beating. I said that they'd have the first opportunity Aye! to act, But it's about the overcommitment that they have to be worried about. Like that? They get a little bit too aggressive, and then they lose the opportunity. And you can see the panic there, right? Yep. I think there may have even been a collision between their two players. I talked about how, I don't know, is faster than them. And that's how they got to off the ground quicker. Were first to that touch and closed out the goal, despite the fact that Vertical Bar potentially had a positional advantage when it came to getting the touch. Now, that's the thing we've been talking about all night though, Korea. Like, their positioning, fantastic. It's the fact that they aren't in control of the ball 100%. And they're giving up these really easy passes and they're just letting, I don't know, catch them out in their striking position and take advantage of the fact that there's an empty goal because they're pulling a three-man offensive. Yep. And they're not running like the zone defense. You're not running two-man forward, one-man back, or even two-man back, one-man forward. They're pulling three-man forward. It's allowing the empty goal, and that's what we just saw then. I don't know, with the sneaky goal against an unguarded, well, goal. Anyway, back to the action here, ladies and gentlemen. Watching Rafi now just doing a bit of uh, tongue twisters in the air, flipping and dipping. He's looking to clear that ball straight into the goal there, but nice work here by Yeetzee. And of course, Vertical Bar as well, looking to clear out the goal. Get that ball out of there, boys. Come on, clear it out there, reset. Then you can use your ultra strategies here, but unfortunately, like they're just a bit uh, eh, scrambling. Yeah, they're struggling to break out of their half. We're seeing, I don't know, has got Scarf now running around, starting to get all the demos. Two consecutive ones opening up the net. Oy. Whilst he wasn't able to score, you're starting to see what they were planning between the games. Mm. You've seen him also start to pull out bumps as a way to start getting control of the map. And it stopped Vertical Bar's offensive. As soon as this game started, Vertical Bar were quick out the gate, yep. and now they've halted the aggression, and they're starting to slow them down, and that's where I don't know is going to reign supreme. Exactly. I don't know have the the cohesion to play the slow game, whereas Vertical Bar are very good at rushing. They're very good at zerging. We've seen that all tonight. And there we go again. Oh, nice work there, though, by Yeetzee. He just juggled that ball off the top. They're watching the instant replay here. Look at this. Shoots it up there. Off Weiss. Weiss was in like the perfect position to get that reflect down there. And Yitzi follows it up with the turbo boost in there. His anime girl profile pick paying dividends. They're giving him the uh, waifu power to score. And uh, now Vertical Ball up 2-1 two to one here with uh, just about 2 minutes and 40 seconds left. Yeah, we talked about how they needed to innovate if they're to try to take this away from I don't know. With all their goals in the first game, or first two games, sorry, coming from mistakes of I don't know, they needed to adapt. And that was a beautiful three-man pass play not only was Wiss on the backboard, he noticed that I don't know his backboard beat defense has been very good. So mm. he's way off to the side. Ooh. That's where he thought he could safely pull it. And with it, he got the goal. And oh, now, oh, what? What? The defense! What? Yes, Kenny Salmon, oh. you defensive master. Five assists in the last game. And now that was like a bees out from being in. Oh, that was amazing. Off the top bar, off the side bar, in the middle. The ball was literally just 
phasing in, and there's the cleanup from inside the gold there. Sees Velikabar keep their 2-1 to one advantage. I am literally slamming the desk in excitement, ladies and gentlemen. I know you can't see me, but you can probably hear me. It's going absolutely nuts here in the studio. We're so glad we're in a soundproof booth right now. It's crazy action here with Rocket League. Uh, Community Cup Finals as we're watching Velikabar for side note. This is a lower bracket finals for losers. And uh, my god, this is crazy. Kenny Salmon, come on, boy. <laughs> That's how I'm going to throw it oh, to you. Zeke is absolutely loving it tonight. And then the other men I want to be watching. All oh, the players set up. Kenny Salmon with the follow through. Unfortunately, the pressure hasn't ended yet. Yeetzee has full boost, but it's up to Daisy Whee! now to try and break it as he pushes forward. But every single one of the I don't know players is slowly starting to advance. It's whether or not they can do it safely, though, as the clear could come out. But Daisu says nice. no, denies it with the dunk. Daisu, he gets that special 295 in there. And, uh, oh, Yitsi may look, he tried to go for the deflect there and the save. Unfortunately, he did not have enough momentum there. Clipped it with his back right tire and actually kind of set up uh, Daisu to get that uh, kill in there. Oh, well, bit of a stalemate there in the middle as both teams just uh, pound on the ball there. Ball goes absolutely nowhere. Nice clear out there there by Weiss from the goal post there of Vertical Bar. But there it goes, the ball just flying everywhere. It's going absolutely nuts here. This is why it's called Rocket League, folks, because the cars have rockets, the ball's like a rocket's flying everywhere. <laughs> Crazy stuff. One minute remaining. Yeah, the ball is just going absolutely everywhere. Just look at Wisp. Five shots and four saves. This player has been a monster this game and pivotal and keeping them in against the league play monsters of I don't know. And now with Scarf using his bumps and demos, they're going to have to rely on that to try to break through the defense of Vertical Bar, Ooh. which has done great jobs at holding them out. All right, see, that was a bit of miscommunication there from the two players in Vertical Bar because you saw a midfielder go back to try and assist, and then the ball just flew right over him there. But as I said, uh, balls are just flying everywhere here. Vertical Bar looking for a cheeky last-second goal here. 22 seconds left on the clock here. As we have some great defense coming out here from Weiss, combined with Yeetzee as well. Weiss looking to clear the ball out, so the uh, teammates up as well. Unfortunately, the ball is mid halfway there. Oh, there we go! All three players are out of the goal there from, I don't know, but unfortunately, nothing can happen just yet. The ball is flying across the map here, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think Vertical Bar going to be able to get a last-second goal here to get a... Oh, you know, tie the series up, I should say. Uh, but it's going to go to overtime. And that's the way it should go. We're going to see whose Unless, dreams get ooh. crushed if this overtime finally comes and the ball goes down. Mm -hmm. It is two apiece. We're in overtime. Vertical bar is on their hands and he's praying they can pull it back or I don't know is going to get the sweep. Man, I hope they're not praying because if you're praying, it means you're not holding control. They're not holding control, they're not going to win. So I hope they're actually in their seats. They're lunched over. They're excited. <laughs> They've got a, their energy drink just fueling them right now because they need to pull out all the stops right here. It's overtime, ladies and gentlemen. It could be anyone's game there. We saw such a close attempt there from the guys of Vertical Bar, but unfortunately, they're going to scramble back at the defense coming up right now, but otherwise, they will lose the match. If they lose this match, they're out. That's it. They're done. They're going home. Well, they said they are home right now. They're just putting their controls away and turning off Rocket League. That's what we should say. And of course, I don't know, we'll go to the grand final to versus uh, the Moto Ultra, but I really want to see the guys from Vertical Bar at least get one game on the board, but unfortunately, it looks like possibly, I don't know, what a potential scoring opportunity here there it is unfortunately the rocket jump just wasn't enough scarf with the great shot there who was that trying to defend there just trying to see what the instant replay here is here we go scarf picks up the boost gets enough gets the jump there unfortunately there vertical bar not able to close it out not able to defend there and i don't know will take out the series convincingly yeah three zeros that's a bit of a retribution play from them they were knocked down to the lower in the beginning and uh they take uh revenge against their uh foes yeah, and against the team that took them down as well. Scarf, I think, a bit of an unsung hero that game. Not only did he walk away with a similar number of shots, similar number of assists, similar number of goals to the rest of his teammates, it was the number of bumps that he put out. In that final play alone, before he scored, he got two big bumps, mm -hmm. setting up and trying to open the net for his teammates before finishing himself. And about 30 seconds earlier, he also got defensive bumps, where the enemy were coming in. They had a second player that was ready to receive the ball. He wasn't in position yet to actually get a block. So he would just jump up, bump, push them out of the way so they didn't have an opportunity to take a shot. And I think that is something that really would have thrown Vertical Bar off, just not being able to rely on your positioning or rotations to be in place. I mean, that was just great play. Like, standard great play there mm -hmm. uh, from I don't know vertical bar really I mean they did fall apart a bit there I was expecting them to come back and be like yes we got it teamwork excellent assist striking but you know as you pointed out numerous times tonight their style of ultra aggressive move as a pack across the field mm -hmm. was their downfall 
because they're out there. They're looking for attack, they're looking for an assist, uh, a double dribble, a play off each other, and a strike. But unfortunately, you know, they're passing the ball and they're just getting it kind of in the right position for a sneaky rocket uh, steal mm -hmm. from I don't know. And that's what happened there in a couple of the matches that we saw these great intercept plays yep. by I don't know, uh, by Daisu especially, and uh, getting the cheeky plays because there's no one in the goal. Yeah, that's you know? it. I mean, what are you guys doing? Like vertical bar. I know your name is vertical bar, but you can't have just the vertical bar <laughs> of the goalpost defending for you. I mean, come on. <laughs> Come on, guys. Yeah, they were very aggressive, especially, you know, we talked about how they need to change something up and they're the first team to act. And then immediately, that game, 10 seconds in, they had their first goal because they're so quick and unafraid to be aggressive. But you have to have that in moderation. As you said, you open yourself up to those clears and that is how you can just lose so many of your leads. Mm -hmm. And it's it's all good and well. You got to risk it for the brisket if you want to try pull yourself ahead. But there is a level of moderation when it comes to it. Four to two. Oh, jeez. All right, so we are going to go into our final series of the night mm -hmm. in uh, just a minute here. I think we're going to take a, a quick commercial break as well. But this has been exciting, very exciting Rocket League action here, of course, uh, from uh, Showdown Studios, brought to you by Throwdown Esports. Of course, if you join the action, make sure you tweet at us. Tweet it out there. Like, let us know that you're enjoying the show. Tell us in the uh, Twitch chat as well. Like, every time there's a break, we're running over to the other room. We're uh, we're checking out the chat as well and seeing that you guys are loving the show. So that means a lot to us that you're enjoying it. Uh, the tweet briefly popped up there for like two seconds as well. <laughs> it was just like, ah, here, quick, take this tweet handle, do it. And then it disappeared. But uh, anyway, so... Yeah, if uh, you guys are loving having yeah. uh, good old Zeke here, just give us a little drop down in the chat, shoot us some tweets, say like, we want more Zeke, and we'll see what we can do on that front as well. Yeah, let me know if you guys like it or if you want me to just, you know, go the other way. Yeah, we, he's like our Nolski yummy hybrid. So we, we couldn't have either of them on today. So we're like, why not have both? Yeah, why not have both? I'm just the crazy old school hype caster. It's, just, it's absolutely nuts. But it's absolutely a pleasure to be here, guys. I hope you're enjoying the games. Uh, of course, Career Lord, thank you for being here and uh, being my lovely co-caster. Number two, number yep. one, number <laughs> 1. 1.5. I don't know how nice of a say that. He's my guy. Either way, let's. Either we'll either jump way. over to a break. We'll jump over to a break. Yep, we'll be back in uh, the next five minutes, guys. So watch that clock for the countdown, and we'll be back with our grand final for the night of, of course, uh, you Yamada wanna... Ultra versus... Uh, do you want to say I the don't whole know. name? No, I don't want to say the whole name. I've already embarrassed myself, and I'm trying. You can say the whole name. No, no, no. We'll skip straight to the break because Numana Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcanoconiosis will be coming up next. See, he did it! <laughs> see you guys. We'll see you soon.
Green set up shady. Bump it on through. Down we go. Express. Stay back. Hell of a ball playing with their competition. A little bit. Joel. Whoa. That was insane. Last season. Both of them had experience on the international stage. And there it is. Showcasing from Porthos. We might have a series. You see me. I can do the CK if you take it. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the amazing, the Ultra Showdown Studios. Of course, my name is Zeke. I'm joined by the one, the only, the amazing Courier Lord here. It's grand final time. So it's this is hype. exciting. So uh, we're going to be watching two teams that we kind of thought were going to be here at the same time, not going to be here. So it's uh, Pneumonia Ultra versus mm -hmm. I Don't Know. And uh, of course, the team, of course, I Don't Know is actually the team. I'm not saying I Don't Know. That's their team name. As you can see by the bracket there, ladies and gentlemen, it's been an absolute crazy night of ups and downs. Uh, teams we thought were gonna like demolish got kind of demolished back. Like Vertical Bar losing 3 0 in that final match there versus I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Going very up and down, starting in the upper bracket, going doing that lower bracket run, and then coming back up to the grand finals. Mm. They were the monsters of the league play for those who have just tuned in. They were 7 0, 21 and 4, but their closest match in league play was against Numana Ultra, mm. who themselves have won pretty much every single monthly cup. So this is a battle of two titans now coming towards us. I mean, that's, that's absolutely crazy as well. Uh, of course, checking my little uh, my little textbook here of all my notes yeah, you and got stuff. some crazy notes. I got some dude. crazy notes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna some show dedication. This. Look at this. That's my notes for just tonight. That's all that. Anyway, so people thinking like I'm just scribbling. I'm like, no, there actually are notes there. Yeah, anyway, pages of this stuff. I got as pages well. of stuff as well. Thank you for the awesome uh, write-outs as well, the summaries as well. It's been very helpful, uh, Korea. And of course, we're gonna look at the prize pool for tonight as well. Uh, check that out. It's absolutely fantastic. So. $350 for first place, second place $175, and third place, of course, was $75. So uh, our boys Vertical Bar do take out that third price mm -hmm. uh, prize. And uh, interesting little trivia here, actually. So the guys from I Don't Know, if they do win tonight, they take out that $350 prize. Yeah. Uh, they're going to be buying uh, PC parts for their team member, uh, Rafi. So that's really nice. That is absolutely lovely. Yeah. That's pretty dope. And then that's kind of like investing in your team, right? Because yeah, exactly. Because he's going to have a better PC. And then he's going to win more games for you. And then you're going to get more money yeah. to keep investing in him until he's gone. And then he just has his <laughs> ultimate PC. And it's like, boys, my PC, I can't fit any more graphic cards in there. I'm already bit mining crazily. He's got but, like his Area 51 Alienware that's like this big. Oh, my the gosh. The giant triangle of doom. This entire room just for the computer is like, what is this, 1980 again? Like, why is your computer yeah. so big? Because it has so many graphic cards. Because we keep Hal winning. written on it. <laughs> Terry Crews comes out of nowhere. Power! Anyway, and also a quick recap of our open bracket as well. Uh, it was a 4-2 victory uh, from Team Fam over, and I'm not kidding, this is their name, whatever name you want. That's the team's name. Whatever name you want. You should have just picked a different name. Like, they've given you permission <laughs> now. They've consented to a name change. They're Team Loser because they lost. Oof. There you go. Well, they gave me the power. I have the power uh, to choose their name, and that's what I've chosen. They oh. lost to the, to the losers. I'm you sorry. are not a benevolent god. No, I'm not. Might be a hairy bearded one, but not benevolent. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're about to kick off into our grand final here in just a second, of course. If you're just tuning in, welcome. Of course, my name is Zeke. I'm joined by the one, the only, Courier Lord. And it's been an absolute pleasure to be here casting up a crazy storm for you guys. And uh, I can actually hear the game sounds getting ready to go. We're getting our teams uh, all set up. Best of seven. See who takes it out. Who wins that awesome prize. And of course, there is a one game advantage uh, going to Numana Ultra since they did win the upper bracket finals. Mm -hmm. uh, so undefeated. Yeah, that was undefeated, wasn't it? Yeah, That's these are the guys that they run through every single tournament. Absolutely dominant. But last time these guys went head to head in league play, every single one of their matches was a 1-0 victory and it just flipped and flopped who managed to pull that one out flip flop slap all right so you can hear me putting the hands together what the hell i wasn't even ready for that ruffy calm down mate i know you want the the computer parts and stuff but calm the hell down son because ruffy comes out of nowhere he came and slammed welcome to the jam grand Finals here, I don't know, pulling out the first goal there and just saying to Nimona Ultra, hey boys, step off because you can't compete with us. That's a big problem Nimona Ultra has had, right? They just go a little bit too balls to the wall crazy and then that's how they managed to drop the first game. We saw that when they were up against their last opponent when Nimona Ultra dropped a smiles in game two. 
just by getting a little bit too greedy. Oh, you see that by Scarf, mate. He was waiting in front of that goal, just saving the boost and looking for that crucial strike. Unfortunately, the good defense there by Nimona Ultra denies him the easy strike into the hole there. Ruffy, he's looking for the graphic card today, ladies and gentlemen. Or oh, this half a graphic card. The way price is going right now is absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, besides the point, great shot there by Change, taking out uh, Scarf there with the demolition as well. Power play in favor of Nimona Ultra. And uh, you know what? Kuria. Yes. This is going to be a fantastic series. I already feel it, man. I yeah. know it. What do you think? Well, Numana Ultra already has that one game advantage, but I don't know has got the lead in this game. Mm. So it could very quickly become what seems to be a best of five. And with the way possession's going as well, both of them playing up in the midfield, unable to take an advantage. You're seeing that Daisu is deciding not to get boost and thinks it's more important Oi, to get possession. That's, that's an crucial. important opening of the net. Tullin Dina Oi. response by Rothy taking out change. It's now two aside, but they're still deep within I don't know's half. This is their opportunity to score and not enough pace. A third nice. one comes out by Frenzy. He's back to his old style of oh, just taking out the opposition. It's open the floor. What is that? The bump from Scarf has saved the day, but it is not over yet. And finally, the clear comes through. And there is a reprieve oh. and a goal to match as Daisu takes that one away. What a roller coaster. Daisu, my man. He goes for it. That was absolutely insane. We've been seeing just a crazy bounces, insane uh, goaltending basically from both teams here and Dice with the reversal comes up and it's now 2-0 to zero in favor of Nimona Ultra. You can tell we're excited. We hope you're excited as well. Like my co-cast has moved like further away from me so he doesn't like in my shout radius, I should say. It's absolutely nuts here, but fantastic work here by Adam Nur. They are looking to shut down the Mona Ultra's one game advantage go. One game advantage, that means that it's just more challenging for us guys, right? Yeah, just more opportunities to show your prowess. And I think the big part of this now is I don't even blame. Ooh. Oh, the goal is open. This is the opportunity for New Mono Ultra to try get the equalizer. Oh, oh my god, what are you doing? No, and now they have the chance for the runaway. Can he get back in time? Frenzy forced to go up on the backboard, but now they're stuck on defense. They're two goals down, and even if they can get out, how much time will they lose doing it? Oh, I mean, that's an easy 30 seconds loss right there. Unfortunately, those uh, massive destructive plays coming in, but the ball, the positioning of the other players is just not where they want to be. They can't take advantage of the fact they have a power play advantage. And again, like, they're going for these strikes on the goal, but every time it's just two inches off the mark on the post, and it's just not connecting. The Mono Ultra basically just whiffing it right now. Again, see, another close play there, but they just don't have enough players in the zone to follow up, and that's the problem. I don't know. It's playing a two-man on the ball deep, uh, offense slash defense as well at the same time right now, and, uh, you know, the Mono Ultra look at a strike here. Unfortunately, again, Again, look, where are their assistance from the players here? They're two out far midfield looking for these crazy massive rocket jumps here while we have this three-man zone defense in front of the goal here by, I don't know, shutting them down. So hardcore right now. And uh, it looks like uh, the Mono Ultra just really having a lot of trouble here breaking through what is basically the impenetrable wall of I don't know. But they managed to bleed them a boost. If they didn't have that small opportunity and reprieve from, I don't know, they'd all entirely be empty. And it was just a slight positioning misdecision by change mm -hmm. that broke the pressure, allowed them to get not a quite a full reset. But now the fact that went over, what is happening? Oy. That shouldn't have gone all the way that deep. And because of that, we're getting another small reset from, I don't know, enabling them to get more boost and try break and build themselves back up mm -hmm. and just keep bleeding that clock of time. All right, so. Break it down right now. The Mono Ultra, they need to slow down. Straight up right now. They're making some really crazy plays here. They're just scrambling a little bit. But and if they slow working. down, that's the other thing. They're going to run out of time. There's only 59 seconds well, left. Well, you know what? You can slow it down until you're in front of the goal because right now they're just scrambling everywhere. And the ball is just flying. They're not getting the best position that they can. They're just flying all over the place. They're miscommunicating. They're in a bit of a frenzy scramble because they're going for two down. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. But the opposite is happening where they're just having a bit of trouble. And again, there we go. Rossi, uh, Ruffy with the amazing uh, touch score there. Look at this. Scarf up the wall, dribbling it on the wall right there. And here comes Rafi with the cheeky boop, the snoot into the goal there, followed by the celebratory wall right now. It's three to zero. I think this game definitely, it's already clocked out. Oh, this one's, Ultra. this one's done. Write it off, boys. All right. Use the remaining 40 seconds to recompile yourselves and go, all right, slow it down. Let's get our positions back in there. Oh, oh that was almost, that was so close. And, you know, and, and refocus because this isn't the, the Mona Ultra we've been seeing all night tonight. This is, uh, dare to say, uh, vertical bar. Yeah, this is it that's they're starting to change their style up and not necessarily in the way that you want to be seeing, but I don't know, it's just tearing them apart. Rothy's hungry for that graphics card. He's pretty much at like 540 of his 1080. <laughs> 
Oh, man, I love it when the puns fly. All right, here we go. Final five seconds here. Counter down with me, folks. Here looks like another goal here, possibly. But unfortunately for the Mono Ultra, they will not get the goal. Oh, last minute tap there, but it, no, it does hit the ground, unfortunately. So that will be a 3-0 close out there by the one, the only. I don't know. <laughs> That's the team name again. I keep having to say that. You know, someone new to this movie, like, who, what do you mean he doesn't know what the team name is? What, what, what kind of caster is this? Like, my bad, it's actually the team name. Anyway, they take it out 3-0. Mm -hmm. It's now basically a bracket reset. Yep. Best of five. Mm -hmm. So we're going from best of seven to best of five now. And whew, this is going to be crazy. I mean. Yeah, I think the interesting thing here for me is that, is that we have a situation now where New Mono Ultra had a really good strategy. We saw the pressure play start to build. We saw them bleed, I don't know, entirely a boost. All three of their players ended mm -hmm. up sub-20, which is a great play. So you've, you've talked about before how, you know, it's all about the boost management, trying to lower your opponent, make them waste those resources, destroy their economy, so to speak. And we ended up in a situation there where they, they lost the pressure. They got a little bit too defensive on the rotations. They should have acknowledged the fact that there wasn't going to be a big clear mm -hmm. coming out from their opposition. So they can start to tighten the noose. And the fact that one of them pulled away opened up a shot and that shot enabled them to lose the pressure. They get a slight reset. And it was just a case of build pressure, build, build pressure, build pressure. And then it got vented a little and they yeah. build it back up and it get vented. And they just wasted so much time that they started to panic. Yep. They went all in again and got scored upon once more. I mean, it's just, it's literally classic. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say Digging deep bar. into your reference pool. <laughs> yeah, no, I was trying to figure a reference, but I was actually going to reference uh, to Vertical Bar. Like they just... The same thing happened with them. They built a lot of pressure, mm -hmm. a lot of aggressive play, and then they just lost it in the very end there. Anyway, we're back now and into our uh, second match there. I know the match score does say one apiece there, but of course you have to remember the Mono Ultra are coming from the winner's side of the upper bracket. They did have a one game advantage. That advantage is now nullified. It's gone. It's dusted. It's now reset. It's basically a best of five here, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. The Moto Ultra, they're going for this grand prize here tonight at $350 here on the Rocket League Community Finals. And here we go. Already off the bat, my man Daisu with the quick score. They're watching the instant replay here. Look at this. Gets the replay off there. Bounces it off there. He actually basically assisted himself there. So you got the first assist there. His teammate comes in, gets a cheeky boop in the nose, and he finishes it off. Yeah, Beautiful that was play. an absolutely sick play. That's like, that's a triple touch where you're two of the players. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that is literally like uh, LeBron James NBA style like going on there. We bounced off the backboard of the uh, third player. Uh, anyway, back to the action here. Korea. Yes. This is like, like you can tell, I'm actually sweating. It's like so intense right now. Oh, the Mono Ultra. Welcome to the party, guys! Like, here we go! Change, making the change for the better. Actually getting a, a score off there, Otel Dina. So great assist there from all three players of uh, the Moon Ultra. We talked about how we needed to see a change in their base, and the way that they brought it was pretty much an identical play to Numon Ultra. Mm -hmm. They did a three-pass play, this time actually using three players. They opened <laughs> up the net. That is a freebie. Oh, Talandina Ooh. just ready after picking up that rear boost to come and just cut right across. That's some good awareness, because you don't typically expect the ball to come at you that fast. Mm -hmm. And now Scarf is back to his stereotypical play of just trying to disrupt the opposition, being that menace in the midfield for your teammates. I mean, that's really good. Like, you're causing the disruption, like you said, in the mid play. You're controlling the resources well. That's a very crucial take out there by Rafi on Tullardine, and that could open up a scoring potential here. But unfortunately, the ball control is not in the favor of I don't know right now, as it's a one-on-one uh, -on -one play there. And here we go. Respawn does come back in. Tullardine is back in. And, uh, well, we're just watching, man. We're watching to see who's making the next move here. But right now, it looks like uh, Nomona Ultra possibly uh, coming back here. Bit of a dribble cross field. He's denied the goal pop. Uh, Probability though, and unfortunately, uh, Nomona Ultra just not able to convert that amazing cross field dribble here. But uh, the defense, you know, coming out here now. Look, see, this is really crucial to watch here. Mm -hmm. Watching, I don't know, like they see the ball already zoning into the blue zone, they're pulling back, they're waiting for the clear out and the perfect position to act on it. That's really smart play, yeah. Building that pressure play, not over committing, starting to slowly work their way in for the midfield. And we're seeing it right here now as they've seen the overcommit come out from New Mono Ultra. Rothy getting another goal, slowly getting more. He's now at like 650. He's slowly working his way up those graphic card tiers as he slowly <laughs> takes this one away. And this is another goal for them. We need to see more of it. The pass plays have been shown. We're starting to see the pressure plays come out. The adaptions throughout the course of the gameplay shows the versatility of these players. 
it's it's great to see, you know, because they're actually making these great crucial plays here. They're working as a cohesive unit, and they're drawing, more importantly, the Mona Ultra out onto this really shaky defense play, where they, like, they're not sure what they want to do. And you can see there by Nemo Ultra, like they got one player in the deep, one player in mid, one player on the side. They're trying to do a wall ride assist, and that's opening up the goal very easily for I don't know. As you can see right now, it's two to one in favor of I don't know here in this uh, grand final, ladies and gentlemen. We're watching now on support of Rafi. He's out of booster. He's going to try and get the uh, boost off there, refuel up, get ready to go again. Like I pointed out. I don't know his positioning is just absolutely perfect right now. They're preparing for the passes to come in and actually go defense. They're not over committing across the midfield line. And see right here, they're in a great position as well. They can pick up the uh, the boost orb as well and have a two on two play here and attempt for a goal. Yeah, and then that can be juxtaposed against Simon Ultra, who are somewhat struggling with their rotations Ooh, wow. being as clean. Scarf now having another opportunity to come through. And then we have change coming into the rear post. So they're probably going to be okay for a little while. Oh. But it's the follow up touches that are going to be pivotal in deciding who gets them. And unfortunately for, I don't know, Numata Ultra is fast as the ball. Well, they might be faster than the ball, but the angles and the shots coming up from, I don't know, are just absolutely like on point right now. That one was only about what, a hedgehog away from getting in or so. And, uh, you know, again, they're positioning right now for, I don't know, absolutely perfect. Like, look, they're getting great shots here. They're rotating perfectly as well. You can tell the communication is there. They're saying, all right, I'm bouncing the ball forward. Get back, defend. And they're rotating their zone defense here and making sure that uh, no easy goals come out here uh, from uh, Pneumonia Ultra. And Pneumonia Ultra really is having a bit of a difficulty, you know, getting their shit together, to say. Like, I'm just going to drop it out there. They really are. And it's showing because, I don't know, it's walking all over them. These guys, what, they smashed through this bracket tonight and they're having so much trouble. I think a big case of it is that not having the cohesion, even though each one of their players has got an idea of what they're trying to do. Talandina is trying to go for individual solo plays. He's been going up on his own, trying to get those dribbles, mm -hmm. trying to set up shots, hoping that his teammates follow him, even though he cheats forward a lot of the time. Yep. You have Change is playing, uh, yeah, Change is playing very reactionary. We've seen the most important save of the game come from him. He got the only goal that they've scored. And you've also seen a couple of demos that have opened up positioning for his teammates. Mm -hmm. And then it relies on Frenzy trying to fill the gap for Talandina, being the player that follows up, because Change is most likely to rotate back. So if they can just get into those rotations, acknowledging which roles the rest of their teammates are trying to play, they're probably going to get dividends from that and potentially Oy. score. Another crazy close attempt there by uh, Nemona Ultra. And it is like you say, uh, Courier, you know, they are having a bit of difficulty in defining the roles mm -hmm. of their players and their team. Like they're going, all right, you rotate now, now you rotate now. They're not having a set plan here and it's showing. Whereas, I don't know, once again, getting a nice easy goal there. They're drawing out the defenders. Their frenzy, unfortunately, just wasn't fast enough to get back in there and defend. It's currently now three to one in favor of I don't know. And if they do take out this game, they're actually going to turn that uh, one game advantage into a two game deficit, basically. And uh, against the Money Ultra, and the Money Ultra really needs to like pull it together here. Man. They breeze through the upper bracket, and now they're coming up against a team coming from the lower bracket here that was down a game as well, and they're going to be down a game against them. So the table completely turned here. Uh, as we see a nice uh, destruction here from Taladina, but unfortunately with one second left, the ball will drop on the ground, and uh, I don't know, we'll take out that second game there as he's doing his uh, little victory dance there. Nice to see you there, mate. <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting one in the sense that when we're looking at the scoreboard, uh, it looks like it's a lot more even than it is. Like, you look mm. at the shots, you're looking at the saves, it kind of indicates that it should have been a lot closer. Yes. But when you actually look at the macro side of it, the whole the whole gameplay, I don't know, just ran circles around them to a large degree. And it kind of runs contrary to what happened in the league play. Mm. It was really, really close. The games were all one one game decided. It was like 1-0-0-1, 1-0-1-0-1. Like, it was yep. like back and forth. Very, very tight. And it went to 3-2. But now we're seeing them in... This, the finals, where it's a completely different ball game. I don't know, just absolutely steamrolling them. Yamana Ultra having a couple of opportunities to score, but again, one was from a really good pass play, mm -hmm. the other one was a freebie, and it just ends up in a situation where I lose my book, but also, <laughs> it's fine, because these aren't the relevant notes. No. Well, these are. Well, this is just a scribble <laughs> of notes and all kinds of stuff going on here, but you know what? My MVP for that last match, definitely Rafi. Yeah. Rafi coming out with some amazing play. His positioning, more importantly, was just on point. He was where he needed to be. He's getting the crucial strikes there. He got two goals of himself as well. And, uh, you know, the Mono Ultra really need to, like, again, take this break as well. I said the last break they should come back and, you know, compile themselves as well. But I think they need maybe two breaks. So maybe in this uh, next game, we'll see the Mono Ultra, you know, maybe uh, pull out the Ultra, shall we say. They're like an oven. They're just, like, slow to start. Oh, um, my God. Well, maybe, they're, maybe they're like an Ultra Lisk, where it takes a long time for the build to work. Oh. you got to just slowly work your way up to it. That's the actual... Oh, I am done.
I'm done. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. If you're just joining us, welcome. My name is Zeke, and I'm joined by the one, the only Lord of the Courier, Courier Lord. That's right. I said it twice because he's that awesome. Broadcasting you live here from Showdown Studios, watching amazing Rocket League action. Of course, this is the May Community Cup Finals, uh, the final between Pneumonia Ultra and I don't know. If you're just joining us, welcome. Of course, Pneumonia Ultra have come through from the winner's side upper bracket. So they have that one game advantage, but I don't know has taken out the past two games convincingly against a very powerful uh, Pneumonia Ultra career. Yeah, Pneumonia Ultra are starting to change it up a little bit this game, which is nice. The pace has picked up. Tullandina is starting to use his pace and aggressiveness, not just to try to get those dribble plays up the pitch on his own, but also to start taking out the opposition. So this early adaption gives me a bit of hope in how this match is going to go. All right, so a bit of a change up in style play mm -hmm. here from Nova Ultra. Like, again, actually, we're seeing the first thing as well, a lot of dribbling as well, a long wage uh, wall dribble there, trying to go for a setup there. Unfortunately, it does not work out. Great defense there by I don't know. Uh, Talandina looking to defend here. Here we go, cheeky play here coming out from I don't know, but unfortunately, they will be uh, blocked off and the ball will be reset to midfield. So, uh, yeah, you know what? You're right. Pneumonia Ultra have actually uh, got a bit more communication there. Like, their strikes, their assists, even defense is a bit more tight now. Uh, I know it's only been about a minute into the game, but you can clearly see a difference. Yeah, they're they're playing like a slightly different team. Like you, you can see the old team that was the, they're reminiscent of. You can also <laughs> see where they're moving to, mm -hmm. which is good because if they kept playing like they were, I mean, it just wouldn't have worked out. Great bow roll kill there by Change uh, onto poor poor guy there, unfortunately. And uh, I don't know who it was. I don't know either. I, just, <laughs> I was trying to see what the name was. It just went by so fast. I was like, okay, I'm just going to fill it in with Paul Gub. Now you know what I did. So that didn't work out too well. Anyway, back to the game. <laughs> Watching Frenzy here. Frenzy has been uh, in a bit of a frenzy in the past games. But uh, so far, this series hasn't really shown his colors, shall we say. In past matches, getting a lot of uh, destructions, assists, scores, and that. But this game, he's been a bit quiet. Yeah, he's, I think they're struggling with position. Nice. He opened up gold by, I don't know, is kind of record it's like it's ruining the, the rotations mm -hmm. like you want to ultra is already struggling with them and we see that as soon as one player is taken out it all does just manage to fall apart mm -hmm. change now having to respawn in that far position change being the one that is most reactionary on their team thus far being able to fill those holes as they kind of crop up yep uh Tullandina is starting to adapt we're seeing that he's starting to use more of those demos he's starting to defensively rotate a bit more but i think he's being quite hot and cold with it he's either going quite far back or he's going quite aggressively he hasn't forward. found the middle ground yet. he hasn't the, found the middle ground to put it the way you put it earlier the uh the medium yeah uh but anyway so great goal there by uh daisu as well so of course the score is now uh, one zero in favor of i don't know currently up two to one in this um final grand final match series uh, and we're watching Rafi here. So Rafi, oh, nice destruction there and followed up by a goal. We actually couldn't see the goal happen because it was just massive explosions covering the screen here. But here we go, watching the instant replay here. Look at this. I believe I can fly. And oh, that was kind of a self tip in as well. Yeah. So uh, it was going to go in, but it was assisted there by uh, Pneumonia Ultra. Uh, unfortunately for them, they really are like. They're adapting, but not fast enough. No, not fast enough. Let's put enough. it that way. Let's put it out there. Especially the way I don't know. So I don't know has now noticed. So they do know. They, they do know, know exactly what's going on. <laughs> and they've noticed that Change is a reactionary player. Mm. So they saw that he immediately rotates back to rear post, and they had a player set up the play, and then rotate into him, demoing him out, opening up the goal entirely for Rothy to score. Yep. And because of that, they definitely now need to see Change from Newmont Ultra. Oh. Once your opponent knows that one player always is going to rotate to rear post, and that he's open up for those demos, even if he tries to dodge, the net's going to be open. Exactly. So you need someone else to start filling that gap. And we're looking at you, Frenzy, because Talandina is an aggressive boy. Oh, a bit missed time there by the I-34. He went a bit airborne a little too early there. Unfortunately, not able to get the assist. But here we go. Might be able to get it anyway. There it goes. Daisu! Taking out another goal here. That's two up for the main man there. As uh, nice work there by Ruffy, keeping the enemy of Frenzy in a frenzy, shall we say. And uh, unfortunately, like, Pneumonia Ultra are just falling apart. I know I sound mean, guys, when I said it, but they really are. Like, when we watched the earlier games, they were so on point. They were clean. The size, their, their teamwork, communication, you could see it. It was working so well. But this series so far, it could be uh, they're tired. It could be they've just given up in a way. But I don't know. It's actually coming out and showing us what great communication, what great teamwork can achieve. See, I think the sol the solution you're looking for there is the reason they're doing it so well. Great Ooh. shot. Ooh, nice. Frenzy with that dribble straight up the midfield, completely subverting anything I was about to say. <laughs> That's what we wanted to see. Talandina had been aggressive. Now he's setting it up for Frenzy. They're creating themselves new positions to play in. Change was still deep at back. 
That's okay. You're allowed to have him rotate there occasionally. Mm. But I think the point I was trying to make is the reason New Mono Ultra is getting destroyed is that they have very traditional styles within the, their roles. So yes. Each person is playing the same way. And I don't know has realized that. And they just send one person to set up a play, then go do a bumble demo. Mm -hmm. And that's literally every time that they run forward. Someone makes a touch. Someone then goes in for the demo. The goal is now open, free. And they just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. And so we're going to have to see Numana Ultra adapt to that defensively. Because nice. even though they got the goal, it's not enough. You need to no. shore up your weaknesses. All right, so right now, like, whoa, what? Three to one right now, but about 42 seconds left on the clock here. Uh, Numana Ultra, I mean, we have seen comebacks happen this, tonight alone. They could make a comeback, but the way they're playing, the way they're adapting, it's a little too slow right now. And I don't know has their number. They're just sending the, like you said, they're pulling off the defensive man there to go for that destructive, uh, key destructive play there. And as we see there, Ralphie taking out Frenzy right there, opens up the goal. And uh, here we go, Nemo Ultra actually looking for an attempt to strike there, but unfortunately will be shot there. Less than 18 seconds left on the clock here, ladies and gentlemen, as we're watching Frenzy just, oh, air to air combat, taking out Scarf. Wow, nice work there. And uh, less than 10 seconds to go now with uh, a two-goal deficit. Unfortunately, that's not going to be uh, enough time for them to get this uh, all tied up here. So Nemona Ultra will go down another map here. So I don't know is uh, basically, what, about two, two games away from taking it out? That's one game away, buddy. One game away. Oh, jeez. Yeah, they right. are absolutely in control. The domination is undeniable. That is 13 shots to three. Oh my gosh. Daisu at six. Yeah, he had double the other team. The lowest number of shots from their team wow. was the same number as the other team. Wow. That's insane, man. All right, so dominating play. Yeah. Again, like we don't want to sound like we're, we're biased or mean and stuff like that. We're literally looking at the scoreboard and we're going, this is like the number. If the number is double Numbers the other number. Lie. They'd like hips. Exactly. Oh my like this is this is some Shakira Shakira. <laughs> yeah, this is some serious play. This is what we saw from them in league play. Daisu's starting to pop off. He's one of the speedy boys. He knows where he knows where he can be. Yep. And he can get there incredibly fast. So if you do leave those openings, which his teammates have been creating, right? We're seeing all three of their players utilizing bumps and demos correctly. Because there's a big difference between using them incorrectly and correctly, right? Yes. I think this is something we haven't really talked about tonight. Is you can go for a demo. And it's not necessarily a good thing, even if you make the connection. Oh, yeah. It's all good and well to take an opponent out. But if you have to lose positioning for it, like if you cheat forward demo somebody that's irrelevant when the ball is going to be going this way and you're running this way, you've also taken yourself out of the play. But the way that you've been seeing it come out from, I don't know, is that they only do demos, they only do bumps when they're moving forward. Exactly. So they can move the pressure forward with it. Exactly. And that's what's been giving them those easy open goals there because yeah. they're taking out defenders when a defender is only in position to defend. Mm -hmm. I said defender many, many times. I hope you guys got that. But, uh, you know, their key strategy here is, of course, taking out defenders. And they're doing it so well, so precisely, so cleanly. And that's what's got them up right now on match point. Ladies and gentlemen, we are into possible. It could be the final match of the night. Who is that? Daisu! Man, you are just on fire tonight, my friend. He gets this amazing air to airborne combat shot of absolute fire and doom. And there we go. Celebratory barrel roll as well. And already, I don't know, up one to zero in this grand final. Demonia Ultra, I know it says they have one point on the board, guys, but that's because they came from the winner's bracket side. And so, technically speaking, they're getting nutty run right now. And Daisu again, I'm just going to react to that. Yeah, he's just incredibly fast. That's crazy. He comes from simple physics and uses simple physics. He just knows how fast he can be. He also played on the Scylla roster, another team that is famously aggressive. So when it comes to just running into position, powering on that boost, he's one of the players that you'd want to have on your team. I mean, he's absolutely he's nuts, man. Like, his positioning is fantastic. He's waiting for the ball to be in the exact position he wants it to be. And uh, like you said, he's using the boost to uh, great efficiency there. So, so Prince, he does take out Rafi as well. Uh, that's actually one of the negative plays that you mentioned earlier. Like, he's taking out a player, but he wasn't in the position to take advantage of it. Yeah, you got to take advantage. It's not all good and well to take a free demo. Yeah. And there's an interesting thing to note. In that first goal, it did get glossed over because there's just so much action going on. <laughs> I don't know who's actually having bumps in the goalie. You could see the goalie in the corner of the camera just being bounced up and down as two players ran into him just to continuously take him out. There you go. So they're continuing to use that same strategy of just harass the opposition. Courier with the uh, the crazy good eyes there catching out 
Some uh, cheeky uh, corner play here by I don't know, but I don't know currently up 2-0. Three minutes and 40 seconds left on the clock here. It still could be a reverse sweep here from Known Ultra. I believe at the same time, it's only about a 40% believing chance because I don't know is looking so strong, so well playing right now as well. And uh, Known Ultra have no response to this as we're watching right now that great air dribble coming out there. Fantastic work here from I don't know, just clearing the ball off across the field there. And they're putting so much pressure on I don't know, they're not letting that ball out of the zone at all. Uh, still got a lot of boost as well, so, uh, you know, they can actually utilize this, but uh, again, look, they're running that one defensive man with the R34 back in there. Who is that? Scarf, my boy. Scarf is running defense there, then they rotate, of course, he rotates forward, and then one rotates back. So they're rotating only two forward, which means they always have someone covering the goal, playing defense, and that's what's really thrown up uh, the only ultra. Yeah, that's it. And the fact that they can hold the pressure forward with only one in defense means that even if they start to lose it, they can notice, they can send another man back. Oop! Oop, it's up. No. No, unfortunately oh, though, the no. follow-up does come through. Frenzy now has an opportunity. They can start the pressure play building as we see that all the players from, I don't know, are getting stuck. This is what they need. They need to start slowly breaking them in. And unfortunately, the clear has been big enough. It releases all the pressure. And now all the players of, I don't know, have the opportunity to get boost. And you can see now they're all Ooh. up in the air and they have that boost to spend. All right, so they got a lot of boost to spend, a lot of resources. Control of the map is still in favor of, I don't know. And, you know, like, we were just watching that play there from Nomad Ultra. They're playing one man against the goal, and they needed the second man for the, the mid-air boop assist. Yep. And they didn't have it. If they had it there, they could have scored. Dead set. But unfortunately, they're just playing this really weird, like, scramble uh, one-on-three kind of style here, and it's just not working for them. I don't know has a number. They're rotating perfectly. They're reading their opponents amazingly well as well. Uh, and, of course, they're positioning themselves to get those crucial uh, clear-outs for the ball as well. And they're like, watch right now. Ball, straight to the goal. Yeah, and that's going to be a really bad thing for Nimona Ultra. Both Rothy and Scarf has... Oy! Oh, the goal Oy! is open again. Oh, that is going to hurt. Rothy and Scarf both took two consecutive big boosts. Rothy then takes the third. The bumps come out, the demos come out. Numana Ultra are entirely bled. They had no cars, no players, no boost. They were gonna get scored upon. That was fantastic. That's what we want to see here, man. Rocket League is a three-man team game, and we saw three man coming out there, getting the awesome demo destruction there, plus the assist, the boop into the goal, and currently up three to zero here at one minute and 31 seconds left on the scoreboard ladies and gentlemen we are looking probably well actually most definitely i'm gonna say it right now i'm gonna call it i don't know are gonna be your champions for the month of may it definitely looks like that i can see the fat lady starting to walk into the room <laughs> you can just look at the number of shots each team have taken you want to ultra i think without being able to tab i believe that they're at about three shots total and if you look at i don't know day sue i think is at eight or nine yeah he is he's about what eight no, he is. He's at eight shots at the moment. Uh, one assist and two goals for this one match alone. I think over the course of this entire series, he's at about, what, uh, six, seven goals total? I mean, it's, it's, his a shots is in probably in the high 30s as well. Absolutely monstrous effort here from uh, Dyson. Of course, the, the rest of the team of I Don't Know, of uh, Scarf and Rafi. And uh, it looks like this will probably be it here, ladies and gentlemen, as we're getting down into the final 40 seconds. But there we go. Frenzy will actually put them on the board there. So great work there by Nimona Ultra actually getting on the board like it does take a lot of effort to get a score here when you're versing such a well coordinated team of, i don't know and they are just on point right now so to see them on ultra actually come back get a goal there great to see uh with only 40 seconds left though i don't think they can get two more goals i mean i would love to be proven wrong i'd love to be proven wrong. i'd love you to be proven wrong as well we could have a best of seven the reverse sweep but they're losing possession nope. that goal That's is it. going to slowly take it out that is the hat trick that may just be the fourth goal and the fourth game to I don't know. And with it, halfway to that 1080 for Rothy. Halfway? What, 1080 is like $1,000 right now. No way, not even a third of the way. I don't know, maybe get on New Air, get it flown over before <laughs> Amazon changes all their stuff as well. Oh, don't get me started on that in politics. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. 25 seconds left in this final match. Well, potentially final match. It is, of course, four to one in favor of I don't know. So if I don't know, massively stop up and uh, give away three goals and go to overtime well then we might be seeing a uh, overtime possibly another game but i don't think so ladies and gentlemen as we do see i don't know looking to close this out right now here we go count it down with me four three, three two, two one, one. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. As soon as that ball hits the ground in one second, there it is. I don't know uh, your monthly Rocket League Community Cup champions. And, of course, congratulations to Rafi. 
because uh, you're on your way to some new computer parts, my friend. And isn't that just a great way to do it? Desu running away with nine shots, more than double the number of the opposition combined. Jeez. Getting a hat trick as well. Not even his first hat trick of the day. And I'm including the one that you don't count as a hat trick. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, gonna yeah. I'm going to say yeah, that's yeah. two hat tricks for the day. <laughs> and with that, so they've got the $350 prize money. Mm -hmm. They're giving that to Rothy because they're good dudes. And he's going to buy some more PC parts to play some more James to be a better jammer. Work on those mechanics. As we here at the Throwdown Cup also celebrate those in second and third who walk away with 175 and 75 respectively. Yes, yeah, so of course, uh, great work there uh, to bloody uh, Pneumonia Ultra and uh, what was the other team? I've forgotten. Oh, uh, wait, Vertical Bar. That's right. Your looking heroes, at, buddy. I'm looking at my, my notes and I've just realized like I'm writing notes everywhere now and it's just going absolutely nuts. So there we go. There's the prize pool up on screen right now. So $350 does go to our winners who took a clean sweep. Oh, the finals there of uh, I don't know, but uh, great work there, of course, by uh, Ultra Nimona or Nimona Ultra. Nimona, do you want to give it one final crack? I will give it. Well, where's my sheet? I've got it all written down here. All right, my final crack here of their full name. All right, so uh, Nimona Ultra Microscopic Ciliophoc Volcano Coniosis. Yeah, not bad. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> close close is the call from our producer there so guys I'd like to thank you all for joining us here on this great cast here watching some uh, fantastic Rocket League action here of course uh, brought to you by Throwdown Esports uh, broadcasting live from the amazing Showdown Studios uh, Courier mate it's been an absolute honor thank you, to Z. cast with you so I'm gonna this is a Throwdown tradition give me the heart oh, the heart there we yep. go <laughs> <laughs> we got the heart there. And of course, congratulations to our winners of the May Monthly Rocket League Cup, uh, which was uh, the guys from I Don't Know. I keep like yep. thinking I Don't Know, and I'm like, wait, do I actually know? Or is that their name? You just... And then you have the... the it throws <laughs> your brain off. It's just like, wait a minute. And then from the Open Series as well, we do have the winners, Fam. Yes. Who managed to take first place over... Whatever name you want. That's their name, guys. Their name is whatever name you want. So uh, whatever name you want was the team who came in second. And uh, Fam are the ones who came in first with a convincing score of 4-2. to two. And uh, I think that will wrap it up for us tonight. Yeah. So uh, again, thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. If you like what you see, make sure you uh, tweet at us. Our Twitter should be somewhere down there, <laughs> maybe. I don't know. Somewhere. There it is. Look at that. Yes! Join the conversation! <laughs> Throwdown TV, and of course our personal Twitter's there if you'd like to chuck us a follow. Much appreciated. We're always willing to chat to our fans as well. And uh, and let us know what we're going to improve on. What do you want to see, you know? Do you want to see more of this? Do you want to see more of this? Do you want to see less of this? Let <laughs> oh, us know. The, the yummy Nolski hybrid. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much. Curry Lord, any final words? Yeah, thank you for coming, everyone. Lovely to see you all in the Rocket League scene, and I hope you're all watching all the competitions that are going on at the moment. It's an exciting time for all of us. And... Uh, Big congratulations to Zeke for his first Rocket League cast. I had a great time with him. I hope you guys enjoyed his cast too. And I'll see you all soon. Goodbye. Thanks, guys.